Hello my friends, my name is Sammy Cake and welcome to today's stream of Hankai Star Woo! Ah! Oh, Pokong! Hi! Welcome! How are you? Um, so yeah, we're playing Hankai Star We're going to do the latest Trailblaze quest. And I've already done this in my free time, so it's not going to be a surprise, but I love it still, and I can't wait to do it. Um, before we get started with it, I wanted to watch a lovely new video that we got today. Um, I'm going to like kind of hide it a little bit. Ah! That's so cool. Yeah, I like I love this game. Over saying that, I haven't Oh wait, this isn't this isn't my old account. I forgot. I have I know I haven't done like two story quests. Um I think it's March 7th and Fushuans. I still need to do them. But like everything else I've just done and I've been trying to like I've been saving up for Venturine. I am so excited for him. We get him soon! <laughs> Um, yeah, we also got a Venturine's, um, trailer today. I wanted to have a little peek at it, because I love a Venturine. So, let me if watch you this. had the chance to make a 2,000% return, Ooh. but risked losing 100% of your principal, what would you do? <laughs> the math is simple. There's no way to define the value of a single chip. But I believe a chip is worth a miracle. He's so cool. I love him. Cast. It's all or nothing now. This is humanity in its most primitive form. But life would be quite dull if it were just an unending series of wins, wouldn't it? I saw it. Duel! Welcome, Challenger. Let me see. Are you brave or foolish? <laughs> Let's raise the stakes. The wager will be life and death, and the prize, everything. There seems to be a He's slight so misunderstanding, cool. my friend. At this table, you and his hand is are the challenger. <laughs> Because unlike the house, the gambler knows exactly what they want. Uh... <gasps> oh, he's See? so great. Nah, like, he's literally my favorite character. He is so cool. I love him so much. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to get him. You can even see on this account, I bought the profile picture. The battle pass thing, because I was like, you know what? I really want this profile picture of him. Because he's great. I love him. Ah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I need him tomorrow. I really need him. I cannot wait to get him. Like, I'm planning on getting him on... Because I have three Star Wars accounts. I know it sounds sad, but I'm trying to get him and his light code in my main account. And I'm planning to get him on this account as well, but I'm not guaranteed. But I have quite a few, kind of, wishes saved up. So, uh, we'll see. <laughs> and also, um, Choco Cow Latte. Hi, welcome. Good to see you here. So, yeah, this account is actually kind of new. I started it. When Penicone, when Penicone, Penicone, when Penicone came out, so it's kind of a new account. 
Um, I mainly wanted to get it so I can get Black Swan. Because I didn't want to get Black Swan on any of my other accounts, but I still wanted Black Swan, so... Yeah. But I also got Aquan on it. And Aquan's really good. But yeah, this account's kind of new. Um, and also, Dutch Horatio is free still, so that's another reason why I wanted to make an account now. <laughs> Get free Dr. Ratio, whilst I still can. Um, so, we're going to be doing the Devil in Velvet story quest, and I am so excited. Like, I've already experienced it. I know what happens. But that doesn't mean it. I make it out of anything less or anything. I still love the story, and I can't wait to do it. So, we're going to be doing that today. Uh, the Devil in Velvet. You have witnessed a truth that can result in the collapse of Penacony, as mentioned by Aventurine. Robin's body starts to disinte disintegrate from the crack in her chest and is eventually reduced to nothingness in the dream. Aventurine seems to have something to say. Let's see what he's got up his sleeves. Yeah, Robin. Oh, Robin is great. Like, if you've seen the leaks... We talk about leaks, but have you seen the leaks? She does like this singing stuff, and it's so cool. Like it, it, she actually like plays music and sings when her effect is on, and I think that's so cool. I feel like it might get a bit annoying after a while, but I think it's so cool still. So I'm really excited for Robin. I want to see like how she feels when she comes out. I don't even know how I'm gonna get her as well, actually. Oh. There's too many good characters and we got Bill Hill after that. Why does they keep doing this with Star Rail? Team New Fight Stars every patch. And it's just like, come on, please. I don't, I don't have enough money to buy all these characters. Imagine Robin still staying here when your team is dying. I know. And Philip plays. Hey, welcome. How are you doing? Right, so yeah. Uh, let's go say hi to my future husband. <laughs> so I, I love Avengine. He's literally my favourite. He's my favourite. <laughs> I'm going to be making these sort of jokes like throughout. Look at him over there. Ah. I'm so ready for you. I'm so ready. My expression wasn't much better than yours when I first saw this. Your eyes aren't deceiving you. It's her. The famous singer, Robin. I hope all the sound's all okay as well. If it's not, do you tell me? I just turned it up a little bit because I thought it might be a bit quiet. But yeah. Uh, how is that possible? Could Robin actually, like, yeah, it seems so weird. We barely even met her. Well, first of all... Can I just say that this had nothing to do with me? I'm just an unlucky bystander here. The family can do <laughs> it for me. If you don't believe me, just ask anyone in the Bloodhound family. They hate me and they hate the IPC. So they'd never lie. Yeah, Mr. Sugar Daddy of Honkai Star Wars. What I showed you was a memory. The most basic light cone manifesting tech. Authorized by the Garden of Recollection and owned by the IPC. Because, like, another thing they did on Billy Billy, they posted a video of, like, a day, a date with Aventurine or something. I can't remember what it was exactly, but basically you were going on a date with Aventurine. And I'm just like, whoa, are you really doing this? You're really, like, trying to get all the girls all over him. Ah. Oh. It's working. It's really working. They obviously they posted that art of him when he's lying in bed. Like, <sighs> come on. <laughs> You're starving. Yeah, I'm hungry for him. <laughs> but yeah, I found it really weird how like they left the last of like in two point oh. They left it where Robin just like died in this memory that we just watched with eventually and that was it it's like oh now what <laughs> you know it seems so peculiar but i'm glad it is like continuing on from now we're actually like talking to eventually first when we start in this quest because it, it makes sense you know we wouldn't just like walk off and be like oh we just well robin died oh no and then we walk off and don't question it or anything 
I'm glad we're actually on like question and, and like talk to Benjamin about what it's all about. Yeah, Aventurine just throws money at you. <laughs> it's Do so you cool. really think the Galaxy Rangers were outsiders this whole time? Hmm. Panicone has made a solemn commitment to protect the safety of anyone inside a family dream. Any person in distress will be forcibly awakened and safely returned to reality. What gives them the confidence to make such conclusive statements? Because behind this promise is the harmony. The family's dream weavers link up their minds together to construct an unbreakable defensive line. Hmm. Breaking through this line of defense to create death in the dreamscape. <laughs> Not even a memo keeper could do that without the family's permission. Yeah, but who could? Who could have done it, friend? Oh. <laughs> the only one is her. The girl who <laughs> calls herself a Galaxy Ranger. An imposter. An unsought guest. An emanator who hides her true identity. But the thing is, like, why would she have the power to do something like that? Oh, wait, actually, yeah. Okay. I'm trying to think, because does he know about the meme at this point? I don't think he fully knows what the meme is, right? Yeah, I'm thirsty as well for him. <laughs> like, his voice act is really good. Like, I, I was watching the voice actors stream a little bit, and I really love them. I haven't recently, though, but they were great. They were fun to hang out in. Yeah, we barely know what it is. She just becomes liquid. Yeah, it's so weird. I did notice though. I won't go into it. Yeah, I talk about these facts though. But yeah, I did notice something with Robin. Ifrit's death was a foregone conclusion. But it's probably nothing. And Robin, her misfortune was staring right at her. Mm. Who will be the next to die? Yeah, I wonder who will be the next to die. This really is hard to take in. That's just a one side of the story. If, there's a, if that's the case, I can't trust anyone. I can trust you eventually, okay? But yeah, this is hard to take in. <clears throat> it's fine. Listen to your gut. Building trust always takes time. And I'm willing to wait. <laughs> I just hope you realize that wherever that legacy is concerned, Covert plans are already underway throughout Panicone. Everyone's got their own agenda. Mm. Careful you don't get stuck on the wrong side. If I were you, I'd keep my distance from Acheron. After all, any schemes out in the open are always going to be better than a monster in the shadows. Right? Mm. Who's to say there isn't an even deeper conspiracy lurking beneath the surface? True. Sure. Memo Keeper, I think our little deal is finished. Aventurine is telling the truth. This memory is a real one, and there's no sign of any distortion grafting on. The IPC is not the Garden, and there are real limits to what they can actually do. But you know all this. Friend, let's not beat around the bush here. The thing is, I want to reach out personally to team up with the Astral Express. Yeah, sure, I love that. Go on, let's do this. <laughs> I told you, I'm just not interested in scrambling for the legacy. The watchmaker's I just legacy. I came to Pentagoni for work. I'm here to retrieve some lost property for the IPC, if you catch my drift. I'm talking ownership of this frontier prison. So you're basically doing what Topaz said, but you're doing it for, for um, Penetone. This has all become a bad debt thanks to the cancer of all worlds. Mm. The IPC has tried sitting down for negotiations time and again, but the family wouldn't even take our calls. You have no idea how difficult these people are to deal with. Put it this way. They've hushed up the existence of death before. So they can definitely cover up any news about Robin's death. Yeah. It'll just quietly float off like a bubble 
and pop. Nobody ever been the wiser. That's not fair, right? So then, friend, friend. I need your help. <laughs> okay, sure, I can do whatever you want. Just say the word and I'll do it. <laughs> what kind of help? I have but only one goal. Family's front door is like a high wall, and to tear the whole thing down, I'll have to dig out a few chunks first. Okay. Once I find a weak point, the IPC will have plenty of means. Now we have our chance. So long as we can get to the truth behind her death, we can have justice for Robin, <laughs> while also gaining a valuable bargaining chip for bringing the family to the table. Oh. Thank you for the subscribe! Thank you! Truly a once in a blue moon opportunity. I've been investigating and making lots of friends all over Panacone precisely for this very moment. This tragic news would be extremely bad for the family. So they'll be doing everything they can to stop it leaking, especially to the IPC. But I trust that there are still a few factions that remain exceptions. And that's why I need you all. The reputation of the Astral Express precedes you. And the Harmony will give you the fairest of appraisals. So, like, I noticed in the first part of the Trailblazer quest, he says something about um, how we'll get preservation. We'll be blessed by preservation or something. And the IPCs obviously has those preservation stones, you know? The stones are meant from the preservation eon. I can't remember his name right now, and um, I'm pretty sure he's just basically saying, "Okay, yeah, we will have the IPC back in your app." So by the end of all of this, the IPC will be back in his app. It seems. Um, like another thing as well. I was wondering. This is just like a random thought. Will anyone else? ever join us on the Astral Express? Like, it seems a bit weird if it's always just the same old people like Dan, March 7th and Himiko and Well. Like, surely there'd be more people who would eventually join us on the Astral Express. And like, who would be a likely people to join us? Like, I would love it if eventually can hopefully one day join us. <laughs> I don't know if that will be the case, but we'll see. Um, but like, I do wonder if we'll get more people joining us on the Astral Express and if it, I guess the same year very round, will people leave the Astral Express too? And it makes me wonder because like, Astral Express is very, um, people can come and go, you know? You get to find out really what happened and seek justice. And I get to put it toward completing my mission for the IPC. It's what you mm. call a win-win situation. I don't know if I would doubt it. I mean, I could see it happening, but not quite yet, you know? Like, I think if it does happen, we have to wait a little bit long. I don't know, actually. I guess it makes more sense for it to happen early on than later on. I don't know, basically. Has shell bases joined with us? Yeah! Actually, yeah, that would be pretty cool. Huh. Cause like I was thinking like Misha maybe, cause obviously Misha, um, has something to do with the nameless. Like he has like the nameless passing, Trailblaze passing that we have, but it's a different color, and um, it feels like he could maybe one day perhaps, but then probably not because obviously he can't be on the train right now. So it seems a bit weird for him to be. Like, a visitor on the train and then be like, oh yeah, actually, I'm going to come join you permanently. You know, it seems a bit weird. <laughs> so I don't think it will actually be him. It's, it's interesting to think about. I am... Um... A decision, decision like this is way above my pay grade, yeah. <laughs> don't worry, just head back and talk things over with your companions. That navigator is really smart. She must understand that. Yeah, Himiko is smart. Look, <gasps> here's my contact details. If you come to any conclusions, call me. Oh, <laughs> oh yes, please. Yes, I'll call you all the time. <laughs> I 
Oh god, no, don't say that! We'll put some in for my last year to die. No! I don't want anyone to die. I really don't want anyone to die. Ah. A thorough investigation can always use a little more funding. Don't mention it. Oh, thank you, Adventure. So long, friend. I really am looking forward to uncovering the truth about death with everyone. Ah, he's so sly, but sauntered off. He really doesn't mean to force it, but something still seems off. What now? What are your plans? Black Swan. What is she thinking? Okay. On the surface, this doesn't <laughs> look like a bad deal for you. But Aventurine is a shrewd merchant whose scheme won't just be as simple as it appears to be. I mean, they did say with Matt Stevent from the live stream before in... Was it the 2.1 live stream? Wait. Yeah, 2.1 live stream. Yeah, it wasn't that one. Um, how they want to... Oh god, don't. How do they want to have different paths for March 7th, which I think would be really cool. I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with that. Kind of similar to what they do with um, the Trailblazer. So I'm looking forward to that. But I wonder what they're going to do about... Um, a e d a a I don't know how you pronounce it. Adelons. Constellations, basically, for those different paths. I wonder what they're going to do. Huh. Yeah. Uh, Ting Yun treatment. Oh, please don't. Please don't. I, I'm never going to get over that of Ting Yun. He doesn't know about Miss Firefly yet. But, judging by your reaction, he may have noticed something going on. And deliberately shifted topics to the truth of death. To try and pull you in line with his way of thinking. Sneaky! That's quick thinking and very sound logic. Aventurine is no fool. And working with him definitely has its dangers. Um. Can I toss the dice and let it decide for me? Yeah, I'm gonna think just like Aventure. Leaving it up to fate. It's just how that gambler thinks. <laughs> anyway, be careful out there. There's more than one way to blaze a trail. In a dark forest beset by wolves, ensuring your own escape to safety should be your primary concern. As for the other questions... Uh, did death kill Robin? I'm sure the two cases were committed by the same culprit, but that massive wound looked like its winged blade. We've all witnessed it in action yeah. before. Plus, it seems unlikely that there would be two lethal entities loose in the dreamscape. Do you think it's connected to Akon? Sorry, I can't answer that question. That ranger is shrouded in mystery. Yeah. I'm afraid no one is capable of providing an answer. But, without a doubt, she is the most special guest at this banquet. It's like Aventurine said just then. It's best to keep your distance from her. So even she thinks I should keep my distance from her. Have you noticed anything else unusual? Two victims appearing one after the other in a very short time span. In and of itself, that's very unusual. Two possibilities. The collapse of Panacone's dreamscape has started speeding up. Making death extremely agitated and weakening the family's protections. Or, everything has been planned out and executed by someone. Or both! You know, it could be both! <laughs> Maybe someone's making use of Penicone, uh, yeah, and they're planning out and executing because of it. If someone has chosen these victims deliberately, first a smuggler, then a family celebrity, then this murderer's motives are worth thoroughly chewing over. Mm. It's all happened it? so quickly, I can only make a conjecture. After leaving here, go have a chat with your companions. I hope you can clarify the source of this confusion. Okay. Just a heads up as well, I've got some snacks with me, so I might be eating whilst streaming. It's a short walk. 
Don't get lost. Well, they've got like hot crust buns and I've got donuts. So it shouldn't be any loud food. Oh, and I've got grapes as well. So it shouldn't be any loud food. So hopefully you won't be able to hear me to eat. <laughs> Well, actually, I've got some crisps as well, but I probably wouldn't eat that yet. <laughs> Gallagher, yeah, he's a badass. He's cool. I like him. I find it funny how, like, Gallagher is always shown with his, um, light. What are they called? You know, the light makers. <laughs> what are they called? I can't remember. And, um, he doesn't smoke. Okay. I can't believe I forgot that word. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean about Black Swan. Like, I mentioned it yesterday in my stream. But one of the uh, mages that spoke to us at the end of the in something quest, Skarmish quest in Genshin. Uh, right at the end, like, the, one of the mages talked to us and I think she sounds like Black Swan. I don't know if she is the same voice actor, but she sounds a lot like her. You have a friend whose face is like that. <laughs> yeah, Black Swan is very mysterious in herself. This is where we part ways. All of this is like a nightmare. Yeah, it is. Unfortunately, the remembrance doesn't lie. What we just saw is the reality that happened. And it won't fade from our minds just because we wake up. But follow your heart and don't be afraid. We all walk through this world casting shadows of different lengths. And ultimately, all we leave behind are precious memories. Those words about Galaga? Hmm. I'm trying to think what words you're talking about. Ah. Hold on just a sec. Ah, Black Swan gently touches the root of your ear, leaving a cool sensation as you hand a card over to you. A small parting gift. So this is going to be important if later. One day you unfortunately fall into the deep waters of the memory zone, and there's no memo keeper to join you. Hopefully it can guide you on my behalf. Yeah, hopefully. Everybody's favorite nobody! Hey, welcome! It has been a while. How you doing? And yeah, so it's been a while. I've moved recently, so I can only stream when I'm home alone, and at the moment I'm home alone. Um, but I'm not going to be home alone often, so I don't know when I'll next be able to stream. We'll see. I also pay great attention to the ways of the world. Just think of this as an apology from me for hiding something from you. That's it? No, thank you. Then... I have something private to take care of regarding that Galaxy Ranger. Let's leave things there, shall we? <laughs> what fascinating memories will you bring for me next time we meet? I sincerely look forward to them. <laughs> so I'm, I've just eaten some hot crust bun. <laughs> the IPC. I'm trying to think which IPC you're on about. Like, are you talking about like topaz and stuff? Because no, I haven't done that yet. I mean, we met at Venturine so far. Uh, Snummy! Still at the hotel in the jeans game? Snummy! Snummy! Have you wanted to travel? We got separated in the memory zone, but Snummy is with the uh, memo keeper. I feel so antsy. Hell! March! Stay calm. Do I need to get off the express and help? No, not at the moment. Sure, just let me know if you need me. For every hotel, it's the real world. In the real world, it's very calm. Not much is happening. Alright. I'm done. I feel some investigating on my side. Where should we meet? Snubby! Yeah, Snubby is my other name I like to use. <laughs> it's a great day you're safe. That lady didn't do anything bad, did she? I'm sorry about what happened to Firefly. 
The scene has been condoned by, off by the family. We're wrapping up negotiations with some family delegates. Let's meet someone near the clock heat statue later. Okay. A family rep. Is Himiko okay? Oh yes, this is what um, Black Swan gave us. Number zero. <laughs> Okay. Fate. Fate is so important. <laughs> yeah, I haven't really done any for quests and stuff on this account. I've done it all on my main. So much has happened. I should take a moment to gather my thoughts and wait for everyone to arrive. Adventuring spoils me? Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> Some time ago, deep in the memory zone. <gasps> that blade now. It's Sam! Do you still dream, Hunter? Do you still dream? Of those slain by your hand? <sighs> Days ago, Everflame Mansion. Ooh. Duke Inferno. It appears the outcome has already been determined. We're still alive, as are you. We still have room to make a choice. Leave the music box behind, and then go. Choice. <laughs> the bloody trail of the destruction leaves no room. The Taurus Fire Demon. Even if you sacrifice your life for that eon, you won't get special treatment. Ranger, you'll tread the narrow path of the hunt. You could never understand. We come from the fire and are born bathed in fire. We spread, burn. Destroy until all the kindling has burned out and we leave only ashes on the ground. Burning forms the entire life of a fire demon. From the beginning to the end. We are born to die just to put into practice a profile of another universal truth. All things are created for the destruction. Your companions don't seem to think so. They fight for your chance at survival. They are my children, and just as I was, they are flames that have yet to burn my heart. They're still young. And time is running out. Can you see the planet of festivities in the distance? I plan to bring purgatory with me there. And before that, I must surpass you. You don't understand war between different paths. Yeah, same. Like, I mean, I guess one of them wants to be above all of them, you know? Like, I, was, I haven't read too much into it, honestly, but I was reading a bit about um, Yayoshi and the hunt, uh, Lan. And that was kind of interesting because, like, I'm pretty sure the hunt became a path because of their hatred towards the abundance. And I thought that was really cool how that came to be, like, how you become an Eon because of your hatred towards something. Mm, yeah, I think it's it's weird, but it's also really interesting at the same time. It doesn't seem like there's any like fixed rules with it. Why? Because on the path. I don't know why they fight each other. You have traveled farther than I have. I mean, I guess like Duke Inferno and destruction and stuff. That makes a bit more sense, in a way. 
but not completely. <laughs> has to honor for that foe. Doing a fight to the death like that. Destruction is it's intense. Nice. Kind of. But grief. To cravenly cling to life is to endure an endlessly prolonged existence. Uh what is emanator? So emanator is like I think it's more, it's like an eon blessed power to a person um, of that path. So like I know I have the path of elation, they made a worm, an emanator, just for the jokes, for being funny. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> but I think they wanted, wanted to see is just like what an emanator can do. But like, an emanator is just basically someone who's been bestowed with the power of an eon. I'm pretty sure. I could be completely wrong. <laughs> and once they attack the station, do they follow the path of destruction? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um... Heck, I can't remember what they're called either, but I'm pretty sure they are destruction, yeah. I don't think it's on par with Eons, I, I don't think it's that powerful, but it's close, basically. It's like a, a rag down, I think. <laughs> Even if the answer like, Eons are really powerful. They're so powerful. I would say Acheron and stuff, they have the power of like an Archon in Genshin. Maybe a bit more, honestly. And then an Eon is so much more than that. <laughs> what is important is not the answer, but that it exists just as you exist. Yeah. Everything exists Basically. to be destroyed. Emanators are no different. Just as even sweet dreams may be born of the void, the so called ink. Possible is merely something that is yet to happen. Because you know, Herta, she's an emanator as well, believe it or not. I can't remember what she's an emanator of right now. Evidition, I think. But yeah. <sighs> Alright. I accept. You shall witness the most brilliant an intense fire in existence. May this flame illuminate the farthest reaches of your bottomless dream. A bottomless dream. Yes, that's right. But you've made one small mistake. This blade remains in its scabbard not out of pity or scorn. It's a personal secret that I don't want to disclose, but perhaps out of reciprocity. She says this as her hand gently rests on the hilt of a sword. I'll reveal the truth to you. The hunt is not the path I truly follow. Hmm. <laughs> May death be the end of your boundless dream. The thing is, wow, eventually he pointed out something really interesting. Which is when he's trying to work out the path that Akron follows, he mentions stuff like finality. And what was the other one? I can't remember, but finality, that is a really interesting one. Guiding you back to the waking world. I still see them in my dreams. 
Hold it. Your time hasn't come yet. My time. I've seen many clever disguises that can conceal appearances. But they can never cover up who a person really is. And you're no different. You had no desire to kill the Trailblazer. You only did what you did to drive me and the Memo Keeper away, but... Why? <sighs> did Destiny's slave make you do it? You know, Elio. I thought this is just the kind of thing that'd get written into your script. My script has always been brief. Other than that, anything beyond that is unnecessary. He knows my nature. There is but a single destiny from which no one can escape. And until then, I hold the privilege of choice. However, you appear to be ignorant of this, so it's time for me to inquire. Who exactly are you? Not your enemy, perhaps. That's not what I asked. I don't deserve your curiosity. Loners wandering the cosmos always have their secrets. Take me. I'm wanted by the IPC, so it's little wonder that I know something about the Stellaron Hunters. That's all. Maybe I can help. What reason would you have for doing that? Mm. I tend to forget things. Which is why, rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. So... It makes me wonder, like, why does she forget things so easily? Because, like, another thing that I found really weird was... Do you remember when we first met her in the real world? That was when she went into her room after we spoke to her Venturine. She, like, left and then she came back to ask for directions. And I feel like it's such a small thing, but I feel like there's some sort of, like, important information right there. And I don't know why. I know. The thing is, it's like, it feels like they keep adding like little things to build things up and make you guess of what's going to happen. And it makes me wonder just how much of it they're going to end up using. <laughs> Adrian, hey, welcome. How you doing? I know who is inside that cold armor. <gasps> how about it? Ready to take off that armor and sit down for a talk? It's not yet time. I don't need help, but I can give you a suggestion that would make things better for you and me. Mm. If your goal is the Watchmaker's legacy, then go mm. look into the family. Not only are they covering up the existence of death, but they're burying the past and the truth about what happens inside the dreamscape. That's cool. Have you had a good day at work today? Already on it. And the Astral Express is no enemy of yours. I know that. I just never expected to hear you say it. The thing is, though, for Stella and Hunters, they don't... They seem harsh, but they don't really attack us head on, do they? They, the, they seem to just like support us in the background. To be honest. What's next then? That's good. The trailblazer has been taken by Black Swan. Will you go look for her? No need for that. No harm in mentioning that Elio's only given me one instruction: get all of the Astral Express to track down the Grand Legacy. So when you say all, oh, does that include Dan Heng? Because he's not in Panacone right now. 
Although I guess he could do stuff on the data bank on the train, maybe. Maybe. I tried settling this in an easier and uh. more direct way. <laughs> but as you can see, here I am confronting you. I failed. Can't ever go against the script. Yeah, it's nice to have a, a day off every now and again, even if you have to pretend to be sick. <laughs> <laughs> the so-called impossible is merely something that has yet to happen. That's it. Before we split, can I ask you one more thing? Is there anything else in your script about me? I'd like to know what kind of footnote I get to leave in that future foreseen by destiny. Uh, that that red text always gives me shivers, honestly. <laughs> Unfortunately, not a thing came up. That's really weird. Why was she not in the script? Like, that seems important too. It seems like she's just like, not part of fate, you know what I mean? It's very weird. I knew it. She seems to be like a bug, do you know what I mean? She's like not meant to be there. I don't. Don't what? Your first question was, do you still have dreams about everyone who died because of you? I don't, never have. I was born without the ability to dream. I live for this cold, harsh reality, for a little light, and to burn, to keep on burning, until I turn to ash. That's very strange, like, you say that whilst you're in a dream as well. So it's, it's like, what is the dream world to you? So, I, I know. Really envy you. It is way too much lore, but I love it at the same time because it's just like, oh, what does this mean? Oh, what could this mean? Oh, what about this? <laughs> you know, there's so much to it. Is that so? Then you're already living in the waking world. Present day, golden hour. Oh yeah, we was at the statue. We heard about Miss Firefly from Black Swan. But we never expected Miss Robin to... Oh, I'm sorry. But I couldn't be with you then. Reality cruises on in serenity, while undercurrents bubble up from the dreamscape. Just like that memo keeper said. Stay strong, everyone. We can still do what we can for them. Starting with finding the murderer. Mm. Let's recap everything then. The trailblazer just reminded me of something. March, do you remember what that family rep who negotiated with us said? Uh, indeed, we trust that the nameless has nothing to do with this. And we also beg each of you to help assist the family in verifying the identity of the deceased. That's how it was put, in reference to Miss Firefly. Looking back, he seemed a little evasive at the time. And he also failed to mention anything about the earlier murder, too. The family's planning on covering up all news about Miss Robin's death. If news gets out... Panacone is going to turn into a bloodbath. But the murder that followed closely after was obviously beyond their anticipation. The family had to try and turn things to their advantage by bringing in reinforcements from outside. The Charmony Festival is nearly here. They must be snowed under. It may also be that Miss Firefly's murder had so many witnesses that it couldn't be covered up. So they went with the flow and let more people on the scene to control the situation. Mm -hmm. After all, 
The nature of the two murders is fundamentally different. The family's first protective measure should be against malicious actors among the guests, such as that IPC envoy. I don't think he likes Aventurine. <laughs> Aventurine, I'm not gonna say that! I, I don't care if he's up to no good. I don't care. <laughs> he's on guard against her. Indeed. He was particularly concerned about that galaxy ranger. Are we missing the forest for the trees here? I always felt that Aventurine's reasons for accusing Miss Acheron were highly subtle. Can we believe him? Yeah, we can believe him, definitely. Can I just say as well, like, Marge seems really weird in this scene because her eyes seem kind of droopy, if that makes sense. Like, she doesn't seem this usual Marge, if that makes sense. I love how to discuss some top secrets in the public Central Park. I know. Like, it's even, like, a prominent, like, area. Because the statue of Clocky is, like, in the center of everything. And here we are talking about top secrets. <laughs> At this point, I'm afraid the only ones we can trust are ourselves. Yeah. Look, let's try to gather intel first and then list all the possible outcomes we can. Then we go through them, eliminating contradictions one by one. The fewer facts remaining, the closer we are to the truth. I've still got this sense of foreboding. It's like we're stuck in a whirlpool, spinning around that legacy even after everything that's happened. Uh, this time we're playing the role of a real detective. But before we start, what are we going to say to the family and Aventurine? As I see things, the family harbors no ill will towards the Astral Express. If they didn't trust the crew, they wouldn't have casually commissioned outsiders to investigate a case that's in all likelihood a scandal. Plus, this is the family's turf. Teaming up with them should make things easier for us in the future. Mm. As for that Aventurine... Well... I'd like to hear your thoughts. He's complex. He deliberately slow played his hand during negotiations while running circles around us all the while. So weird. He appealed convincingly to both reason and emotion. It wasn't forced, but the intent was obvious. Mm -hmm. Still, it's good to have contacts among all this uncertainty. Adventurine showed his skills, and as far as our interests are aligned, he can become a reliable ally. Why does he want to be an ally with us? That's the real question. Like, what does he want from us? We also need to keep a certain distance from the family. Never let them get too close. Teaming up with the IPC helps balance that out. If either side makes a move, we have the option to pull out. So you suggest accepting Aventurine's proposal to team up? Yes. It's risky, but we can only wait until both sides have played their cards before making any further judgments. I get why, but there's a whole lot of bad guys and girls around here, and I'm worried about getting stabbed in the back. She's been bullied a few times now, and I can't stand it anymore. Aww, Matt! Aww! Um... I got a lot of him too. <laughs> uh, you? No, I can't accept this. He's looking out for me. It's so cute. Uh, forget about it. Just let me keep an eye on him. If that doesn't work, we can just turn the tables and use him instead. <laughs> then could you please reply to Aventurine? Everyone, take this time to put together your thoughts. Adventurine, always open to pull for your game account. <laughs> Please do. We'll collaborate. We decided to accept your request for collaboration. Wonderful. Your response came faster than I expected. From now on, we'll be all in this together. Yeah. Here's some more something for our upcoming partnership. Um, that's it. That doesn't seem like much. Give me another 100k, witch boy. Let me see what you've got. I pressed send too early. Here's a little extra. Just 
Well, good luck up with this new gig. Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> Does I anticipate you for family is going to sweep women's case under the rug for as long as they can? So her case is only is only secret between us. But for the other case, that depends on what excuses they have prepared for you guys. I'll take my leave now, and I'll look forward to outstanding performances from your from you guys. I got a text from him. <laughs> He was this boy, yeah. Let's tell everyone about it. I would let him spoil me. <laughs> no, I, I, I sim hard for him. I really do. I'm gonna go see Hyshin Mast first. I hope it's not too soon to bring it up, but I feel like Miss Robin isn't actually dead, but that she's still alive and well. Somewhere. Hmm. And everything's just some horrible prank. But why would they prank us like this? Because aren't we supposed to be inside a dream? How could someone die in a beautiful dreamscape like this? Shouldn't only good things happen here? Hito! Hey, welcome! How are you doing? Whenever I see the Grand Theater, I just can't stop all these thoughts from flooding my head. Hmm. Don't like that music. It's so eerie, that music. I'm good as well, thank you! Do you think the family's behind all this? We'll restore all the dreams back to normal. Yeah, I would ask about the family. No, no. After all, they've brought everyone this sleepy dreamscape, which everyone loves. I just feel like I'm starting to understand them less and less. I don't know. I'm so very iffy about the family. Like, yeah, they brought us here, but it could just be like, you know, here's a, have a nice thing. And, oh, yeah, here, have a nice thing, you know? And then, oh, here, have a nice thing. And then it's just slowly take things away from us because it's like, Oh yeah, we're giving you all these nice things. Oh, now we got wait your life. <laughs> Who named a pingo? Yeah, March seventh. <laughs> it's okay. She was. Well, she wasn't born. She doesn't know when she was born, but she was found on March seventh. So, very crazy name. <laughs> Everyone's still having a great time out there on the streets. Nobody knows what's happened. It's. All so unreal, as if Firefly, Miss Robin, and us were all outsiders from another world. Ah, what a mess! I really want a nice, cool drink of soda to help me calm down. <laughs> ah, but then I'd be just like everyone else out on the streets. This dream is becoming more and more separated from reality. Yeah. Yeah, Mars 7 is a big mystery as well. Honestly, like... Like, people say that she might have something to do with the Eon of Resemblance. Resemblance? Remembrance. Remembrance! Um... Because obviously she has like ice, and then the on of this this remembrance is all about ice, and um yeah, I can't remember the other things. <laughs> you got right into eleven ninety. Ooh, very nice, so nice. <laughs> <laughs> Avengerine's goal is to try and recapture Penacony for IPC. To do this, he'll have to bring down the family in its entirety to create a big enough chance. The existence of death will be covered up by the family. So how does he plan on taking them down? It's got to be something important enough <laughs> that everyone will notice. But it also can't be anything too out in the open. Red mummy, yeah, very true. <laughs> it becomes great. Uh, perhaps it's going for the hotel. An attack on the hotel guests? Unlikely. 
Pinnaconi's guests include quite a few bigwigs known throughout the whole cosmos. People who not even the IPC would dare take lightly. Aventurine is a shrewd merchant, and there's no way he doesn't know that. Uh, but how's it going for the family? He's definitely going for the family, and it's just a matter of how. The harmony is strong in Pinnaconi, and almost impossible to take on head to head. The fact that the IPC dispatched Venturine shows that they do not intend to simply play by the book here. Once again for Aquam. Venturine has devoted considerable attention to her. But this Galaxy Ranger, we know hardly anything about her and can't rush to any conclusions. Uh, perhaps it's going for the actual express. Ooh. Hmm. I was also considering this possibility, especially because he respects you so much and has sought you out before a few times. Perhaps he's also unsure of your intentions and is probing you. He's what me? <laughs> he's doing what to me? <laughs> I mean, child is. Um, <laughs> oh, God. Okay. <laughs> yeah. He, um, he does seem like he respects me a lot. He really, I think he likes me, you know? Downloads, hunger so but if Apple still needs your Apple ID. Ah, I think I would definitely recommend Star Rail. I love Star Rail so much, it's great. But yeah, if you need your ID, then that's a bit of a pain. <laughs> uh, no conclusions can be drawn just yet. I'm just <laughs> speculating. In any case, we have to be careful when handling a venturine. He's oh, reading people and discerning the right moment to strike. Also, if you don't have Star Rail already, like a Star Rail account, it's probably best to get one as soon as possible because you can get a Doctor Ratio right now, and that's only for the next two or three weeks till the next patch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Star Rail is so nice. He's clearly a born gambler if he's willing to go all in to win. All or nothing. I love Aventurine. He's great. If Aventurine wants to bring down the family, he'll have to create a big enough chance. After everything he's done so mm. far. Honestly. People say this about Star L. About how he gets so many more pulls, but it really makes sense when you consider like the type, like how many. Okay, with Star Rail, we get two f new five stars every update. Not only that, five star characters, or well, well, not even just five star characters, it's like uh, teams in general. They rely on you switching it up a lot more compared to just using the same character. Because, like, you get you go against these enemies and they have, like, different elemental weaknesses. Sometimes they summon multiple enemies, so you want an, um, a damage dealer that can attack multiple enemies. Or sometimes they only have one big enemy with loads of HP, so you want to have a, a, a character that can do single target and hit a bunch, you know? And that's the thing, is that um, with Star Rail, it really is like, oh, you really need to keep changing your teams around, etc, etc. Hmm. And um, so get them giving more wishes, it makes more sense because having more wishes and having more characters seem really important in Star Rail. And especially since they release so many, that you want to get like a new character every update, pretty much. Mm. It's so crazy.
crazy how they're already power creeping like that. Uh, we still got Dr. Ratio for free, we make a new account. Yes! That's until the end of this patch. Yeah. So, it's not going to be on for much longer, but yeah. You need to get up to the part where you unlock the mail, which doesn't take too long, but you still need to do like the beginning part of the game, so. But yeah. Because I that's what I did, is I went on my alt accounts for, that I used for Genshin. Because I have five Genshin accounts. This is sad, I know. But I went on my, my fourth and fifth account for Ge Genshin and I just made an account for Star Rail and basically redeemed mm. Dr. Ratio and just never went on them again because mm. might as well make the most of it, you know? <laughs> anyway. Well, hi. Adventuring said something that concerns me. Hmm. He accused that Galaxy Ranger of killing Robin without any evidence whatsoever but said nothing about her connection to that memory zone meme or why he was stalking Yeah! It made me wonder, does he know about the memory zone meme? And why he is stalking me? Ooh. <laughs> it was a groundless accusation, which only serves to make him seem more suspicious. Um, he's bluffing. Maybe Aventurine's goal was never to gain our trust. Maybe he wanted to foster a feeling of enmity towards Acheron and make the situation more volatile. Mm. Two birds, one stone. Uh, for the reason I gave? No, I have no idea. I really don't know. I've, well, I heard people say as well, um... There's like a different director or something with Genshin and that could be why. And they're just making it more strict with Genshin, but I don't know. It's hard to say. <laughs> However, I asked Don Hong back on the Express to confirm that story about the Annihilation Gang and the lost messages. It wasn't something that Aventurine made up out of thin air. Mm. You've met her many times now. What's your impression of Miss Acheron? Oh! Ah, uh, she's a mysterious woman. Weird, I can't seem to remember. <laughs> red text, red text. Why can't we do this? Why can't we talk about her? Wait. This is like Ryan May. Do you remember with Ryan May? Um, she gave us that food that we ate. And then we couldn't talk about her. We ended up talking about like toilets and trash cans instead, you know? <laughs> and this seems kind of similar to that in a way. That fits the stereotype of a galaxy ranger to a T. They're eccentric, unpredictable, and fond of being alone. No wonder she's a suspect. Looks like Adventurine doesn't need anything else. Let's turn our attention to the family's assignment for now. Himako, mm. what do you think? Among our current clues, the two murders that she witnessed are the most directly connected. I suggest starting here. One thing I'm curious about is, if a person dies in a dream, what happens to them in real life? Seeing as we're at the family's behest, why not pop back out to reality and verify Miss Firefly's situation yeah. back at the hotel? Perhaps we could also make a few inquiries about her while out there. That sounds like a good idea. Ryan May's quest was traumatic, yeah. Like, I thought Ryan May was going to be a sweet, lovely person. That is wrong. <laughs> She's kind of nice, but yeah. Oh! Can you not find out your ID in some way? I don't know how, but maybe. How about we split off into two groups? There are still some things worth focusing on inside the dreamscape. I'll investigate those and <laughs> we can link up again oh, later. Oh god, the boss, yeah. No thank you. Although... <sighs> I'm... I'm not looking forward to a boss that's happening later on. And okay, good luck. Worth good luck. Focusing on. Oh. No problem. I'll leave it to you then. Uh huh? Aw, I thought I'd finally 
get to see Himeko and Mr. Yang go out on a mission together. Oh well. Take care then, Mr. Yang. <laughs> I will. No, I won't. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> oh no. Hmm. Honored guest, uh, could you come out for a second? <gasps> it's her. I'd be embarrassed too, being stared out like that. Forgive me. Uh, my name is Welt Yang. I'm one of the crew members on the Astral Express. I believe you've met my colleagues. <laughs> no, I know. Like I, I, I mentioned his face once, but I have done this quest before my main, so I, I know, I know. I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> Akon and Welt Lord, yes, 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 yes. Like, I've read all about that with Hong Kai Impact Bird. It's interesting. Well. Is I need to play Hong Kai Impact Bird properly. First, don't okay. Don't you know my name? Cool, good luck. I already do, Miss Acheron. You're a prominent figure in Panacone. What are they saying about me? Some claim that you're the real culprit behind these murders, that the Annihilation Gang's tragic fate at the banquet was a result of your blade, and that you're now <laughs> attempting to unleash another bloodbath on Penicone. Ah, uh, Yan Yan, hi! Welcome, welcome! The Annihilation. How are you doing? Ifrit of Everflame Mansion. Tragic fate. That duke turned his dying body to flames and sacrificed his life as a martyr. He was a determined and heroic path strider. Not even a villain should be disparaged like this. And what's more, there were plenty of suspects invited. Do they really think that a blade is more dangerous than that black <gasps> hole you're wielding? Black hole? How do you know? <laughs> I'm going good, thank you. How are you? Keen intuition. Not even the family managed to point out the truth behind this cane. Oh yeah, that's a good point. If they knew about the cane, they probably would have been like, yeah, we're confiscating that. <laughs> so you must surely know, Miss Acheron, that peering into a black hole is not a wise move. As a potential threat, <laughs> your knowledge of us has reached uncomfortable depths. No, not quite. Because you said there was something that Gallagher said or something. I wasn't actually sure what you meant by that. Uh, how many gigabytes is Star Wheel? Uh, 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 it's still quite a bit. I think it's like 30 or 40 gigabytes. Um, let me check my phone. Because I've got my phone right next to me. Um... Oh, but this is Android, so I don't know if it'd be any different to Apple. Reveal your true identity and intentions. Otherwise, brace yourself for gravitational disintegration. <laughs> that shouldn't be necessary. But if it makes the nameless feel less defensive, I'll be happy to abide. Okay. Okay, yeah. Alright, yeah. I see, I see. Yeah, Honkai Star Rail. Oh! 18.97 gigabytes. Okay, I was a bit off. Actually, wait, that seems really low. Huh. I thought it was a lot higher than that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Believe it or not, Galaxy Ranger, Acheron. Those are the names I go by to this very day. My trip to Panacone is solely to fulfill and Yeah, Genshin is huge. Place. I'm here for the Watchmaker's legacy. And that's it. I think I've been honest enough. But what is the Watchmaker's legacy? Why are you going for it? Like, what's so important about it? Still unwilling to reveal your <laughs> true identity? It's not that I don't want to. It's just that I can't. 
I've come so far, and I can't sum up all of that in just a few words. It makes me wonder if she's like has the same thing that's happened to us. You know, because like we can't say we can't talk about Aqua. It's just stopped her for some odd reason. It just had to wear text instead, and um. I'm wondering if that's like a power with the Eon and Hility, you know? Oh, I just kind of gave that away. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I wonder if that's a power with, um, oops, I should have said that. You know what I'm trying to say, right? Well. Yeah, they have, hot, they have phones on this. Everyone has their own unspeakable past. Secret that they don't want to be revealed. And I won't be asking any more questions, <gasps> which is why the Astral Express is roaming around the cosmos with a stellar on board. Ooh. It's so cool because like you can get text messages. Whenever you pull a character, they send you a text message every day. Not every day, but for like, they send you like free text messages basically. And it's so cool. Is she okay? That memo keeper didn't do anything, right? <laughs> She's fine. Let's just stick with the topic. Gaining my trust depends on how much you're willing to reveal. I've run around many different Panacone dreamscapes just to try and find that legacy. And during this period, I came into contact with quite a few guests. <laughs> In the process. I gradually came to realize. Yeah, chip. <laughs> Secret of Panacone. Maybe closely related to the Trailblaze. That's why I've come to ask for your help. I don't have enough proof yet, but I'd like to speculate something. The source of all tragedy lies within the family. If you could trust me, we could find the proof to support this claim together. Hmm. Mr. Yang. I think you've come to the same conclusion, haven't you? Let's leave it at that. For now, I'll choose to believe that you bear no hostility. Share your findings with me and me alone. I don't want vague conjecture to interfere with other people's judgments before we find solid proof. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. By the way, would you like something to drink? Before we go, how about two cups of wake the heck up? <laughs> no, four cups. Because the conversation coming up will last forever. <laughs> yeah, that's such a cool drink name. Oh, oh, is it time? Is it time? At the same time, hotel in the real world. I've been watching her closely for a while now. And the first invitation was in the banquet hall of the hotel. She just sat in one corner, keeping silent, <laughs> chugging down a couple cups yeah. and wake the heck up. I told her it's a pungent, bitter beverage, not the taste of sweet dreams, only for people allergic to soul glad. And she said, Really? But I don't taste any difference at all between them. Akon is so weird. The guest rooms Aww. are charmingly minimalist. An aesthetic you share, Miss Acheron. It's a cinch. This music box. The invitation received by the Annihilation Gang. <laughs> the memories that linger on it. Yet. Okay. Yeah, I know what you mean, actually. She... You see, memories of you yeah. are not yours alone. They travel in other yeah, people. Yeah, okay other things I know much and I can predict even more with some help the dead can be made to speak she's not Lisa though, but she is yeah she's close <laughs> the annihilation she's mysterious game, that band of desperados who have disappeared <laughs> after meeting you what exactly happened to them well let me reveal all Gradations 12. Dreamscape 12. 
Father, I dedicate hmm. this to you. Well done. I guess, yeah. There it is. It's hazy, but it's Ifrit's voice. The other one is probably his progeny. This is the residual memory from when the invitation was first delivered. They were abruptly interrupted. Then, what happened next is... <laughs> And Natasha is a character you find early on in Star Wars. She's cool. She's actually a voice by Rosaria. Merely wishing for undisturbed rest away from the storms. Children of the flame, this marks your right of passage. She won't be necessary. I alone am enough. Mm. Um, I do watch anime, but I haven't been too into an anime recently, which is sad. But I do watch it on occasions. When have the, on the path of like, I watched uh, Solo Leveling, that was great. Yeah, I've seen Demon Slayer. Yeah, that's good as well. I like Demon Slayer. The Everflame Mansion has set out on a journey. Those poor people, they have no idea what lies in wait ahead of them. Memory recovery is going well, but slowly. She'll be here soon, and time is short. Who's she? There's nobody else here, so there's no need to be delicate. In fact, I think I'd better go all out. Wait, who's she? Who's she talking about? What happened? Oh, really? Oh, that's so cool. I don't watch anime in English. So, I don't really follow voice actors in English anime. But that's so cool to know. I have been tempted to watch some anime just because I was like, oh yeah, they actually have the same voice actor for the English when I was like, ooh, that's interesting. But I never like sometimes I like listen to it and I'm like, oh that sounds cool. Oh I recognize that voice or whatever. But yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh like I know like Soda Leveling. The oh, the voice actor for Soda Leveling, the main guy, he's not anyone in Genshin or Star Wheel, but he's really good, honestly. If he's ever in Genshin or Star Wheel, I'll be so happy. He's amazing, from what I heard in Solo Leveling. So good. Well, I know, um, or Haven's voice actor did a guy in, in, um, so leveling as well. I know. Because I saw him say something on Twitter about it. Ooh. How many mummies are in this game? Quite a few. <laughs> Quite a few. Uh, which is also Kafka. She's, she's, yeah, she's great. The memory after that is blank. How is that possible? This music box fell into Acheron's hands and she brought it to Panacone. That's a fact. And that's how it should have gone. But along the way... <laughs> it's also quite a few, uh, quite a few daddies as well. <laughs> uh, I feel so cringe saying that. <laughs> it's like it's been erased. Who's done this? Yes, Kaka is great. <laughs> yeah, we did have the same thought. <gasps> Who are you? Who are you? Ooh. It's... No. Is this not a memory? Oh, 
A memo keeper? Do you serve the Garden of Recollection? Or the Cremators? My name is Constance. Oh, Constance. To meet you. We were supposed to meet at Pentagoni and spend it. <laughs> Unforgettable time together. Hmm. But that seems unrealistic. Dolly is not welcome on the banquet store. And I don't need a coming of age ceremony. <gasps> and you. I know what you're looking for. Boo Hill is cool. I like Boo Hill. Want her secret? I can give it to you and then you can enjoy the banquet for me. I wish you unforgettable. Oh. Memories. Yeah, talking about Boo Hill. Oh. Hmm. A phone. Wanna listen in? Ah, it's weird how much Black Swan talks to herself as well. <laughs> At this moment on the other side. <gasps> Aventurine! Yes! I love Aventurine! A few days ago, the IPC made an announcement. Under the watchful guidance of the Marketing Development Department and in accordance with the Interstellar Peace Charter, the independent Sigonian sovereignty has hereby been established and shall take a legislative seat at the Interstellar Congress. The formation of the Sigonian sovereignty is of great historical significance to the Sigonia system. This move puts an end to the planet <gasps> and bloody yes! turning the sensational Kataka Abjin extinction event into a distant memory. That's true, you can choose Europe now. Sigonia Very true. is located in an unclaimed zone at the intersection of the Denise, Pruthian, and Dorneau star clusters. The planet's surface environment is known for being extremely harsh, constantly faced with the threat of impact from small-scale celestial objects. This is why very few intelligent species have made this planet their home dividing themselves into several tribes to eke out nomad lifestyles as they struggle to survive the arid desert wilderness. They have developed their own folk beliefs that are independent of the Eon belief system. Hmm. Sigonia. Sigonia. Ravenous eye of the storm, spurned by all the gods. Land of rock. But not water. Lightning. But not rain. Blood. <laughs> but not tears. You beat us with your falling stars. You lash us with wind and storm. You chew us up with the cracked earth. That's fair. <laughs> you promised us a land of honey. Yet yoked us beneath a sword of bitterness. Oh, Gyathra Triclops, if thou can hear me, <laughs> open up thy three eyes and gaze upon this child. When you took his father, my child was still sleeping in my belly. And where my husband went, I too soon must go. You went for Locha and not Aventurian? No. <laughs> I don't ask for a peaceful death. Just for you to tell me. Does the baby swaddle sweetly asleep? Yeah, sure. Does I see. he dream of his mother's heartbeat? Because it's and the, the falling anniversary, so they give more wishes. Please tell me whether this life is all just a fleeting dream. <laughs> okay, fair. Okay, yeah. Like, I, when I made this account, I was using Natasha to begin with as a healer. And then I, because I remember Natasha was really good at the start. But now she seems so bad. Oh. And then I started using Gallagher. I actually really like Gallagher as a healer, as well as Lynx. I use Lynx a little bit too. Um, but yeah.
I think Gallagher is okay for the time being. Um, but Aventurine, I really want Aventurine. I need him. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, you can lose 50-50. It's basically the same as Genshin. So it's like uh, soft pity is around like 75, 80 or so. Uh, like Genshin. And then you can lose 50-50. But then the next time you're guaranteed. The only difference is like the weapon banner. Because you know in Genshin, um, you have one weapon banner for both weapons. In Starwell, you have two weapon banners for each weapon. Or they're called Lycans on, in Starwell. So basically it's easier to get the weapons on Starwell. This child mm. be born to face impending death. I wish I did that with Genshin for weapon staff. Mommy, 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 the rain, it's raining. <laughs> raining. <gasps> raining. <laughs> it's raining. It's true. Elders weren't lying to us. They really did summon the rain. Mommy, we can leave here. We can go back home. Back home. Oh. Yeah. You came. Do you hear that? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Darling, listen. This is the sound of rain. <laughs> On the day you were born, the sky also sent down a gift like this from Gayatra. <laughs> Such a lucky child. Such a blessed child. Just like your name. A gift from them to Avgen. My boy. That's cool. I would love to get Akon's light cone. It'd be so cool, but I'm not going to. May the goddess Gayathra close her eyes. Three times. Keep your blood eternally pulsing. Let your journey okay. be forever peaceful. And your schemes forever conceived. Yeah. Welcome to this sad world. Kakavasha. <sighs> Time to wake up. Gamble. No! <laughs> I'm sorry, I love Dr. Ratio as well. I love his voice actor. <laughs> oh, heavens. <laughs> I must have drunk too much Soul Glad. Uh, didn't expect you to be back so soon. How is it? Find anything? Just as you guessed. Nobody outside knows about Robin's death. There aren't even baseless conspiracy theories. They are still streaming the rehearsal for her <laughs> ceremony. Using a stand-in, I guess. <laughs> they must be dreaming. Of course. <laughs> Who could imagine that death would actually descend upon the idyllic dream created by the family? Let alone that the victim would be the female lead of the Charmony mm. Festival. To be honest with you, I didn't believe it. I even tested it a few times myself. Oh. Until I discovered that I couldn't actually die. <laughs> How can you laugh at danger, that? I'm forced to wake by the dream pool and it's all as if everything were just a nightmare. That's so sad. And that's why I'm convinced that there are a few big secrets lurking behind the scenes. 
Then you must have heard about the Memory Zone meme. When I graciously deigned to establish connections with the Oak family on your behalf, mm -hmm. they were quite in a pitiful state of disarray. Welcome back! Besides Robin, there was another body. I don't know the exact details, just that it was a stowaway. Two murder cases? <laughs> I told you something seemed off about the nameless. Oh, she must have come across the other one. Hi, hi. Hi, Callum. <laughs> this murderer is a psycho. But I have to admit, the case should be easy to crack. We can leverage the family's malfeasance and let the IPC use this as a reason to intervene. Uh, it's just that their trickery runs deeper than I thought. Robin's stand-in was all ready to go. <sighs> These two murders are definitely getting hushed up. What should we do? <laughs> Let me think. It's too rare an opportunity to miss out on, so I gotta be careful. Incredible gambler. Have you already exhausted <laughs> your limited repertoire of tricks so soon? <sighs> oh, there are plenty of chips, but it'd be best to choose carefully. The most straightforward has to be Robin. Remember, that masked fool once told me to find a mute as a friend. A mute, hmm. Robin is what she calls the mute. She has lost her voice, and while most people can't pick up on it, you and I cannot mistake that sound. Not produced by any voice box, but rather by the resonance of the harmony. If that girl hadn't gone hoarse from singing practice, there'd only be one possibility. Something was up with the family. Or Robin herself. To get to the bottom of this, I tried every way I could to meet her. Yeah. But she died. Right before my very eyes. A complete and utter loss. Incidentally, it seems to have resulted in your rather undignified arrival on the interrogation stand. There were eyewitnesses at the scene. And the family, in their graciousness, has tentatively accepted your alibi. However, for the foreseeable future, you shall, regrettably, find yourself under the vigilant watch of the hounds. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> well, things aren't looking too optimistic, Doctor. I'm starting to break out in a cold sweat. D do you reckon... There's still any chance of a comeback, given how things are. A probability? Yes, it exists, but it verges on the infinitesimal. To phrase <laughs> it in a matter more befitting the vernacular of Penacony, you're dreaming. But if you simply can't control yourself and want to try your hand, then there just so happens to be a suitable candidate. That man wants to see you again. Oh? Who? Sunday. <sighs> Is this a public hearing or a private trial? If it were the former, it would hardly befit my stature to stoop to the role of a mere messenger. <laughs> <sighs> Fine. <laughs> well, that's great. It's all great. You see, the dead can't talk, but the living can. Ratio, I'm convinced now that there must be something wrong inside the family. Oh, <laughs> just you wait and see. That man's sister has died. He can't sit on his hands. Oh, without any further ado, let's set off. Lead the way. The show is about to begin. <laughs> We're here. The Dewlight Pavilion is the Oak family's fortress and a place where heads of the families meet to discuss great plans for Panacone. Fortress? <laughs> oh, I like this metaphor. I dealt with the warlords of the Amanica star system not long ago, and their synchronized orbital manor wasn't this heavily guarded. This mansion nominally belongs to Sunday and is very befitting of its owner. Without his express invitation, the likes of ordinary guests would never grace these grounds in their lifetimes. 
Look around <gasps> while you still Yay! have this moment of freedom. Do it, do it, do it. Download it on your phone. <laughs> hey, Doc, whose side are you on anyway? Who's to say I won't sell you out? Yeah, you can get, you can get him for free. <laughs> sell you out, hey? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. When we meet the authoritarian master of the Oak family, I'll pry an answer out of him. Follow me and I'll bring you to his parlor. Hold your tongue and let me deal with the members of the family. <gasps> yeah, Akron is here, but not for long because of Venturine, this guy. He's gonna be here soon. I'm so excited for him. Yeah, 21 hours and then she's gone. And Locha. Locha and Akon are both really good, honestly. Yay, he's downloading. It's so great. And yeah, to answer your question, because it's been ages, there's phones. You can see there's a phone here and you can get like messages. Uh, it's not messages. Am I blind? Stip. It's not here! Maybe it's just not here right now because I'm adventuring. I don't know. But there's so many cool characters in this game. Um, that's not what I want. I want data bank, I think. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Dan! We get Dan. He, he's a character. We just saw Ratio. Um, Sampo, I love Sampo, he's so great. Garrett, hey, welcome! Uh, does these cats have their own phone case? Yes, they do, they do. This is so cool. Uh, Jepard, I love Jepard. You can tell, I'm gonna like click all for girls, I mean for guys. <laughs> I'm gonna click all for guys, all for Kafka here. You know Kafka, but she's great. Um, Jing Yuan. I love Jing Yuan. Get him. Um, Argenti. <gasps> and Luca. I love Luca. He's great. Oh, Toby. Hey, welcome. How you doing? Sparkle. He's so cute. Um, because this is my old account, and I only made this account not long ago. I made this account um, at the start of 2.0, basically. So yeah, I don't have Seely, see, see, Seela on this account, but I have them on my main. <laughs> yeah, everyone has their own like phone case. You can see. It's so cool. I like his phone case. Wait, who should I use in my team? Um, okay. Um, do that. Oh, wait. I don't really need Gallagher because I got adventuring. Okay. <laughs> this is hardly enough for a seat at the table. Oh, I love him. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they must have put Dan and Sparkle in one patch. Yeah. I can't remember if it was in the first part. It might have been Black Swan and Dan together. I can't remember when Dan was. 
but I got really lucky with Dan because like I did 10 wishes. I think you, I think it was with Black Swarm, but I did like 10 wishes and I got it. Dan. In my first 10 wishes. I got so lucky. I don't know, it should go all the way back there. Didn't get lucky there. <laughs> oh yeah, and I got welt. It was my first welt fail. I haven't had welt before in any of my other accounts. There you go, Dan. And then... Black Swan. Yeah. Yeah, it must be in the same banner because it's only a day after. Yeah. I know, yeah, I love that about Adventurine too. It's so funny. I, I just love that how it's, it's whole gimmick. Ah, oh, he's great. Hey you two, that's a place of business. No entry. And I love these two. Like, I was going to say Dr. Ratio was going to be my favourite character, probably, because I just love the way he speaks, mainly. And then Adventuring came out. <laughs> and I was like, wait, no, mom. wait a moment, I think I prefer Adventuring. <laughs> I am obsessed with Adventuring now. I was requested by Mr. Sunday to bring him the suspect. <laughs> my name is Ratio. He should have mentioned it to you. Oh, I remember Yeah, he's kind of cute. Toss ratio. Small. Your punch virtual particle clock is impressive. Excuse me? Uh, the one on your head. Of course, it's nothing compared to my full pocket dimensional annihilating power armor of the Mobile Knights. Oh wow, that download is so quick! That's awesome though! Yay! Go just one Danny's, yeah, true. True and real. <laughs> right, and as I mentioned, that fantasy raiment of yours doesn't exist. That's because you can't see it. Like I say, only family can see the glory of the mobile knights. Ugh, enough. Get going. Don't keep Mr. Sunday waiting. <sighs> it seems like the idiocy index here is no better than it is out there. Ugh, enough. Get going. Hey, don't keep Mr. Sunday waiting. Mm. Okay, so I've seen a donut. <laughs> I see. Dead end. So you like downloaded the game, you logged in, but then it's got to do that additional download stuff. The door is shut tight. Looks like we're all Yeah, same. I mean, there isn't a door. How did you get in before? <laughs> For security reasons, the family built the administrative site deep in the dreamscape, with the mechanisms hidden in these Nightingale statues. The direction of the statues can be controlled. On the previous so occasion, should I force this or should I not force this? Go to the side room to verify something before <laughs> setting the statues in the correct positions. Jane, yes, well, maybe we should do the express. Same. Let's go and take a look. Of course, we can also use brute force. Because I know if we do it with brute force, Doctor Asia has some like. Um, unique dialogue, which I think is funny. Hat 
see you as well, Garrett. Happy to see you as well. I know if you keep spinning them, eventually... Solving a problem by brute force doesn't prove your intelligence. The side room. Don't let me repeat myself. <laughs> I am sorry about your love ratio. He's so cool. You didn't know that. Okay, let me find the answer and and I'll do it. I, I'll brute force it. Um... It's loading! Ah, this is so cool! It's so great! That is so great. Okay, we'll, we'll brute force this door. So, <clears throat> oh, it's a chest. I got a picture on my other screen. Although well, it's very blurry, so I don't know how well I'll see it. Um. Ah, there you go. I said, brute force can also solve things. <sighs> the Council of Mundanite should consider you as their member, for no one in this universe is more suitable to be there than you. <laughs> there you go, unique dialogue right there. <laughs> if you brute force the um. We put in force of being. Yeah, it's like 19 gigabytes. It's. It could be quite a bit, but. It's worth it. <laughs> oh, impressive. <laughs> well, so much for Mr. Sunday's reserved, virtuous image. Yeah! You can just skip the whole thing. It's crazy. Do you need me to remind you? We're in a dreamscape. No matter how grand the mansion looks, it'll not affect Penicone. Stop wasting your time nitpicking the family here. Yeah, you're right. The only way to destroy the family is death. <laughs> Sunday must have thought the same. Let's head down. I love how Ratio just sounds annoyed all the time. It's so, ah, uh, I love it. I'm gonna have you tomorrow. I'm gonna use you as my main character. I'm gonna walk around as a Venturine everywhere. I love a Venturine. Feeling lucky. He's great. He is so great. It's Star Wars better than Genshin. I, I would say no, honestly. I do prefer Genshin still. Because with Star Wars, it's a turn-based game. It's... Not as open world, but then they are both really different games. But they have really interesting stories. They both do have really interesting stories. So, gameplay, Genshin's better, animation, uh, Star Wars better. Yeah, honestly, yeah, I agree with that. I'm not going to do that puzzle. Although, yes, another thing as well, puzzles are better in Star Wars. And events as well. Some of the events in Star Wars are pretty cool. So, you know, I like the um, recent event we had in Genshin, the alchemy one. And the cat one. I love the cat one. Although it's very simple. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, loping. Um, what's wrong? It's going to be so are we good. Heading the wrong way? No. But this door is locked. My friend, did you really make an appointment with him? Friend? It's a trial. You've got to prove <gasps> oh you're no, really? Before you can speak uh. with him. If I'm not wrong, we need to find a way to open this door in the hall, or this place will be our prison. 
I do like this sort of game, so this sort of like management games. Oh, an escape room. <laughs> yeah. My favorite. That's actually a good point because in um, in style we have the simulated universe, which is really cool. Um, but you also have like Swarm Disaster in the simulated universe, and I haven't finished that yet on my main account. And then. There's also um, the Golden Gears. I have barely started that one. Uh, Hong Kong Impact. Hong Kong Impact third. I've barely played it. It's not really for me, but that's mainly because it's mainly for people who collect waifus. <laughs> I prefer my guys, and there's no guys in Hong Kong Impact third. <laughs> Yeah, I do really want to try and get into it at some point. Get serious. I've no time for games. Let's head back. The hint is probably in that prominent sandpit. <laughs> wow. That's an enormous sandpit. I'd love to build a tall building for myself. Once I have enough savings. Hmm. Oh, look. There's a noticeable gap in the model. I believe you're right. There wasn't a gap before. That man must have done it intentionally. Well, with your brilliant mind, you shouldn't have any trouble recalling what was here last time. Right, Doctor? I was just about to say, Doctor Ratio, he's got like the similar voice to uh, the toy, or the Doctor in Genshin. Obviously, it's not the same voice actor or anything, but he has that, like, dragging out for word stuff that the Doctor does, you know. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Let's look around. When I see it, I will know <sighs> Fine. Fine. Why do I feel that we're pursuing a degree in burglary now? <laughs> It's getting there, you tell. It's getting there. Ah, so exciting. <laughs> I do hope you enjoy style, though. Uh, I, I, I really love style. Because yeah. there's also um, the makers of. Genshin and Sara, they're also releasing uh, Sinless Stone Zero soon. Don't know when, but that's coming out at some point. I'm not sure if I'm looking forward to that. It does look kind of cool, like especially like for animations and such. I love for animations and even the soundtrack for it seems pretty cool. But I don't know how much I would actually like the game itself. Found it. This is it. Yeah. That's fair, but also stuff can be a bit boring, which is why usually with Star Rail I end up doing something else. I usually have like, because I, I mainly play Star Rail on my computer, and I usually have Star Rail on one screen and Genshin on the other screen. And I just do like my stuff on Genshin and then there's like autoplay on Star Rail. And then every so often I actually like focus on it. Like I am now. But yeah. Oh, I'm bad. <laughs> oh really? I did not know about that, Philip. <laughs> That's great. I love these puzzles. It's so cool. Ta -da! You can't replan your attacks, really? Oh, I'm just here to like auto attack all the time. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> 
But then I don't really do the harder stuff, I guess. Like, the, um, I did do, like, uh, Difficulty 4 in the simulated in Swamp Disaster, and I was so happy with that. But I haven't done Difficulty 5 yet. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do the mini-game stuff right now. I do that in my free time. Otherwise the stream will go on for ages. Huh. And the nameplate reads Gulliver's Arch. <laughs> well, I'm amazed you can remember something this tiny. You know, this reminds me of a tunnel I once saw that could shrink people who passed through it. If mm. I were you, I would shut my mouth. It's wise to remain silent when you should. Chill. Okay. Oh, thank you for taking us back to the lobby. I love this bear. Insert the well, This reminds arc. me of one of those building toys. You know, with the blocks. <laughs> I've never played with them before. I wonder if it's more interesting than stacking chips. Maybe, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, look. The gap is closed. Ah! And it fits perfectly. <laughs> so, what's next? Enter! Let's go! Let's do this! Woo! <laughs> I see you, Asia. Oh, oh, good heavens. D did I drink? <laughs> Am I still in a dream? I remember seeing a video on Twitter and someone was like... <laughs> you know? <laughs> Sorry, I just had to do that. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, Doctor, you're huge. Ayo. <laughs> it's me. Down here. In the, the sand pit. Oh, I love that so much. Ah, oh, it's so good. You're not the only one no, you're not. <laughs> Oh, I love you, Sue. Actually, I think we could make this work for us. Just find a way to slip me into Sunday's collar, and I'll infiltrate the family just like that. <sighs> oh, fine. I was just kidding. Let's find a way to open the door. Why are you just walking into the wall? Dude! Look at him! Look at Ratio up there! Ah! He's staring at us! I love Ratio. model hi i am an oak soldier i will be here to guide you through the tour of the base model happy to be of service thanks uh tell me about the guided tour hmm. and tell me about the tour hello welcome to the golden hour base <laughs> raise your daddy yes <laughs> so true <laughs> i am an oak soldier I will be here to guide you through the tour of the base mall. Uh, give it a kick. Model. Happy to be of service. Let's kick it. Generating guide. Please wait patient. Oh, 
<laughs> what are you doing? Kick it again. Um, the nearest check in spot. Please look behind me. A capsule ma machine model. Model. <laughs> oh, this is so dumb. Uh, are you okay? At screen of a soldier collapses, he didn't even have time to earn a five star rating from you. No! Five star rating! <laughs> What's up with that? Now the family's toys are trying to frame me? I didn't do a thing to it, Doc. You've got to be my witness. I saw nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you saw nothing. Oh, I love Ratio. I love Avenger and I love Ratio. They're both great. Look for the casual mo- uh, 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 she in. <laughs> oh, capsule machine. Oh, there's no mechanism on the floor. Could there be one at the top? Doctor, do me a favor. <laughs> I love how you asked for a favor. <laughs> Do you know why he's such and he's bugs? That's why he's such and he's like all bugged out. So I was right. These models oh. have interiors that look exactly like the real buildings. The only difference is that no one lives in them. That's cool, pal. It's funny that Sunday puts a miniature that makes him seem like a giant by comparison. Right where he can see it first thing in the morning. <laughs> Insecure much? Because <laughs> <laughs> he's he's all tiny abs, yeah. Yeah, he's judging because of us. That's definitely the reason why. <laughs> ah, is there any characters that you want to get, Huto? Is there anything that you know of that you want to get? Is there any of them caught your eye? <laughs> Kaka, that's fair. Kaka's great. Watch your head. Destiny for oblivion. Sparkle, yeah. Stand down. Mm. So yeah, like like you do get um a five star in standard pool after fifty pills, which you pretty much get for free anyway, which is really cool. And also another thing is with a standard pool, if you do two no three hundred pools in a standard pool, you get to choose a five star. And you only do it once, only for one time, but it's still really cool. You can choose a five star. Um, they also have um in here. So, you know, I forgot what they're called, Star Glitter in Genshin. You can use them to buy five star light cones. This is cool. Well, I've never done that. Because <laughs> they're quite expensive. Oh, one of the fragments flew upstairs. I don't need to use the pinball machine to flick myself up there. Ugh. But it's tough. They are lucky. They do some really good stuff with Star Rail. Oh, you're so close! 90%! <laughs> so close! <laughs> oh, great. There's another pinball machine base here. 
And it's empty too. Doc! <laughs> I'll need your brain power again. <laughs> There's no need to yell, I can hear you. The pinball machine must be hidden somewhere in the house. <sighs> like the arch. Wait here, and I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> I love a show. Ah! Yes! Uh, he said he's just Fine. done it and stuff right now. Of peace. <laughs> Do you want to bet? You want to bet that you got a moment of peace? Hey? 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 Come on. Welcome. I know eventually Newsy tells you off. He did this to me before because I was an AFK last time. Ah. <laughs> Quite a fascinating contraption. I would rate it more favorably if that clamorous little person inside were gone. Oh, don't say that. Yeah, it's not working. He's not saying the line. I think I walked too far away. It sucks. Ah. I wanted to hear Aventurine speak to me. Unless I have to be on this phone. I'll be on my phone for a little bit. Not long. Just a little bit. <laughs> and then... Nah, it's not working. Okay. Shame. We missed out on a line. Oh no! Ah! It changed my team as well. I don't have Apple on my team. Wait, Avenger is out in the Asian in the Asian server? No way! Oh, <laughs> I gotta wait a few more hours. <laughs> I gotta wait a few more hours. It seems so early. Yay! Have fun! Have fun! Have fun! Have fun! Yes. <laughs> I'm so excited for you. Ah. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. I see. Okay. So not yet, but soon. Yeah. It's it's. Ah. Uh, it'll be in like twenty-two hours, twenty-three, twenty-one hours here. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Oh, my ratio is nearly dead. Come on, Gallagher, heal. There you go. I like Gallagher. He's actually a pretty decent healer. To an extent. Yes, no lag. That's perfect. That's it. 
pleasant moments of solitude are always fleeting. <laughs> oh, I love how he used to sound so annoyed all the time. I love it. Yeah, it's doing also as always. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Place the model in the sand pit. Oh, here you go. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. <laughs> oh, I love these two. Where are you, Doc? There you are. You're great. <laughs> Right, um... Go! Oh, look at him! You should come in here and take a look. The view here is breathtaking. Honestly, you could easily squash me with just a pinch. <laughs> if that is your wish, I will do so without a moment's hesitation. <laughs> oh no! Wildfire, oh, that's sweet. Are you fighting right now? What? <laughs> oh, he looks great. Wait, 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 there's a puzzle right there. Ah! <laughs> Hold on. Piece of cake. Okay. I'm not gonna go over there. I'm not gonna do exploration because otherwise my stream will go on for ages. Kafka is. <laughs> okay. No, I completely get that. I'm the same when it comes to like adventuring. There's like one little noise. I'm like, oh my god, he made that noise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. And the joyous tour of Toy City has come to an end. You know, we had to be in the same server to add people, unfortunately. I'll use this interesting experience <gasps> as a talking point at the poker table. <gasps> That makes sense. All right, bye, Ratio. I'm gonna miss you seeing you so big. <laughs> You're learning gameplay, yes! Yay! <laughs> no lag, so good. It's a pity you made it out of the sand pit alive. <laughs> Sunday is just beyond this door. From my limited understanding, he's not someone easily handled. Are you prepared? Ratio, he's so mean! Oh, it's a pity you made it out alive. <laughs> yeah. Only I believe he's the one who should be prepared to face me. Tell me about your plan. I don't have a plan. I'll just play oh. by ear. There are only two kinds of bargaining chips when dealing with people. Benefit or fear. Looks like sincerity isn't in your dictionary. <laughs> Am I not sincere enough? <laughs> There's no need to emphasize it. We've got to make good use of death. That man's sister is dead. He won't be able to turn a blind eye, and that's fear. Hmm. And I'll help him find the murderer. He can't do it due to his status and position, but I can. And that's benefit. On what basis do you believe he's incapable? 
necessitating the delegation to someone from a rival faction, the IPC. Too simple. Because that murderer could very well be a traitor hiding inside the family. Too. Uh, um, do you mean the Galaxy Ranger whom you accused previously? <laughs> that was just an excuse, good doctor. There's something wrong with that woman. We need someone who can keep her in check. It's better to minimize the variables outside our control while we execute our plans. Moreover, I need to know her identity. If I'm lucky, <laughs> she could be an important pawn. And it's good to have more helpful friends when dealing with this matter. But honestly, the murder case is likely unrelated to her. I believe my standpoint. There's a rat in the family. Otherwise, why would Mr. Sunday arrange a private meeting with us? This isn't an interrogation, but a secret negotiation. Mm. We'll see. Using Robin's death as a bargaining chip, I'll win back my freedom and power. In the end, I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the grandest death. The grandest death? Ooh. If the chance of winning is just beyond this door, even if that chance is close to zero, well, <laughs> you can't win if you don't play. Yeah. Right. Ah, the charming <laughs> audacity. To think that you, of all people, might emerge victorious, dear Gambler. Ah, he looks so annoyed at him. <laughs> Three chips are enough. All or nothing. All or nothing. I completely get why Ratio gets so annoyed though, because it's like eventually he goes in without a plan or a proper plan. He just like does things as he can, and he still usually comes out winning. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it doesn't make any sense that he wins, but he still wins. My puzzles are too effortless for you, IPC ambassador. I appreciate your words. And I see you put a lot of effort into welcoming me, Mr. Sunday. However, this is no way to greet a Chill, it's not. Well, this isn't an invitation, but a summoning. Ooh. Before we speak, I need to test your character. I imagine this knowledgeable doctor friend of yours has been of great help, yes? Certainly. But you ought to know this better than I do. He's already faithfully fulfilled his duties, hasn't he? <laughs> yes. The doctor has assured me of your noble character. Ah, he considers you, so like himself, a virtuous person who can be trusted by the family. It's so nice when you have much better pain. It's so much nicer. I have come to know you very well as a person, Mr. Aventurine. You're diligent, generous, and willing to cooperate. The fact that you succeeded in overcoming <laughs> many obstacles just to meet me gave me the reason to believe in your wisdom and courage. But there's one thing I must ask you. That is, you've used your wisdom at the wrong place to meet the wrong person and put yourself in a situation where you shouldn't be. Meet the wrong person? Tragedy that shouldn't have happened. Oh, you don't look too well. Am I making you anxious? If not, then it means I'm on your side. If I wasn't mistaken, you'd just made a serious accusation against the family. No, you weren't mistaken. For depravity is creeping in around you. Oh. There's no need for us to be evasive. Let's talk about your sister. Your sister's talent is unrivaled in the world of show business. As you know, her voice has been out of tune since she returned to Penacony. What's more disheartening, she can't sing anymore. Yes, I'm in this Europe server. Yes. Who could be responsible for this? Many suspect the culprit is among the outsiders, but I know. You hold a different opinion. So, if you want to, you feel free to add me. I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind. And, um, 
It'd probably be better to add my main account though. I mean, I guess you could add my both accounts if you really want to. It's up to you. But yeah. <laughs> now your noble status has become a shackle, preventing you from apprehending the murderer and avenging your sister's death. <laughs> you're feeling anxious because you're out on a limb. Yeah, I love Kafka's ultimate. It's so cool. But don't worry. I'm yes. On your side. <laughs> I'm immensely honored by your concern for me, Mr. Aventurine. Since you're so selfless and generous, I believe you wouldn't ask for anything in return, <laughs> would you? Well, naturally, you wouldn't incur any loss from this. I just want to reclaim what is mine. My liberty and the personal items under the family's custody, the bag of gift money, and... The box in which the cornerstone is stored. That's right. I get my main moment. Cornerstone. I've heard it's a treasured asset of the strategic investment department. A sacred stone that seals the preservation emanator, granting significant power. And every liquidation specialist holds one. For an object so precious. It probably comes at an even higher price than other forms of recompense. Well, I'm sure you're aware of the high level of risk I'll be undertaking to bring the truth to light. Nah, I don't wail. I only get the, um, for, uh, for equivalent to Welkin, I forgot what it's called. Um, yeah, I don't really wail. Like on this account, I got Welkin because I wanted to get Aventurine on this account. But I also got the um, the more expensive battle pass because I wanted his profile picture too. <laughs> but no, I don't wail. I, I don't really have enough money to wail. And I just, instead of waiting, I just make multiple accounts so I can ha still have every character. Mr. Aventurine, when you are out and about, do you always make adjustments to your appearance? Your tie should be on the center line. Your shirt must not protrude from your vest. Your trouser creases should be perfectly straight. <laughs> <gasps> the tips of your shoes. The cyberpunk anime was so good. Yes. I love it. But I don't, because it's not appropriate to do so in public. You should make sure everything is presentable and in order before leaving the house. I really want to watch it again, Edgewanners. I, I can't remember what it's called for a moment, Anne, but yeah. I'm not the kind that oh, takes risks. Oh, it's so good. The cornerstone must be in the custody of the family. No room for negotiation. Please, don't let me turn you down twice. <laughs> okay. Sure. The gift money is good enough. I suppose you wouldn't mind that. After all... A merchant can't function without a bargaining chip. Uh, okay. Yeah, I just posted my UID. My main UID, so feel free to add me. I don't mind. <laughs> um, whenever you can. I don't know if you can right away. But yeah. You compromised quicker than I thought. It's all right. <laughs> It's a gambler that needs a bargaining chip, not a merchant. I can give you your gift. <gasps> but gone horse, but good that, luck. I want you to tell me. Yeah, I still, I kind of struggle with forgotten horse. Um. The fact that you can decisively forsake the box phone. you asked for. What exactly is stored in it? Unforgotten horse. I am eight out of twelve from progress. Twenty-four out of thirty-six stars. That's not great. It's really not great. I mean, I also battle everything first. That's probably a big reason why. But I kind of struggle with it. In pure fiction, three out of four, six out of twelve stars. It's still not great. <laughs> I don't do so good. I need to try and do it properly without auto battling. Oh, triple faced 
Oh no. Please sear his tongue and palms with a hot iron, so that he will not be able to fabricate lies and make false vows. <sighs> what have you done? Under the light of the harmony, all wickedness is revealed. I implore them to shed their light, and I'll ask you questions on their behalf. Next, you have 113 seconds to prove your innocence and gain <laughs> my trust. That's fine, that's fine. Oh, yeah, that's actually good. Yeah, yeah, do that. And then I can add you. And if I refuse I to answer... I on this code so I can remember that. You can try. And we'll see if the harmony rejects you. <laughs> Question. Do you own a cornerstone? Yes. What a simple answer. You, too, understand that idle chatter leads only to poverty. Okay. Did you hand over the cornerstone to the family when you entered Panacone? Yes. Does the cornerstone you handed over to the family belong to you? Yes. Is your cornerstone in this room right now? Hmm. Yes. This is really interesting when you know what this is all about. Is your memory free from any kind of tampering or deletion? Encompassing but not restricted to the techniques of the Garden of Recollection? Yes. Are you an Avgin from Sigonia? Yes. You even know about that? I love the way he says yes as well. <laughs> I am not simping, I swear. <laughs> Do the Avgins I have any ability to read, tamper with, or manipulate one's own or another's mind? No. No. Does it matter? Do you love your family more than yourself? <laughs> Moan, yes. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that again. Oh, that was really weird. <laughs> okay, moving on. All the Avgins were killed in a massacre. Am I right? <laughs> no. Are you your clan's sole survivor? Not doing that again. Perhaps. Do you? Hate and wish to destroy this world with your own hands. I don't know. Aww. Interesting. Now, the final question. Can you swear that at this very moment, the Aventurine Stone is safe and sound in this box? You can't get away from that question. You can't get away from that. Hmm. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Looks like we can get an answer. Open it, Mr. Aventurine. It's your last chance to defend your honor. Please. My husband's in one room. <laughs> Are these what you're looking for? <laughs> oh! <laughs> System hours ago, do you like pavilion? 
Since you came as promised, learned doctor, does this mean that you are willing to take the side of the family in this farce? What makes you think you can convince me? I love his voice. I've heard you haven't enjoyed Mr. Aventurine's company. I also understand that you're an avid learner who sees the pursuit of knowledge above all. I know. I know what you mean, yeah. He already knows all the answers. In that case, you ought to realize that a competent scholar knows their position and wouldn't forsake more vital matters for the sake of petty pride. If you agree to assist the family, I'll share our research findings on the Stellaron. You must be quite aware that, besides the family, no other faction is willing to share such information. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> Cut to the chase. What do you need from me? I need Mr. Aventurine's comprehensive plan. Haven't you confiscated his cornerstone? You can't expect a featherless bird to take flight. But I've also heard the ten elites in the Strategic Investment Department have united, progressing together in the interests of the IPC. You'll have to speak more clearly than that. <sighs> the cornerstone which Mr. Aventurine surrendered. Was it really his? <laughs> you question whether he would entrust you with someone else's cornerstone. <laughs> the ten stone hearts aren't as united as you think. Cornerstones are significantly more precious to them than their very own lives. Kafka's great. I love Kafka. Oh god, the boy or the girl. Oh no, wait, that's a hard choice. I always go for the girl. I really like Stella. I really like the girl, but it's up to you. <laughs> it's up to you. But you know that he's a crazed gambler. The more vocal he is about it, the more cautious I must be. I never imagined someone would share his way of thinking. Honestly, you should see a shark. <gasps> oh. Bring it. <laughs> the box containing the cornerstone is unique, and only IPC senior staff and related members can access it. But I happen to be among them. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, it's changeable. It's just like Genshin. I appreciate it. Although I think you can only change it once every 24 hours or something. So you can change it, but you can't change it constantly. Unfortunately, your guess is correct. <laughs> the golden stone. Its color and glow are similar to that of Klepoth's body. Yeah, the preservation eon. This is the very ruse he intends to use to fool you. He won't reveal to you that the ten stone hearts chisel their own will into the cornerstones, granting them an unparalleled radiance. You don't have to. If you mean if it's like easy to know, if it's you, like I can add like notes to it as well. You can like add a note of like who the person is, so you can remember who the person is that you added. And this golden Let's choose like a name that you like, mainly. Topaz, not Adventurine, and it belongs to Topaz. <gasps> so. Do you wish to confront him? Uh, not at the moment. I'm more interested to know the location of his cornerstone. The safest place somewhere you'd never think of. Because he never intended to hide it. In fact, 
That cornerstone has been in your hands from the very beginning. Oh, I meant that no things have been that um other people can do. You know? <laughs> so You can add like a notes for your friends. Like a, a nickname, that's the word. Nickname. <laughs> I forgot the word. <laughs> I see. This bag. Mixing a cornerstone. More precious than life itself. With a bunch of worthless jewels. Disguised as a gift of money waiting to be confiscated. Is indeed in line with Mr. Aventurine's style. Mm-hmm. Then he makes up some trivial excuse, downplaying the matter, and requests the gift money. This is a gamble, one he's all too familiar with. Betting on your single misstep, leading to a total loss. Okay. Okie dokie. Learn it, Doctor. I am grateful for your help. The family will surely reward a righteous person like you. As for the villain... <laughs> I hope he retreats in humiliation. <laughs> it was all thanks to your friend with a keen eye that I could add a blot of utter failure to your storied career. <sighs> Ratio, you wretch. Colors, huh? Oh, and just to remind you, you currently only have 17 system hours left to live. Treasure your remaining time and savor the delectable after. Kafka kissed you? What? <laughs> you might as well explain yourself a little more clearly. What I performed on you just now was the Harmony's consecration. You were to show allegiance beneath the illumination of their grace. Yet you acted willfully, uttering nothing but falsehoods, transforming the consecration into a trial. I genuinely see no reason <laughs> to absolve you from it. <laughs> is this what the harmony represents? But is it built upon constraint and coercion? Ah. <laughs> This you nearly misunderstand, <laughs> Mr. Aventurine. Punishment is meant for the irreverent. But I have seen your resilient spirit, and thus I offer you the possibility of a new beginning. Throughout these 17 system hours, you will be unable to escape the dreamscape or contact any of your companions. You only have two paths before you, and it all depends on whether you can complete my test within the time limit. Should you succeed, you will be able to coalesce into the harmony and be with your family. If you fail, you will suffer the wrath of the eternal centurion and fall into an abyss of doom. <gasps> <sighs> oh, sounds like I'm going to end up the same either way. Oh, no, adventuring! I indeed do need a servant to help me uncover the evil hidden in the family from an external perspective. I will purge the evil from the inside and bring the real culprits to justice within 17 system hours. When the time comes, compare your findings with mine. If both our findings align, or if you can provide me more insights, then they will truly be able to grant you mercy and honesty. Mm. Shameless hypocrites. You took everything from me and still demand the truth? That isn't fair. Your carnival reeks with the stench of cash. Nothing is achievable without it. This is meant to be an act of personal virtue, <laughs> not requiring family support. Your bag is over there. Do as you please. I believe you can trade this bag of worthless jewels for everything you need. That's what gamblers excel at, isn't it? <laughs> Hachi almost kissed you. <laughs> and, then, and then the mum stops you. Oh my god, I love that. That's great. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah. 
It's true though. Yeah. It's one way to start the game, it really is. <laughs> Off you go, Mr. Aventurine. You are free. I will wait here for your good news. <laughs> yeah, that's great. This meeting isn't an interrogation <laughs> or a negotiation. It's an outright execution. Oh, he's mad. Aventurine! <laughs> Why would I do that, Mr. Aventurine? I'm just wondering what a passerby who stumbled upon a scene of a murder could have found out. That's all. Hmm. By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. What is it? What is it now? You... Do you truly wish to bring about the destruction of this world? Oh. I forgot that was a question. Oh. Where did you go? Oh, are you injured? I got it back, sister. You went to look for them? That's too dangerous. It's just a necklace. It's neither food nor water. We can survive without it. But I can't live without you, little brother. Promise me not to look for those catechins again, okay? Sister, don't be afraid. The catechins are fools, but I'm smart. I played a game with them, and I won. Won? What happened exactly? Tell me. I made a bet with them. The two birds in the desert and me. Who will die first? I won. They suspected me of cheating, but I didn't. I won fair and square. <laughs> of course. Of course you'd win. You've always been a lucky child. Gayathra Triclops must be watching over you. But that's no reason to push your luck by going up against those... those bloodthirsty, cruel catechins. Have you forgotten how Mom and Dad... It's just a necklace. But Kakavasha, you are my only family. <sighs> I'm sorry, sister. I thought you'd be happy. Because mom left you this necklace. <sighs> there will be no next time. It is important. But not as important as <clears throat> you, my dearest brother. I don't blame you, but you must remember what Mom said. I just love how you call her for month. <laughs> Pain and poverty are the trials of Gayathra Triclops. She has also granted us a chance. And that's your good luck, Kakavasha. Your good luck is the most precious wealth we all Avgen have. You're a child blessed by Gayathra Triclops. And you made the clan to happiness. So always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. All right? <sighs> Listen to me and swear to Gayathra Triclops. Okay. We'll swear to Gayathra Triclops to protect this wealth. <laughs> but sister, Gayathra Triclops was really watching over us. Then why did she not protect Dad when he was swept away by the quicksand? After all, Dad went to the Catechins' land only to prepare for Gayathra Triclops' offerings. And where was Gayathra Triclops when Mom was shivering in our arms? Mom was still pleading for Gayathra Triclops' forgiveness under her breath until the moment she closed her eyes. Sister, everyone praises me for being smart. But I don't get it. If every rainpour was Gayathra Triclops' forgiveness and grace, then how bad were our sins? So much so that we were born in this world of death? This is sad. <sighs> um, excuse me. 
I can't seem to find any information on this artist in the Iris family archives. The photo you provided also doesn't show any matches. Huh. Hmm. Just as I thought. I'd like to ask, what kind of traces do people leave when they enter a dream? Are you referring to the records when you enter the dream pool? The equipment will monitor physiological indicators, such as heart rate, blood oxygen levels, and body temperature in real time. This data will be included in statistics and handed over to the family for the screening of any data anomalies. Immediate action will be taken once any illegal behavior is detected. Yeah, I remember I was talking to a friend about Sawel and I got him to play Sawel actually. And that's something that he pointed out as well, that he loves how every character has an animation, not just surprise stars. It's really cool. It is really cool. I mean, the surprise star animations are usually a lot better than the four star ones, but it's still really cool that everyone has one. Please rest assured, your vitals are monitored in case of emergencies, allowing us to wake you if necessary. This is all for the safety of our guests. Can I trouble you to access the records? I left your Barbara. <laughs> I always find it weird how Barbara has an animation for her birth. But no other four stars do. I apologize. The hotel does not have access. This information is managed by the Bloodhound family. We can only gain access if there's a problem. Looks like nothing can be found here. At least we know who to look for next. We can ask the Bloodhound family for information. Thank you for your assistance, Miss Allie. By the way, is Miss Robin doing fine? We are looking forward to her performance. Fine? What does that mean? Is there something wrong with Miss Robin? The preparations for the Charmony Festival have been proceeding smoothly, so... I guess things are pretty good. I believe she will be able to put on a spectacular show for all of you. Hmm, I'm sure. Sure enough, no one knows about Miss Robin. I'm not surprised. But that Miss Firefly is truly mysterious. There's no information on her in the hotel system. Even if she's a stowaway. She should have a disguised identity after entering the planet. She's also in the running for the legacy. How is she going to sneak into the dreamscape unnoticed? <clears throat> God, welcome back! <laughs> uh, is there any other way to enter a dream? Besides the hotel room's dream pool? Uh, for Garden of Recollection, they have the Memo Keepers, which is kind of special, and the Stella One Hunters. I'm going to say the Garden of Recollection, because I'm pretty sure it says Stella One Hunters before. But I'm pretty sure it goes to the same outcome. The Memo Keepers have abilities that are difficult for normal people to comprehend. In the memory zone of Penacony, they thrive effortlessly. A fact <laughs> proven to us by Black Swan. I am a very happy cat cake! I am! I am home alone. I like being home alone. <laughs> I just like I I I I don't know why. I just really like being home alone. I just feel like I can relax more and um just be myself, you know? The hacker girl from the Stellaron Hunters used extraordinary means to unlock the Dreamscape Hotel's seal. According to the scene witnessed by her, it is likely that they are behind Miss Firefly's case. Garden of Recollection and the Stellaron Hunters. Both are possible, but what about the IPC? Since they want Penacony all for themselves, they're bound to have a plan. Mm -hmm. huh. Who are you guys? The Bravo team has arrived at their designated position, ready to execute armed evacuation operation. Fox, get moving! Uh, uh, armed evacuation? Boss, aren't you drunk? What do you know? It's more efficient this way. Just don't let the director find out. Act first, report later. Under help! Help me! 
I spent all my year-end bonus on the snowball. I don't want my name on the department's major disciplinary notes. <laughs> Is the main character a five-star like Genshin? Yeah. Actually, the main character of Trailblazer seems a lot better compared to Genshin. I'd say. Especially when... You have them in preservation. <laughs> God, that's really amazing. Thank you so much for that. It's great. It's so great. To all guests, the IPC will be conducting special operations within the hotel. Please follow the staff in charge of evacuation to the designated safe zones or compulsory measures will be enforced. Yeah, I'm just jamming here to the music. It's so catchy. I love it as well. <laughs> Told not to drink during work hours. Topaz! Take him back to the hotel room. I'll organize a meeting later to properly go over how this incident report should be written. We should probably just fire them, honestly. Miss Topaz? I never thought I'd run into you on Panacone. <sighs> Long time no see, Astral Express crew. Adventurine has told me a lot about your happenings. Huh? It's fine. Do as they ask and try to avoid any conflicts with the family. Report to me before taking any action. Yes. All right. As you see, the IPC isn't very popular here on Penacone. Cordiality from the family is a mere facade. The former Frontier Prison has turned around and cuffed its shackles on the IPC stuff now. <laughs> Only a Venturine, who carries an invitation, is allowed to attend the banquet. An entourage like us. We can only sit around in the Reality Hotel, unauthorized to even enter dreams. Oh my god, 1600 hours in Mario Kart? That's so much! What the hell? That is so much. That's like... That's like... Uh... I'm trying to work it out. I don't know, it's like... 60, 70 days? Non-stop? Right? I don't know. No wonder Avengerine's scrambling to partner up with someone. The IPC can't back him up in the dreamscape. His situation isn't optimistic, I hear. You're all helping to investigate some dirt on the family, are you not? Let me know if you need anything outside the dreamscape. <laughs> the IPC always treats its partners well. Yeah! It's, it's so weird how, how Dan's a full star. <laughs> um... Yeah, I mean, it. he does look like he should be better, but uh, I think a cool thing about that sort of thing is that usually it means you can easy to get that character. If you want a character for their looks anyway. Same with like Luca, I love Luca. He's a great character, but he's only a four star. But I like Luca. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Topaz. We're on our way to the Hounds to verify some intel. Perhaps you've had dealings with them? <laughs> yep, they're tailing us right now. Why not go and talk to them? They don't take the spotlight off me. Being constantly stared at is really uncomfortable. Okie dokie. How does it feel to be in business with a Venturine? I bet you're not used to it. That's just his style. Ball or nothing is his mantra. He's always cozying up to his clients while egging them on to undertake some dangerous assignment with him. But everyone has their merits, so I won't comment further. But Venturine's luck has always been good. He's always closed all his cases without a hitch and basically never lost a gamble. Which is why so crazy, the that. issue of retaking Panacone, I'm watching with keen interest. He's that good, huh? 
mess for the two cases. <laughs> Apologies, but I don't have much info on them either. All I can do is ask you to keep digging for more details. Yeah. Please, continue to investigate the case. All I can do is sit tight in the real world. I look forward to hearing your progress. Okie dokie! We're carrying out our captain's orders. What? What do you want? We made a mistake last time, and we're working hard to rectify it now. We don't have time for anything else. Surveilling the IPC executive Topaz, ensuring that she stays put at the Reverie Hotel during her time on Panacone. We've got the right one this time. So that's it. They were the pair who were after Firefly at the time. Ah, remember me? <laughs> Ugh, it's you again. Back for more trouble? We're not afraid of you this time. Well, spit it out. Stop bothering us if you've nothing important. <laughs> so you know each other. Uh, why do you keep running into people you've beaten up before? I wonder why. Maybe because I've beaten up a lot of people. When I learn freaking mangui. <laughs> Um Yeah, I'm going to say lunch break. Oh, sheesh, why do you keep asking me that? We're in the middle of a murder case for the family. May we speak to your captain about it? Oh. Uh well Hey. The security officer instructed everyone to shut their traps before he returned from Dream's Edge. Hmm. What murder? You'd better stop spouting nonsense. Yeah, that, that, that's right. We have nothing to report. Please leave. Looks like they're not going to cooperate. But they did at least tell us that the captain is at Dream's Edge. Uh, why don't we just look for the security officer then? It's probably Gallagher, the one she mentioned, right? Probably, right? We have nothing to report. Please leave. Okay. Uh, uh. Wait. To dreams that? I don't think I've been streaming for. Be honest. Okay. Tight security. I bet they're stumped by the case as well. Gallagher. Gallagher. Uh, where could he be? Let's see him. He's up there. Let's go. Apologies. The Bloodhound family is running an investigation up ahead. No unauthorized personnel allowed. Hold on a minute. I think I've seen you before. <laughs> the the gray-haired one. Hi. How much trouble have you stirred up exactly on Panacone? <laughs> I love how I'm innocent I look. I'm like, I did nothing, I swear. <laughs> That's why right. it's me, Chloe. <laughs> oh, you think you look alike? <laughs> <laughs> how about a clockwork trick? <laughs> Wait, are you for real? Not possible. It was you the last time yelling about some clockwork friendship while beating me up with that silver haired girl. <laughs> hey, it's me being a people again. Uh, uh, hi. <laughs> I'm not letting you get by this time. Please leave, or I'll have to get on my knees and beg you. Huh? What kind of heinous crime have you committed? <laughs> Oh, I love that. <laughs> Hold on, sir. We have documents authorized by the family that would aid your investigation. If it wouldn't trouble you, could we see this Mr. Gallagher? Who exactly is this Gallagher you keep talking about? There have been a few people mentioning this name. Even the one with the gray hair. Uh, he didn't send you all here? It was the security officer who dispatched us. That's all I can divulge. 
So weird that they don't know Galaga. Like, they don't know his name. Is this called him security officer? He'll do. He's the one we've been looking for. <sighs> Sorry. No can do. The boss said that since it's a matter of the family's reputation, no one's allowed through. Everyone, please leave. There's really no need for us to make things difficult for each other, right? We're really sorry for troubling you. <sighs> Let's think of another way. Another way? Uh, that's it! Didn't they say something about that... Oh, uh, what was it? Clockwork? That got this guy to change his mind? Can you perform it again? That... Uh, clocky magic! Clocky magic? Yeah! But I can't abuse it for evil doings. It's not bad if we're resolving a misunderstanding. Oh, you convinced me. <laughs> oh, much. Okay. Sorry, no can do. The boss said that since it's a matter of the family's reputation, no one's allowed through. It's right there. Everyone, please leave. There's really no need for us to make things difficult for each other, right? You and his Bloodhound family member have met before. You know he's very up upright. But you're also aware that Prince sometimes doesn't matter when a person is in a good mood. We'll make him angry then. You punk. Why can't you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? The security officer's word is absolute law. I told you, that place up ahead is off limits. To wind, to rain, even if the Dream Master was here, they aren't getting in. Oh. It doesn't... It doesn't rain in the golden hour. It's just a metaphor. A metaphor. Don't you get it? Oh, I'm warning you. If you keep insisting, I'm gonna have to show you my true power. Um, Your true power? I want to see that. <laughs> now. Should we? Come at me! Come on! You dare to find me in my baseball bat? Uh, humans never learn. And you're human? Oh, great. Even if Klopoff were here, they wouldn't be able to protect him. There is no meaning to death in defiance. Why do you not understand? Sweet dreams, troop. Charge! Teach them a lesson they won't forget. Oh, we're fighting. I'm gonna be right back quickly. Destined for oblivion. <laughs> Ill fate is dead. Good. I weep for the departed. <laughs> it is a fall. Am I destined to relive this outcome? <laughs> Looks like you and I have been plunged into a cycle of despair.
Hi. So I just got some crisps, I got some Doritos. Yay! <sighs> oh, I'll mute myself and I'm a medium person, it's not noisy. <laughs> And yeah, it's not too long until you have to wish, but yeah, I just feel like it's a while. <laughs> oh, what's he talking about? However, this time I will sever the chains of tragedy. The only way any of you will pass is over my dead body. He doesn't have to be so melodramatic, does he? Looks like he still doesn't want to divulge anything. That's sir. It's very manager master for saying about doing all of his dead body. The principal and Burham member has become unusual gloomy. You have to think of a way to get him to lighten up. I know, I, I know, a great way to make him lighten up. It's making him sad. <laughs> you, you lot insist on doing this. Sorry. But human lives and the family's reputation are at stake. It is imperative we know everything about the case. No, I meant to say... Do I really have to get down on my knees and grovel? If you don't mind, go for it, please. <laughs> I'd love to see that. <sighs> I, I didn't think you were the type who would kick <laughs> someone when they were down. <laughs> I'm sorry. If that's the case, I'll just have to acquiesce to everyone's wishes. Lower my esteemed head and plead with everyone. Go on, go on, I'm watching. Come on, uh, I'm waiting. No, no, no. <laughs> Standing is just fine. Okay. You don't need to do that. Oh, okay, you tell us fine, it's fine. <laughs> Looks Sammy, like I, yes, Sammy, I told a medium a white star. <laughs> the principal blood health family member is mired in endless sorrow. As conversation, I think he had to find a way to comfort him, yeah. <gasps> Himiko, yes! I love Himiko. <sighs> Let me see what time it is now. Whoa, it's this time already. <laughs> what? Huh? Time to clock out, and no one's gonna stop me. He's so happy! <laughs> the highly principled member of a Bloodhound family laughed heartily and left the scene. Uh, what? Uh, what? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, this clockwork trick of yours, it's kinda dangerous. Yeah, that was a bit random. <laughs> <laughs> At least he won't be getting in our way again. Let's go find that Gallagher and ask him the intricacies of the case. Sure, let's go. I was wondering what all the commotion was. Huh. Oh, it's you guys. Welcome. Since you made it here, what can I do for you? Hello, Mr. Gallagher, sir. Judging from your tone, it sounds like you were expecting us. <laughs> Miss Himiko, you're too polite. There's no need to call me sir. Mr. Gallagher, you even know my name. Of course I do. You folks are from the legendary Astral Express and honorable guests of the Watchmaker. I had an encounter with this lady in the Golden Hour. I remember that little silver-haired girl was there too. I'm sorry for what happened to that kid. Yeah, we're sorry too. <laughs> this is also the reason why we've come to visit you, Mr. Gallagher. The Express can't just overlook the death of that child. So we've decided to help the family get to the bottom of it, in the hopes of getting justice for her. The nameless involved with the family. What an unpredictable twist of fate. Why? What's wrong with the family? Uh, it's nothing. On Penicone, everyone loves the family. No matter how much one resists the beautiful dream, when the time comes, they too will find it hard to let go. Who wants to leave a warm nest? Just idiots, little kids, and inebriated fools. 
So which one are you gonna do, hey? <laughs> yeah, you can wish. Woo! I don't think I've ever watched Black Clover. Mr. Gallagher seems to be getting at something. Yeah, he does. Well, you got it wrong. I'm not. You want to discuss the case? Sure. Come with me. This is not a good place to talk. Let's go elsewhere. Even after that chilling tragedy, this dream is still running effortlessly. Other than the family of the Harmony, it's hard to imagine any other power in the universe that could sustain a building of such magnitude. The family itself is a huge, perfect building. Like a living idol. Each member of the family sees themselves as a piece of the divine puzzle revolving around a singular core and a shared ideal. Under their command, they loyally fulfill their roles, offering themselves while also receiving sustenance in return. Interesting analogy. Perhaps that's why Penacone's beautiful dream has persisted for so long. But the human body has its limits, and so does the Divine's. That doesn't sound like the kind of comment a galaxy ranger would make. Just pointing out the facts. Mr. Yang will definitely have a better sense of what's going on than I do. Why do you say that, Miss Acheron? The beautiful dream is crumbling. But not because of a particular eon, a particular faction, or a particular visitor. Its collapse stems from a certain inevitability of human nature. The family refuses to acknowledge this, and it has ultimately backfired and become a catalyst. As people immerse their souls in the dreamscape, where consequences and pain cease to exist, and only ease and pleasure prevail, they draw closer and closer to necrosis. Regardless of the perceived bliss, death looms as the inevitable conclusion. Oh, Saval! I love Saval. She's great. <laughs> She's cool. You'll see her soon. You'll see her soon. Also, this necrosis will diffuse and spread. One piece of the puzzle's mutation will eventually cause the entire building to shake, break, and crumble. In the end, the dreams that people built in the name of freedom became the cage that imprisoned them. I'm sure you've gained a lot from this trip, Miss Acheron. Are you willing to share your findings with me? Of course. That's if I remember. Yay, Miss you! He's great. He's actually really cool to use. I like him. It's just a habit. Owing to events in the past, I've become easily... forgetful. It's only when this sword is unsheathed that those hazy memories start to become clearer. But it's basically more. This is some currency. Take your time. That should do it. I vividly remember everything that occurred on Penacone. Ask away. The moment of daybreak. I've heard that's where the Dawn Factory, which processes the foundation of the dreamscape, is located. Behind the dreamscape's song and dance stand many imagination factories. Workers create all kinds of whimsical works day in and day out in their dreams. Then they return to reality and sleep on a narrow bed in a room a far cry from luxury. I don't really get this bit. This bit seems really odd. It seems very random. Like, what are you even, like, talking about right now? They say it will suffice. Experiencing the bizarre and motley dreamscape is the best reward. There, I encountered a young woman who had just come of age. The perfect time to indulge in beautiful dreams. Her greatest wish was to one day move to the golden hour and see the magnificent garments she had woven with her own hands. 
For certain reasons, her wish was difficult to fulfill. But I managed to bring her a garment. Gilded Hour. It's said to be Penacone's currency center. Yes. It is a fortress-like financial city, the economic heart of the dreamscape. The Papeshi people of the Alfalfa family are there to keep it running, funding blood that is made from money everywhere on Penacone. Everyone there is exquisitely dressed and always in a hurry. The greatest wish of the local Papeshi people is for their future generations to work in the Gilded Hour. I've never met anyone who is willing to talk. I could only stand at the crossroads, watching crowds of people hurrying like the wind through the jungle of steel, only to deposit the alfalfa credits that they'd earned into the bank's vault. I don't know if they would open the vault door, but before I left, I witnessed a well-dressed Papeshi person plummet from the sky, while those around him continued on their way, unfazed. I hear the Blue Hour is uh, very romantic. Do you have any tales to share? Perhaps Mr. Yang has heard. There is a large boat called the Aventide, anchored along the Sea of Dreams, where soft music and dancing persists endlessly every night. I ran into a wizened lady there. She was at the dock, waiting for her long-departed lover to return waiting for countless hours within time that stood still. In the humid sea breeze, she spoke of her own youth. Like many who desired wealth and love, they came to Panacone to pursue their dreams. Alas, her lover's consciousness was lost in the dark depths of the Sea of Dreams. Finally, she suggested we continue our conversation on a boat in the shallows. I agreed and boarded the boat with her. But she never said anything. Her eyes absent-mindedly gazing at the horizon for what seemed like forever. Ah, uh, Whitney, thank you so much for the subscribe. I really appreciate that. Thank you. You're not going to like, Akon is beautiful. She is really beautiful. Yeah, I agree. I completely agree. <laughs> Finally, we retreated to the beach. The dreamscape of chic luxury and consumerism the moment of dusk my companions have been there too then you all must have seen those who are attempting to realize their dreams or have realized them scattering money as if it were dust and betting it on all or nothing everything has a price and everything can be bought or sold even dreams themselves It should be in the friends bit. And if you go on your phone, there should be in the menu in the phone, there should be like a friends bit and you have to like add people there. Uh, I can't do it right now because I'm in the middle of dialogue, but yeah. <laughs> I saw an Intellitron there who was preparing to auction himself. When someone wins a bid under stipulated periods and rules, he would do the buyer's every bidding, becoming that person's very possession. That Intellitron had been auctioned off a dozen times, and I participated in his 13th. That was the grandest banquet I had ever attended. But never again did anyone cast another glance at him. This time around, there were no successful bids for him. This is what I've seen and heard along the way. Someone once said to me, Panacone wasn't like this a long time ago, nor should it be. I've traveled through the reality and dreamscape of the planet of festivities, watched the tides of night rise and fall when time stopped for people, where the spirits of the rich and impoverished remain forever fixed on their own scales. This is why I think the collapse of the beautiful dream is inevitable. There might be a way to change everything. Perhaps. But if this is indeed the world that people desire, 
If this is precisely why life chooses to slumber, hmm. should we still seek to change it? Red text again. I, I, uh, red text gets me every time. <laughs> can that, that, can that line change? Because I know usually when there's a red text, it means it can change to, for different people. But I swear that's been the same every time. Okay. Awesome. That's fine. That's fine. Thank you so much for joining and I hope you have fun on Starvale! Yay! <laughs> Miss Acheron, now it's my turn to share a story with you. There was a man from my homeland who, at a time when the world was grappling with deep, unhealable pain, made a choice. He wove together the dreams of everyone in the world, linking people's dreamscapes, and shouldered this burden himself. From this, he created a giant, a spiritual Adam. And since that moment, the giant stood between heaven and earth, becoming the pillar of the world's existence. As a price, those who found it hard to move forward, who could not advance forever lost their future bye bye <laughs> they slumbered in a dream devoid of disaster and pain living out their days peacefully in the man's created utopia and it is because of the wishes of those people who wished not to awaken that this spiritual adam became unbreakable and yet you stand here right now, which also means that man failed. Because people must always move towards the future. Even if human weaknesses make them pause when they truly cannot move forward, humanity will eventually seek a way to save itself. And that man, he was never a failure. Like everyone in that world, he etched the possibilities of human nature into his heart. He was the sun chaser of legend, soaring towards the sky and embracing his final victory with his fall. So does this story have something to do with Honkai Impact first? Because I don't understand any of it. He ascended to heights uncharted, only to come face to face with the sun a place not visited by anyone before. His wings would melt because of it, only for him to fall into the sea. And after that, countless others would surpass him, soaring to even greater heights. A fitting metaphor for the Nameless's trailblazing spirit. Thank you, Mr. Yang. I know what you wish to confirm. The universe has innumerable similar, yet different, worlds. In these worlds, there are innumerable people who look alike, yet don't. I too have embarked on journeys, encountering old friends with familiar faces on different worlds, witnessing their destinies follow paths similar to mine. So I will tell you, even if not completely similar, the story you just told. It overlaps with my past. And within that abyssal dream. I ended that man's life. Alone. <sighs> I am not who you think I am. Nor will my home be as fortunate as your world. I am sorry. It's fine. I don't mind, so long as I can alleviate your suspicions. There's something I still wish to know, Miss Acheron. Under that representation of the hunt, exactly what sort of power is it that has motivated your solitary journey thus far? Mr. Yang, before answering that question, I wish to continue the previous topic.
I like your analogy very much. Indeed, birds are born to fly. But in a distant past, their ancestors could only gaze at the sky in envy. They saw that faraway ray of light from above the heavens, piercing through the clouds and blanketing the earth. And so, time and time again, generation after generation, the birds spread their wings and took to the sky, attempting to touch its ceiling, all because the sun was there. Then, what if the last bird finally soars into the sky, only to realize that the end of the light is not the sun, but darkness? Then why, exactly, do we even walk towards the light? Go on, answer it. <laughs> Long time no see. Having fun on Pentacony? Acheron. Oh. This voice. It's not Constance. Could it be her companion? Though I don't know exactly what you are or what you're up to, my bullets will find you. Until then, you best find a casket store on Panacone and ask the owner to reserve a good quality casket for you, imposter. Imposter? Imposter? I see. She gave my whereabouts to someone who's tracking Acheron too. Who are you? Huh? Uh, did I make a mistake? <laughs> uh, who the heck are you? <laughs> I'm the Garden of Recollections memo keeper. <laughs> Not bad. This is the kind of tough challenge I like. You that imposter's bodyguard? <laughs> Never mind. It's fine. I'll leave around for you. So get that forehead clean and wait for me. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but you know Acheron, the Galaxy Ranger, yes? I have something to ask you. <laughs> Are you asking me to write your will? Sure. Go ahead. <laughs> Not quite. I only want to ask, how exactly did she become a Galaxy Ranger? Hmm. <sighs> Why do you want to ask that? She's clearly not a path strider of the hunt, but you are, aren't you? Tell me, what's Acheron's deal? <laughs> sure. Heck, never thought I'd come across an ally. What a stroke of luck. Oh, well, <laughs> I'll be on Panacone soon. Uh, memo keeper, go buy a bottle of his Donna's white oak and warm it up, and I'll raise a glass to you. Mm -hmm. That lady's past. <laughs> well, nobody knows. But if all you want is a simple answer, sure, you best get a chair and take a seat. That woman named Acheron is an emanator who should not exist. But why should she not exist? Hmm? I mean, it makes sense. It's like what I was saying earlier about how she seems like she's bugged. Because that <laughs> explains the red text and everything. And how she can't remember things. And maybe, like, she goes... Like, like I said before, right at the start, I mentioned about how when you first meet her in the real world, after Adventuring's found in your room, she like leaves and then comes back again to your room saying she's lost, but I feel like there's some greater meaning to it. I really do. I don't know. And welcome back up! You look pale. Or is that also part of your act? Don't say that. Huh. I didn't think you'd have the nerve to show yourself. 
I thought this was exactly what you wanted. After all, I faithfully fulfilled my duties as you instructed. Just tell me if you can't hold on any longer. That's so cool! Congratulations to your uncle! So, the genius of the Council of Mundanites wants to be my undertaker now. <laughs> my, what an honor. Yes, and I'm pretty sure the people at the Strategic Investment Department would love to be notified of your death in due time. But let's not forget, you won't be seeing them. Because I'm the manager of this task. Great. Then tell your people that Aventurine is ready to go in 17 system hours. Oh, you've got a lot of nerve. How exactly do you plan on completing your task while your hands are tied by the Harmony? Well, my conversation with Sunday convinced me that there's a traitor in the family. And that they hold the secrets of Peniconi. So, I took the opportunity to set everything in motion. I even managed to recover the gift money. <laughs> Things haven't gone this smoothly since I walked through the doors of the reverie. Now I'm only one step away from victory. Let's just wait and see. I love how, like, everything just went really south. It's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna die in 17 hours, by the way. I'm one step from victory, woo! <laughs> Sounds like a very elaborate way of saying that you failed. <laughs> That's all I can say. Have you forgotten, Doctor? You betrayed me. Go. Do what you must. I look forward to the sight of the IPC fleet surrounding Panacone. You've achieved what you desired, haven't you? That's true, but what's your plan? Did you conceal an orbital support beacon in that gift money bag? <laughs> no? Well, who knows? Maybe that's why I'm handing out cash even when I'm about to bite the dust. You are indeed a gambler. An insane one at that. Well, maybe I am. Who knows? <sighs> Fine. Here, take this. Open it when you're on your last legs. You'll thank me. What's this? A medical it? Oh, oops. <laughs> you catch on pretty fast, Doctor. <sighs> <laughs> Asking me to solve a case without giving a single clue. How typical of you, you wing-headed scoundrel. But the way you're all on edge about that stowaway... <laughs> it's just as I guessed it would be. As for now, let the rain of wealth from the IPC fall evenly on everyone. Okay. <sighs> you look distressed. Is something troubling you? If so, you can figure it out yourself. <laughs> it's your Icarus. So, I can't talk to you. God damn it. God damn it. You know what? I'm going. I'm going back to a trailblazer just for a little quick moment. Okay? Just a very quick moment. Because I hey, want to. Every touch. Every wish. As a venture. <laughs> Haven of memories. Every touch, every moment is like a thorn rose. Crap. Oh, no, 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 no. Get up now.
Okay. Now we got Adventuring's Luck for when we do this. Look, this is definitely going to work out fine, I bet. Come on. You do this, and then you're going to get the humongous prize! Just like that! Come on! See? It didn't work. <laughs> oh well. It was worth a try. you be willing to support my performance and keep the song of beauty alive in the cosmos yeah i got these gems for you wow how fabulous but why would you give such a wonderful gift to a random stranger like me well you see i can't bear to see anyone in this sweet dream suffering from poverty that's incredibly kind of you Thank you so much, sir. If you ever get the chance, please feel free to come by and indulge in my singing. <laughs> sure thing. Oh, by the way, do you happen to know anything interesting about death? That's so weird. It's such a weird thing to ask. Death? That's a pretty scary topic, and it doesn't really match the mood of this sweet dream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you see, I'm a tabloid reporter collecting ghost stories in Panicone. <laughs> As you know, the more chilling the stories, the more attention they get. <laughs> Maybe you could help me out. Well, if you're up for some gossip, it's not about death, but there have been some rumors about a guest at the Reality Hotel who fell into a deep sleep and didn't wake up. It was like they were in some sort of coma. Nobody knows what caused it, but luckily the customer eventually regained consciousness. Well, all customers are under the protection of the family, after all. Thank you. This will make for a very juicy headline. May she they protect us? Unexplained coma. <laughs> That's actually what happens to your body if your brain dies in a dream. But, unfortunately, the customer ended up waking up in the end. Yeah, unfortunately. I can feel something inside my head. Is the harmony starting to kick in? Benjamin. So this is like what happens when Robin was playing around with her head when we first came to Panicone as well. Like this like, effects around the screen. Weird. Would you be willing to support my performance and keep the song of beauty alive in the cosmos? Okay. Uh, the world has truly lost its way. Here, yeah, I got these gems for you. You. I get it now. This is some sort of prank show, right? You must have some camera set up around here to film yourself doing good deeds, right? You youngsters are always looking for a quick way to get an audience. But you know what? A truly great show never comes easy. Oh, a great show will start soon, old man. But before that, I need to ask you something. Do you know where I can find death in this dream? Ah, I see. Another fearless youngster looking for death. Huh? Well, let me give you a piece of advice. Don't think you're the first one who's ever thought of that idea. Death? Not even remotely innovative. I bought it from Dr. Edward. He claimed it was some exclusive fancy schmancy stuff. Oh, what a disappointment. The effects were awful. First, mm -hmm. some monster covered in eyes stabs you in the gut. And then all you see are blurry glimpses of 
buildings and lights. The sky was spinning so fast it almost made me puke. Hi, pinkish delight. No, it's not here yet. Uh, it'll be here at midday tomorrow in the UK. I don't know on the Europe server at least. I don't know for anywhere else, but it's here soon at least. It's here soon. Just not yet. Is that all? Yeah. What else can you expect? Don't put too much stock in the Pentacone movie industry. They even call this junk groundbreaking art. Can you believe it? <laughs> what a joke. Well, I'll leave you be then. I hope you have a wonderful day. A monster covered in eyes. That sounds like the memory zone meme. But buildings and lights... I don't think those have anything to do with death. Oh, that whole dream bubble was probably created using rumors and gossip. Okie dokie! <laughs> Ah, the disturbing voice in my head. Ah, it's getting closer. Mm -hmm. ah, the world has truly lost its way. We'll see. Hello. If you ever find yourself in danger, remember that the hounds are always ready to help. Huh. <sighs> the expression on his hunk of a man was complex, as if he was looking at a mud soaked sparrow unable to fly near in his end. You don't look good, my friend. If you need assistance, I can contact the hotel and have them wake you up forcefully. You know, I was thinking when I first heard this voice, it sounded like Sean Lee's voice actor, but now when I'm hearing it again, I feel like it sounds more like the Tory's voice actor. I have no idea if that is the case, but, huh. His voice is actor of this person. It sounds familiar. That won't be necessary. I have some business to attend to. But thank you all the same. All right, then. If you ever need help, don't hesitate to reach out to us hounds. Well, yeah. actually, I do need a favor. As the most outstanding hound in Panacone, have you come across any <laughs> stowaways recently? Stowaways? How could there be stowaways in Panacone? We've never had anything like that before. <laughs> All right. Good luck with your work, then. Ugh. What was I even thinking? Family would never share intel with the IPC. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, does everyone have to go through so much torment before joining the family? Oh, darn it! <laughs> now I just want to dig out my brain and use it as evidence. Take care, my friend. If you ever find yourself in danger, remember that the hounds are always ready to help. Yeah, he sounds like the toy in a way. But he also sounds like Sean Lee. He sounds like both of them. It's so weird. He looks good as well. <laughs> Don't mind me. Butchie! Oh, Butchie for what? Blissful reprieve. To drown a thousand sorrows. Let worries leave. <laughs> I know I have what it takes to become a poet. Yeah, I got these gems for you. <laughs> you? You're giving these gems to me? Didn't expect to meet such a generous soul in this place. <laughs> <laughs> Things had a bit too much to drink. Or are you just pitying me? Well... It really doesn't matter. As long as I have Soul Glad, that's enough. This is just a dream, after all. <laughs> you really shouldn't drink so much Soul Glad, my friend. It's not good for your health. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I really should quit. 
But not before meeting the devil of soul glad. The devil of soul glad? Are you okay, buddy? You seem like you're gonna be great, bro. <laughs> the devil of soul glad? Care to elaborate? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a seahorse with a long neck. Okay. They say it loves to appear to junk people, especially the ones who are passed out on the side of the road. <laughs> How funny. <laughs> yeah. Very funny indeed. Thank you. Hmm. <sighs> Be okay. A sip of liquor. A blissful reprieve. To drown a thousand sorrows. Let worries leave. <laughs> I know I have what it takes to become a poet. No, you don't. to me sure but nothing too sensitive okay yeah but he's jumped huh. wealthy people have fancy ways to enjoy this dream but to be honest i've never seen anyone who gives out money to others like you so are you trying to be the prince from the tale handing out his gold leaf garment and melting his lead heart in the fire <laughs> I'm flattered. I'm no prince, and I just thought these gems would help you speak. So, as an investigative reporter, maybe you've heard something about death? Ah, oh, another curious soul. I see. Well, that was actually the topic I was most into when I entered the industry. But my boss shut it down. How did your boss talk you out of it? Well, she simply said, covering baseless urban legends like that would make us look like some third-rate tabloid. I thought about it, and she had a point. Reporting on stuff like blowing out birthday candles and getting spooked by nightmare ghosts isn't exactly professional material. Mm, guess she's got a point. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> you want to talk to me? Sure, but nothing too sensitive, okay? Okay. No, a person. Hmm. Uh, were you wanting to talk to me? Sorry, I thought you were checking out something behind me. No, let's talk. Here, I got these gems. This? A gift? For me? Are you sure this isn't some kind of mistake? Yes, it's for you. Just take it. Is this for real? Someone is actually giving me a gift. Not for my parents, but for me. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, it's not much. I just want to ask you something. <sighs> I knew it. What's on your mind? Are you trying to ask about my father or my mother? <laughs> um, neither. I just wanted to know if you've ever heard about death in the dreamscape. Oh, you sound just like my father. Always warning me about danger, even in dreams. He's an Intellitron, so his dream entry methods are different from us organics. Can't count on him to protect me if something does go haywire. Funny, right now I'm still under his protection. <laughs> How ironic. Mm. Hey, stay positive. Gold will always shine one day, right? Mm. Mm. The devil of soul glad, dangers in the dream, and nightmare ghosts. Well, surely death is a popular topic in this sweet dream granted by the family. Well, I've collected a bunch of rumors, but no useful clues. Yeah. Uh, the gems in my bag are running low. 
Well, let's see if my last lucky interviewee brings some surprises. Hmm. Uh, were you wanting to talk to me? Sorry, I thought you were checking out something behind me. Alright. Moving on. Please. Remember what I said? You Sigonians are better off hiding in the sewers. Look at you, snooping around and sticking your nose everywhere. Is the smell of death so enticing, my fine fellow? Yeah, so I found out yesterday Sparkle's voice actor is Yenfei from Genshin. I am so surprised! It don't really sound alike, but you can kind of hear it a little bit when you hear it now, but still. Like, ah! Uh, it, uh, yeah. Sparkle's amazing. <laughs> oh, it's you, masked fool. I should have guessed it. You're the imposter who appeared on TV after Robin's death, right? Hmm. I heard you got caught by the family. I gave you a clear clue. Befriend a mute. Simple and straightforward, you know? Another thing is, is that, like, I thought Sunday didn't want to use her as an imposter. So, was she actually using an imposter or not? And what did you do? You messed it up and ended up as their prisoner. I told you to make friends with a mute, not become one yourself. You really let me down. What do you mean? You know better than I do. Who watched the little songbird that couldn't sing perish right before their eyes? You did, Blondie. Uh, no, I, I mean... What did you mean by becoming one myself? Well, it means you'll soon end up like her, unable to speak ever again. Wait, so, is it for protection of the harmony? Is that what makes you mute? Just like whole purple thing. It's not death it's itself, it's that purple thing. Me, because... Because I'm getting closer to the truth, right? Oh? Why else do you think I'm handing out cheap trinkets all over the streets, fool? All part of the act. Fool's bait. The more pathetic I seem, the more likely you'll come sniffing around. So, now that I've drawn you out, will you reward me with an answer for my efforts? Why should I help you? Don't you want to see Panacone descend into... <laughs> chaos? <laughs> well... <laughs> I can make that happen. <laughs> I just need an answer to one question. Back then, when you asked me to find a mute, did you really mean Robin? Hmm. You're being watched. And what if I say no? Then I'll thank you. <laughs> Oh, the word no has never sounded so pleasing. <laughs> well done. I admit I underestimated you, but what difference would it make? Let me tell you something. There were two mutes, but one is dead now, and the other, though he's still in Penacony, I'm afraid you'll never find him again. So this is the second mute a he then. But then who is he? Hmm. Now I'm completely sure that I was on the right track from the beginning and never strayed, fool. Who is the mute? Right now, there are only two things missing from my grasp. 
the meaning behind the truth, and the means to expose it. I guess maybe it's uh, Sunday. Is it something to do with harmony, maybe? I don't know. Mm -hmm. There's so many, like, That's quite options it could be. Saying, Possibilities. I haven't learned anything so far. <laughs> Not exactly. I've gathered enough clues to prove its existence. And that's enough for Wait. me. As for the answers to my questions, I'll find them within 17, no, 16 system hours. She sounds just like Dr. Ratio here. Because there's something that Dr. Ratio says. Oh, that's quite fun. She always says, I haven't learned anything, you know? Like that sarcastic tone. Only 16 system hours? Well, let me lend you a hand. And then wait, doesn't it seem like they're repeating the whole conversation they had earlier? Here you go. This is my precious, mutually assured distraction button. And I have one just like it. When either of us presses it, the other and the whole of Panacone will go up in smoke. It's so, so weird. Why, why is this a thing as well? This seems like it's important, but I have no idea what this could mean. If you're really so desperate for the IPC to take over Panacone, blowing up the chessboard isn't a bad idea. Start from scratch. That's where the IPC excels, right? Just press the button when you're at your wit's end. And of course, Feel free to reach out to me for my hospice care, too. <laughs> oh, deadly button, huh? <laughs> well, I guess the family didn't take your threat seriously at all. Otherwise, how on earth did you manage to bring it in here? <laughs> I have my own ways. That's all you need to know. <laughs> well, I'm afraid I'll have to decline your offer. Who knows if your little gadget will actually work. By the way, I have no plans to search for the other mute friend you speak of. But it's good to hear that he's still here in Panacone. The only people I can think of that's not going to be there in Panacone anymore is like Dr. Ratio. And... Yeah. I mean, like, Sunday makes sense because it's his. Gallagher, I guess, as well. Makes sense. I don't know who else it could be. I'll handle There's not many heats. I'll orchestrate a grand finale for the downfall of the family. <laughs> and at the climax, the walls will crumble, people will wake up, and those who couldn't speak will find their voices again. When that time comes, go ahead, press the button, light up the sky with a magnificent fireworks display for me. Catch you later, fool. I do wonder if she is going to push the button. <laughs> You're still talking big, but sure, if that happens, I'll stay true to my word. Just don't let me down now, okay? <laughs> look at him! Ah, oh, look at him adventuring! So, number 35, you're back. Like your new lucky charm. Can a commodity code really be considered a lucky charm? Silence! I didn't give you permission to speak, you Sigonian hound. <sighs> the guys in black didn't say much, so I've no idea what you did to save your skin in that massacre back in the day. But I figured you must have had good luck, so I bought you. From now on, you and your good luck are my assets. <laughs> Are we clear? Your first task is simple. In addition to you, I've purchased 30, uh, well, 
34 other slaves. Go and play a game with them. <laughs> you came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. You're insane. <laughs> Testing out if you're a good product. Uh, aren't you worried that the money you spent on me will go to waste? I've got stacks on stacks, Blondie. The slave market is never short of self-righteous brats like you. But you look good. And that's why many customers are betting their fortunes on a scrawny brat like you. So go along now and uh, don't let your master down. I know like in Chinese version I think it is, you say something like, oh, you have a good body or something like that. It's so creepy. How much did you spend? What? My price. How much did you pay for me? Huh. You really want to know? Hmm. Well, it was 60 tanba. No more, no less. I'll take my chances. 30 tanba. If I come back alive, you'll give me 30 tanba. Deal? <laughs> Are you trying to strike a bet with me? Oh, well, you've got some guts. Yeah, sorry, but uh, that won't do. Don't forget your place, slave. You're not qualified to be at the table. Yeah, it seems weird that eventually would even try that. Like, of course they're not gonna do that. You're just a chip. A life thrown away in someone else's hands. Either you come back with more chips for your master, or you never come back. It's all or nothing. Don't embarrass me, my lucky hound. All or nothing, hey? <sighs> huh. What brings you here, Gallagher? Some friends from the old days. Do you have a moment to spare, Siobhan? Oh, I have a whole day to spare. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dream Jolt Hostelry. Hi! This bar offers a wide variety of drinks, but we draw the line at Soul Glad. Why settle for ordinary when you can experience extraordinary? We're dedicated to serving up nothing but pure joy and laughter. <laughs> what would you like to drink? I'll whip it up for you. Oh, look! A lady as cool as Serval. <laughs> it's true, she is cool indeed. Who's Serval? Will you uh, introduce me to her? Huh? Oops. <laughs> She's heard us. Just spare them, my esteemed bartender. I'll take over the bar today. I'm getting up there in age, and I need some practice before I forget the skills that used to put food on my table. Uh, where did you stash the ingredients? They're all under the counter. Since our guests have traveled from afar, shouldn't you whip up some special drinks? That's exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> hey, my friends, <laughs> do me a favor. Go around the bar and bring me any ingredients you fancy. The discussion might take quite some time. So I'll prepare some customized non-alcoholic drinks for you. Ah, uh, non-alcoholic? In the bar? But aren't all the ingredients right there? The counter why we're in a dream my lovely lady you can help yourself to anything if you wish for it comfort hunger confusion or even boredom it's all within reach right at your fingertips <laughs> oh did you hear that she just called me my lovely lady <laughs> in reality mixing drinks is more than just throwing ingredients together a bartender needs to capture the bar's atmosphere master technique and spin a tale of mystery and anticipation. Only then can a perfect drink crafted with a customer's life story be created. In other words, what you get from your drink is down to luck. So don't overthink it. Indecisiveness has no place when it comes to enjoyment. Okay. Look at all these 
ships scattered everywhere. A few days ago, an actor from the Iris family came. Caused a ruckus for Siobhan. Those chips must have gotten scattered during all the chaos. Mm, I can only imagine how intense the scene must have been. Nah, it turned out to be a landslide victory. Uh, that being said, opening a bar in this place, filled with monsters, is quite a feat. Siobhan must have a lot of tricks up her sleeve, right? You'll have to ask her yourself to find out. But I have a feeling she won't budge unless you impress her with an incredible drink. <laughs> okay. Okay. How is this like a recipe though? Hold in. Place here for decoration. Yeah, perhaps. Soul Glad is a classic in Penicone, and it'd be strange for a bar not to have it. I guess. Why don't they sell Soul Glad in this bar? Ow. Did something happen? <laughs> I just rolled over the back of my foot on my chair. Ow. <laughs> it's all about the bartender's pride. It wouldn't make sense for customers to come here and order drinks they can find anywhere else. That's the mindset I use when I brew my coffee. Uh, <laughs> you're right, Himeko. Oh, that's quite a stash. Not sure if it's enough. Huh. 70%? That doesn't seem Stay too much. Out of my way. I'm looking for Siobhan. Uh-huh. What's all the commotion about? <sighs> Haven't I made myself clear enough, Miss Amagi? The Dream Jolt hostelry only welcomes guests who want to enjoy a drink to their heart's content. I'm sorry, but I'm not interested in your proposal. But you have the talent. You'll attract a huge audience. You're destined for the Iris stage, not for this rundown shack. Come with me. We'll become the talk of Penacony, a shining light into every corner of the dreamscape. Please, Siobhan, I really need you. <sighs> As you see, I'm entertaining my guests. Don't make fine. Oh, sorry. Don't make me paint myself. If you don't come along, I'll just sit here and not go anywhere else. Give me a sparkling drink. Sweet. With extra ice. Just one moment. What's her deal? Can't discuss the case with other people hanging around the bar. Yeah, it's like a weird place to like discuss the case in the first place. Hey, can you do that clockwork trick of yours again? How come even you, Himiko? Time is running out. We need to hurry. Yeah, I'm counting on you. Okay. Enjoy. Uh, can this be used for mixing drinks? Oh, and there's a note underneath. Exchange with your precious things. Oh, what should we exchange for it? And who should we give our stuff to? Uh, credits. Let's go. Whoa, the words on the note are changing. Stairs made of coins can lead to happiness. Does this mean we can take it? 
I'm not sure if it's a good deal, but uh, thank you anyway. No, I don't think it really was. We cycled it. <laughs> Check out this bottle. The liquid inside looks beautiful. And the label reads Dream Syrup Thick. I don't see an expiration date, but the production date is half an amber air <gasps> ago. Uh, that's a long time ago, Look, kind of. Drinking this stuff can't lead to anything good. That's for sure. I don't know weird when he like say things like an amber air ago because like amber air is they usually last about like 70 or 80 years but then they also different they differ different different i can't say it i can't say it they change all the time because it's whenever the eon preservation slams his hammer down which changes Basically. Ugh, the syrup is turned clumpy. I definitely don't want to drink this, even if yeah. it's fired. Clumpy. Did you find the bottle of syrup I've been hoarding? Don't worry, it's all just a dream, and it won't upset your stomach. It's been aging for years, and should have a refined taste by now. Really? Feel free to have some. It's perfect for entertaining lovely guests like you. Ugh. Then we'll keep it. I am convinced. Let's get this clumpy jam stuff. Lovely syrup. You're one of Siobhan's guests, right? What can I do for you? If you're here to convince me to leave, please stop it. I'll never leave until she accepts my proposal. I just don't get why she won't leave this place. This rundown shack with no customers whatsoever. Siobhan has just said anything could be embibbed. But how do you can try various experiments to see what different emotions can burn through with different drink ingredients? Right, let's make it anky! They're the ones who forced Siobhan into hiding here, running this pesky bar. It's all their dirty scheming. Oh. <sighs> I get it now. She's not leaving because she doesn't want to run into them again. I, I can help clear the way for her. I can do her a favor. I'll go back. And write a letter to the Dream Master, exposing the crimes committed by the Iris family. Siobhan will definitely. Uh, don't get ahead of yourself. I just don't get why she won't leave this place. Let's make her sad. It's ridiculous, right? Our paths were never meant to cross, yet I'm still holding on to her. I'm too timid and shy, longing to shine, but afraid of stepping into the spotlight. I need her guidance because I'll never be able to do anything alone. You don't know Siobhan's past, and you have no clue how radiant she used to be. Even among the talented Iris family, her skill was unmatched. I know she probably thinks I'm just trying to ride her fame to get ahead. 
But all I want is for her to reclaim her place. You feel an inexplicable bit, mix of bitterness and sweetness that for me to I have an next moment as a mission turns liquid and feeling new goblet. Holy crap! <laughs> She's still not leaving. Maybe I'll have to try again. What the hell? So random that we just randomly got this. What even is this? Huh. I just don't get why she won't leave this. I've seen it. The moment. When Siobhan and I share the stage, the crowd is going wild, applause crashing like waves, the aroma of irises fills the air, a beautiful melody playing, ribbons dancing around us, and the taste is sweeter than honey. I've seen that scene countless times in my dreams and every time it mesmerizes me that's why i have to bring her back to that world no matter what it takes <sighs> want to raise a glass my attentive listener let's consider it a toast to my far-fetched dream Wait, wait. Ah. Well, talking to you has got me feeling a bit down. My thoughts are swirling, making my mind clear, and bringing tears to my eyes. Maybe I should find a place to reflect on what Siobhan truly means to me. Here's the payment for the drinks. Please, pass it on to her. I'm leaving now. She's getting so upset. Amaki has left? <sighs> That's good for her. Radiant dreams may be enticing, but they're nothing more than dreams. Her drink is on the house. Please, keep the money. Okay. Feels awkward having someone else's money. Are you ready? <laughs> Go to Gallagher. I can tell he's itching to show off his skills. Cool. He got a chew. <laughs> I love that. And let me tell you, don't underestimate the bartenders of Penagoni, especially not Gallagher. This guy is pure magic. He can satisfy even the pickiest of customers. Really? Don't go easy on this old man. Give him a real challenge. That being said, mixing a drink is way simpler than you'd imagine. Just pick your favorite ingredients, toss them in a glass, mix it up, and it's done. All right, Diona. So go ahead, explore the bar, and bring me any ingredients you prefer. Nice work. Let me take a look. You found some interesting ingredients there. Now, take your pick. Each drink has its own unique flavor, and the base ingredient sets the tone for the initial taste and the lingering aftertaste. So, which one would you like to use as the base? Oh, let's go for a clumpy dream syrup. <laughs> you won't find a sweeter drink anywhere in Penacony. And that's what today's dream seekers crave. Now that you've chosen the base, it's time to pick the adjunct. The ingredient that'll create a marvelous chemical reaction with the base. It should give an unforgettable taste without overpowering the main tone. So, what's your choice for the adjunct? This steaks. is the most pungent adjunct we have, and my personal favorite. Oh! Before Mikhail left, 
The wrinkles at the corners of his eyes had deepened like knife cuts. Mikhail. He mumbled, his breath too weak to climb up his throat, caught up in his chest. But I could smell it. The lingering scent of Penacony itself on that night. Mikhail. Mikhail. Almost there. Let's pick a decoration. Which style do you prefer? Anything you need, I've got it. Yes. Centric circles. May you always remember where you started. Well, it's done. Look Here's at that! It's beautiful. Everyone, with this glass of a dream within a dream. To our forebears who dug their own grave. Hmm. <laughs> well done, Gallagher. You're not over the hill yet. <laughs> so are you satisfied? I suppose. Oh, the flavors. They're way more sophisticated than Soul Glad. The richness and layers of these flavors are a masterpiece, especially with the adjuncts. I can taste the spicy and sour notes with a hint of sweetness. Interesting. I'm not entirely sure what it all means. Maybe Mr. Gallagher can shed some light on it. <clears throat> well, if you're expecting a profound answer, I'm afraid I'll disappoint you. The imagery it implies is pretty straightforward. It's just a glimpse of what this dream truly tastes like. Nothing more. Mm. Does this true taste have anything to do with that, Mikhail? Mikhail. Yeah, that name does sound familiar. When you got knocked out by that masked fool girl, I think I heard someone calling that name. Do you How remember? do you know? How do you know about that? I was with Firefly then. <sighs> I was right about you. You guys seem to know quite a bit. And now there's no reason to hide anything from you anymore. Let's dig deeper into the case. And of course, I'll tell you a story about Mikhail. All right, let's start with what we know based on the clues the family has. It seems that Firefly isn't a local or an invited guest. In other words, she's a stowaway. Mm -hmm. She managed to fool me at first. My age must be getting the best of me. But here on the planet of festivities, Stowaways are a common sight. You're bound to run into one sooner or later. After the incident, the hounds wasted no time searching for that girl in both the dreamscape and reality. But here's the thing. We only received bad news, and the trickiest kind at that. She simply vanished, leaving no trace in the dreamscape or reality. How As if she had never come to Penacony at all. Huh? Does that mean... Uh, death of Ascate. Yeah. That's impossible. The problem now is not that she's dead, but that it's as if she had never existed in the first place. Let me be frank. This case, actually, is unlike anything the Bloodhound family has dealt with before. Interesting. Dealt with before? So, death does happen in Penacony, if I understand correctly. You've witnessed it, so there's no need to hide. Even the shiniest city has its dark side. We're all adults here. Surely I don't need to explain too much to you. Confronting the family based on that alone would be naive. Death may occur in sweet dreams. So what? Such events are highly unlikely and only affect a tiny number of people. If you really want to delve deeper into this case, you need to understand the true problem with the family. I guess it's time to tell the story of that Mikhail. You're very perceptive. The Astral Express has received that music box too, right? Do you know the secrets it holds? There's a message. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penacony. And thus, the answer to the question, why does life slumber? Why does life slumber? 
That's the exact wording. Hey, why are you laughing? Wait, did you write it? It's quite poetic. No, but I'm the officer in charge of this case. So how could I not know? I'm sure you must have noticed that this message didn't come from the family. You might have even guessed that the relationship between the family and the watchmaker isn't as close as it seems. That's just our speculation. Actually, it's hard to believe that the father of Penacone and its actual managers are at odds. Now I can assure you that your speculation is absolutely correct. The family has considered the watchmaker an enemy for a long time, but the hounds haven't been able to track him down as he seems to be living only in the characters and stories he created. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever wondered why the family allowed the watchmaker to send out such a ridiculous message to the outside world, inviting you here and causing chaos? So you want to seize this opportunity to expose the watchmaker? Well, now you understand why the Oak family authorized the Nameless to assist in the investigation but kept you in the dark, right? Because the Watchmaker is not the legend of the land of the dreams at all. He's the most shameful stain in the history of Penacone, and he's the root cause of all the anomalies in the dreamscape. What does it have to do with Mikhail? You get it? Well, I mean, Mikhail, the betrayer of the family, he's the Watchmaker. He's the watchmaker, hey? Here we are, Clock Studios Theme Park, the most popular entertainment center in Penacone. Wait, aren't we supposed to be discussing the watchmaker? I would have expected you to take us to maybe a library. Or an archive room of sorts, but an amusement park? The culture of a city reflects its history in the most authentic way. To you, it's a fun place. But to me, it's a prison for the planet's past. You know that Penacone used to be the IPC's prison planet, right? Yeah. All the prisoners were brought here, helping the Garden of Recollection salvage the leaking memoria from the macro void. The prolonged exposure to high concentrations of memoria caused a unique phenomenon. The dreams of countless prisoners intersected and overlapped, and people started meeting each other in their dreams, living lives that were almost identical to reality. But everything has a price, and sweet dreams are no exception. In the end, the dream world was unable to alleviate the suffering of prisoners in reality. One of the prisoners broke free from the IPC shackles and fought for freedom. He is Hanu, the great leader of Dreamville, the great peacemaker, and the faithful companion of the underdogs. So the character Hanu is based on a real person, so that plucky ca cartoon is actually a documentary. History is always written by the winners. However, it's undeniable that Clocky is an animation that draws from Penacone's actual history. These characters not only exist in Dreamville, but also in the distant past. Once you realize this, you'll understand why we're here. There are so many members of the Bloodhound family around here. They just received a lockdown order, supposedly from Sunday himself. Who knows what it's for? Investing So many of them. I've never seen anything like this, even when they're tracking down suspects. Can you convince them to let us in? We don't need to go in. We don't want to draw any unwanted attention inside. We can just talk here. Oh, but I wanted to go into the feet bar. Let's find a quiet <laughs> spot and continue our conversation. The view here is great, right? We can see everything from here, including Clocky. If all the characters in the animation are based on characters in reality, then Clocky's counterpart is definitely the Watchmaker. In the animation, 
He's Hanu's partner and one of the founders of Dreamville. Does that mean the Watchmaker was personally involved in that war and sided with Asdana? It was a monumental war for freedom. Hanunu fought alongside a motley crew of masked fools, nameless, history fictionologists, mourning actors, <gasps> omen vanguards, even visitors from beyond the sky. In the end, they emerged victorious. Oh, I went a little bit back for mourning actors. Because they are unwillingly part of elation. Among them was the person who would eventually be known as the Watchmaker. But if you do the math, doesn't that mean the Watchmaker was around for several centuries? I'm not sure, but Mikhail was already the Watchmaker when I met him. So maybe he inherited the title. Hmm. How old are you now, Mr. Officer? I'm 13. Oh, he's 13, okay. <laughs> now, I've seen this a lot, and people saying it has something to do with Black Swan. Well, not Black Swan, but with tarot cards, basically. Because number 13 tarot cards. No way! Not even close! Maybe he means he's the 13th. Hanunu freed the frontier prison. But peace still eluded him. With limited resources, threats from the outside world, and internal conflicts between major prison districts, the future of Ostana was uncertain. It wasn't until the Watchmaker approached the family with the idea of turning the prison into the Chaos planet of 12. festivities that Penacone finally gained its name and glory. Thus, he became known as the father of Penacone. Didn't you say the Watchmaker betrayed the family? And you said you were his companion, so that means you... No. I'm not his companion. But rather one of his many children. Okay. No, that's really interesting. Huh. But I am indeed a traitor. Not to the family. But to... Mikhail. What did you do? <sighs> I did nothing. And that's the worst betrayal of all. Just like you, I had close companions. We dedicated ourselves to Penacone. But the Oak family, they set us up. Mikhail was too old to protect his children anymore. So we left the family to find our own path. We were branded traitors of the Harmony. Even though the true traitors were someone else. While well, they continue to praise the Watchmaker's name in the world, behind closed doors, they condemn him on a pillar of shame. Nevertheless, we wanted to clear his name. We intended to find the real traitor, the one responsible for all this, and restore harmony to Penacone. But we failed. Too much time had passed. And the land of the dreams had become deeply corrupted. After countless fruitless pursuits, I gave up. Like a lost dog. Mm -hmm. The family accepted me and made me an officer. Supposedly as a form of forgiveness. But it was actually a punishment. Since then I've been completely cut off from my partners. And my past. As for Mikhail... I heard he died in obscurity, in a place where no one could find him. That's when I realized that the Penacone I once knew would never return. We're truly sorry for what happened. But this is not the end of the story, right? Hmm. Apparently, someone has inherited the title of the Watchmaker and has been secretly working against the family all this time. Hmm. Who could that person be? Unfortunately, after all these years, I have no idea who that person is. Or if they're even real. 
or just Mikhail's lost soul haunting the dreams. So, do you understand why I'm spilling all this info? Because I believe the girl's death must be connected to the Watchmaker's legacy. And at the end of all these mysteries, we will find the answers we are seeking. If it really is Mikhail's ghost, I want to meet him. If only for the last time. For those who despise me could form a line from here all the way to the entrance of the hotel. But those willing to look me in the eye and hear me out? Let's just say, there won't be many. I've told you all I know is a sign of gratitude. Thank you for listening to this old dog. Bark and all. And Justin. Hmm? Uh, something just happened at the theme park. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me, good luck to all of you. How ironic. What's so different between the stowaways rejected by Penacony today and the dream seekers once hailed as pioneers several amber eras ago? Hmm. Gallagher does have a troubled past, it seems. While Firefly's whereabouts remain a mystery, his stories shed light on our suspicions about the true identity of the Watchmaker, his connection to the family, and the power struggles hidden behind sweet dreams and death. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, so I don't know. I was going to say, maybe Gallagher meant he's 13 in Amber Eras. So that's 70 times 13, which is a lot. Uh, 810. 910. Did I do that right? Yeah. No. Yeah. 910. And that seems a bit too odd, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't think he's a 910. I think he's old, but I don't think he's 910 years old. And that the family isn't all united. Exactly. Gallagher suggests that the real traitor is someone else. Probably within the Oak family. And that death is related to a watchmaker. That lines up with what we've gathered so far. Firefly got involved in this mess because of the legacy. And now we're sure that Aventurine's accusations against Acheron are baseless. Whee! And that clock is based on the watchmaker. Uh, you're really into clocky, huh? He's just a fictional character, not a real person. Hmm. Speaking of which, that Clocky who only reveals himself to you is quite intriguing. It's a shame we've never met him since then. That's pretty much sums it up. Now that we've confirmed a lot of our suspicions, let's take a moment to think about the clues we have. Send a message to Welt and see how things are going on his end. Well, our investigation here has come to an end. How's the progress? Not too bad for Galaxy Ranger and I agree that the family might be hiding something extremely important. We're now headed to Do Like the Pavilion. Act on her. Didn't Aventurine say that she was dangerous? I've confirmed that she's on our side. Don't worry. Please wait for a while. I'll keep you posted as soon as I find anything. Are your companions worried about you? They're just checking up on me. Let's get in and get out. It seems they've made some progress. Looks like we're about to enter the depths of Dewlight Pavilion. It's been Let's a smooth ride. Almost too smooth for a heavily guarded mansion. Let's see if there's anyone waiting to greet us. I get to keep my normal team. I even have Wout in it. Hey! <laughs> Something feels off. A grand mansion like this and not a butler or servant in sight. Could it be due to the disruption caused by the emergency? Well, this door is open. Looks like we'll have to investigate ourselves. Let's proceed with caution. Just one moment. Akron draws her blade slightly within a moment. Her breath becomes imperceptible. Light. I've made myself less noticeable. The crew can explain their presence as authorized by the family, but I can't come up with any excuses for being here. I see. 
What an interesting technique. Screen four. A gleam of old. The model in the sand pit. It's the golden hour, isn't it? Maybe the heads of the family used in the footprints here are Oops. different from the rest. There are two sets of them. Looks like outsiders might have passed through here not long ago. Screen four. The gleam of old flame. Can you identify the people who left these footprints? Well, there's a unique pattern here. Flamboyant, even. And judging by the size, I'd say these were men's shoes. If I'm right, it could be the IPC ambassador, Aventurine. Aventurine. What about the other set? It looks like they were walking side by side as opposed to one behind the other. So the second individual is likely equal in status to Aventurine. Equal in status. The IPC is eager to reclaim Panacone, so their presence here is not unexpected. Stream four. any people in this mansion they've set up quite a few mimetic guards to patrol this place. oh they have hey i'm gonna say it's time to fight time for auto yay <laughs> i'm fine my friends indulge yourselves i weep for the departed it is a fall Destined for oblivion. <laughs> Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Still waters of oblivion. Uh? Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. I think my attack torn isn't that good. Look, it dropped something. A note. Looks like instructions from the butler for the other servants. Uh, seems like the mansion's entire workforce were assigned other tasks before Robin's death. <laughs> it must have been a big project to require that much manpower. The Charmony Festival, perhaps. But no matter what their main priorities are, there should always be someone left at the mansion, right? So you're saying someone deliberately cleared the place out? Yeah, but I don't know why. Interesting. Just want to double check. Wait. Oh, that's probably why. <laughs> I really need a better one. Are you sp your speed? Your speed. It's not amazing, but it'll do. I want this to be EHR. Effect hit rate. There you go. I'm gonna choose the three star ones. Uh, let me get that to twelve. Okay. 
she might be a bit better now, hopefully. <laughs> Probably should have got those up instead. Fine. Okay. I'll, I'll just leave it at that for now. No one here either. Since no one's around to entertain us, let's make ourselves at home. Stay close to me so that my white can cover you too. Uh, so this is a message from Robin Sunday. I'm not going to read it all because... As soon because, as I and the rest of yeah. the crew arrived in Penacone, Mr. Sunday and Robin showed up to greet us. I remember hearing something unusual in her voice, and now it seems I was right. Robin believed it was because the harmony had been tampered with somehow. But as far as I know, there aren't many entities capable of interfering with the power of paths. Meaning? If there really is a traitor within the family, that person must hold a high position or possess unimaginable strength. Both. <laughs> that would explain why Mr. Sunday has been having such difficulty in catching the traitor. This light cone is securely guarded. It must hold some important memories. According to Robin's interview, despite having performed on so many grand stages, her favorite performance was a uh, a pretend show she put on with her brother when they were just kids. It's so cute! I wonder how their relationship is now. Growing up brings gains, but also losses. Yeah. yeah. Time is a way of smoothing things out. The beautiful dreams of youth will eventually fade away. Yeah, I'm not gonna read all this, but it's just like a list of people. The information about Robin, Firefly, and the other victims. I don't see any commonalities among them. Looks like the rumors were right. Death does seem to be targeting random victims. And based on Sunday's notes, he's no stranger to death. He's just surprised that it has resurfaced. When did his ever deaths happen? Mr. Sunday has done some serious research on his suspects. This traitor must have been causing trouble for the family for a long time. They all seem to be insiders, but I haven't met any of them. Huh? Wait, these characteristics... What is it? No, nothing. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. However, if this traitor really exists... Could they be responsible for Firefly and Robin's deaths? I feel like Akko is onto something there. Perhaps that's why Sunday is taking this matter so seriously. It seems neither the Dream Master of Penacone nor this old Odie is happy with Sunday's recent performance. They don't seem to care much about death. 
Instead, they're more concerned about the Charmony Festival and the Watchmaker. Maybe the other family heads don't think death is a big deal. One thing's for sure. There's a lot of internal conflict within the family, and everybody has their own agenda. Yeah. That's all for now. Nothing more noteworthy. Before coming here, I had all sorts of scenarios in my head about dealing with the family. I did not expect an empty mansion. Watch out. Someone's approaching. Oh! I don't think trespassing on forbidden areas is the way to be a guest, Mr. Yang. <laughs> and... Sunday! Everyone? The Galaxy Ranger? Our apologies, Mr. Sunday. Uh, nobody came to greet us, so we entered without permission. I hope you can forgive us. But even if there's no one to greet you, you should wait for the host. Don't you agree? Even without the famous Galaxy Ranger. As far as I know, the crew has officially accepted the family's commission. So coming here will be unnecessary for you. On the contrary, that's exactly why we're here. To ask you about the case and gather more information. Yeah, definitely. I don't want any loose ends. Hmm. Well, since you've come with goodwill, I have no reason to show you the door. Rest assured, he hasn't figured out that we went through those documents. Shh, quiet! <laughs> While the truth remains a mystery, I'm getting close to it. I assure you that the traitor will soon pay the price. Okay. Let's hope justice will prevail soon. I have a question for you, if you don't mind. How did the family come to the conclusion that the murderer was within the family? With all due respect, it's in the IPC's interest to wreak havoc before the Charmony Festival, and the family has every reason to suspect the IPC's involvement. Well, other family heads share the same suspicions as you, but in my opinion, the true murderer would never have drawn as much attention as that ambassador did. Not to mention, I personally shackled him a while ago. Huh. However, I'll give you a suggestion regarding your suspicions, Mr. Yang. You should be more cautious of Aventurine. While the wicked can't break through high walls, they can plunge their evil dagger into the heart of the righteous. He's a businessman, not some philanthropist. But right now, he's out there handing out his wealth on the streets. And he went to the Clock Studios theme park all by himself. Who knows what kind of scheme he's cooking up. Interesting. While the family is dedicated to keeping our guests safe, it might be wise for you to stay alert. You never know what unexpected troubles could arise. Me too. Yeah. <sighs> it's adventuring time. According to a Pierpoint hotline tip, there was a major breakthrough in the shocking Ejhazio Aventurine case. The suspect has been arrested. This fraud case has been linked to many departments within the Interastral Peace Corporation and the Intelligentsia Guild, causing a large drain in manpower and resources, resulting in the IPC taking a massive loss. The case's main suspect originates from Sigonia 4 and is one of the survivors of the second Katika Avgin extinction event, who does not carry an interstellar refugee travel permit. As per Strategic Investment Department head Diamond Sentiments, the IPC has appropriately relocated the suspect in the spirit of the Charter and will continue to conduct further investigations as to the motive of the suspect. What pretty eyes. Tell me, do they shine in the dark? Jade. Well, if they did, I'd sell them in a heartbeat. Oh. You don't know how many people long for your eyes to be closed forever. As a servant, you should not resist your master. Yet, you went and killed that man anyway. No lawyer has the audacity to defend you. Perhaps you ought to represent yourself. Not difficult, but definitely pointless. You're pretty confident on your eloquence. Did you also think that when you lied to the Intelligentsia Guild? Ask and you shall receive. 
You wanted the perfect construction material. All I did was offer a possibility. It was just a small wager. If your luck holds out, the IPC will dig something up from the golden sands of Ejihazo. Maybe even the Sand King's remains. Pity your luck has run out. I'll admit that. What I'm more curious about, though, is why such a grand scheme failed to benefit anyone in the end, including the perpetrator himself. Oh, madam, I already have what I want. ...to be brought before you for the next high-stakes gamble. Then let's talk about the second gamble. Tell me... ...what are you prepared to wager this time? My life. <laughs> I bet you won't send me to the gallows. <sighs> what do you want, then? I want your Lenore to meet with me. I have something to say. And then what? I want cash. <laughs> it can't be that simple, can it? It is that simple. Thirty tonbas. The remainder of my... market value. Thirty tonbas. No more, no less. With this money, I'll climb to even greater heights than you. Grasp even more riches than you. <laughs> I wager you won't give me this chance. Which is why you should call him here. Interesting. A pity Diamond won't see you. No one gets to see him. From here on out, I am Diamond's representative. And I will decide on his behalf. I don't think Diamond won't see anyone. You're wrong. 30 Tonbus. He'll give you that. And... Much more than that. Wealth. Status. Power. The IPC will give you whatever you want. Even what you don't want. Kakavasha. A good name. But unfortunately destined to be buried in the dirt. You, though. You deserve to live. To create even more wealth. For us. Go. Pick the clothes you like. Then choose your desired identity. And then? <laughs> Use them well, child. May your plans never suffer failure. Life is like a long-term investment. Those who choose correctly, do the correct things, reach the correct outcomes, show the world their value. People can't always make the right choices in their lives. But luck has always been on my side. I've never lost. Is it because Gaiathra blesses me? Well, if that's the case, she must also be looking upon me right now. My success is inevitable. But... What then? <laughs> Even if I overcome this difficult trial, what would come next? <laughs> what awaits me after this glorious gamble? An even more glorious one? Will I return triumphant with unending riches after countless successes, or... Will I encounter failure, never to return? Yeah. I'm pretty sure you already have some idea, lowly gambler. <laughs> what? What? Huh? He's mocking him. He's being mocked by himself. Am I dreaming? Or have I gone completely insane? Perhaps. By a mannequin warlord. Who was it that gave you the idea? Fine. I may be crazy, but I'm not stupid. 
Get out of my head, newborn of the Harmony. <laughs> the Harmony? Oh, don't play the fool. It's not the first time we've met. No need to be so polite. I'm you, and perhaps even more aware of yourself than you. Of what exactly you want. You're dying. And you still want to drag a bunch of unfortunate fools with you through death's door. That's why you're here, isn't it? <laughs> a grand unveiling. You really think you can pull it off? No. <laughs> why not? Well, you may have fooled everyone, but you can't fool yourself. I can show you. Before your entire I'll be with you for the last stretch of your road. Let's have a heart to heart while we walk. <laughs> what exactly are you? Most people in this world spend their entire lives just to reach one outcome. And I am that outcome. Don't say that. Kakavasha, I am your future. First, I'm hearing things, and now I'm seeing them. <laughs> Great. Am I going to be elevated into the Harmony's Emanator next? Oh, don't say that. Well, don't say that. There are no guests here. What's that Featherhead doing? Just a Papeshi? No. A child. I thought miners weren't allowed in Golden Hour. Hey, kid. You okay? Are you lost? <sighs> What's wrong, mister? You don't look well. Your eyes. Impossible. Who are you? They're pretty, aren't they? Sis said they're a gift from Mama Funga. Colorful eyes are said to bring good luck. Uh, mister, you have pretty eyes too. Beautiful. Are, are you alone? Where are your parents? They're in that amusement park. Papa and Mama went in first. I'm just about to go look for them. I have to go. Goodbye, mister. Hope you have a good time, too. So cute. Those eyes. And Mama Funga. No, no, it... It can't... There aren't any Avgens left. You are completely entranced by the Avgen boy. Just who was he? There's still time for you. There's still time. Maybe you can catch up with him and ask him exactly what happened or what is he or something. Scavenger 
searching for scraps in the desert. <laughs> because you know that opportunities are fleeting. Well, when you put it like that, even Ratio's a teeny peacock analogy sounds pleasant. Mm. Well, you know how rare it is for me to give you the straight dope. So listen while you can. It's good timing that you mentioned the doctor. I'm especially fond of what you and he have in common. The conspiracy. Calculation. <laughs> especially the part about the finale. A magnificent act of betrayal. <laughs> Oh, when everyone thinks this way, who would even suspect that it was another trap you meticulously devised? <laughs> Go on. Tell me I'm right. You know who you really are, Mr. Cavalier Gambler. Uptight, overcautious, massive inferiority complex. You want so much, you're still so afraid of losing. Aww. They only see your big bets, your bravado, the full house, the straight flush. They don't know the other hand is below the table, clutching your chips for dear life. Mm. <laughs> it's a heck of an act. No wonder the tavern sent you an invite. You're a natural kid. You don't stop at fooling the audience. The best way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is first being able to fool yourself. Yeah. <laughs> of course. I know you all too well. But it's strange. Why did you decline that invitation? You had the chance to embrace elation. Was that not what you most wanted? But you chose the IPC instead. Mm -hmm. For the preservation. <laughs> I doubt it. Do you even have anything in common with the preservation? Oh, I thought you knew. Didn't you say you had me pegged? War done. Either stop talking or disappear from my sight. <laughs> That's fine. But who exactly is about to disappear here? Don't say that. Do not Don't say that. Me. of agony in stonier places is shouts in the sky in the cries prisons palaces revelations yes go ah playing hide and seek i'm really good at this The clocky, look at clocky. I love these sort of things. It's so cool. It's so cool. A lot being shown as well, which is nice. So I watched them on YouTube as well. Beep. <laughs> Goodbye that day. How many catechins were like jackals hung on your heels? I know you 
won't forget that sound anytime soon. Those shrill cackles. You had to hide right under the noses of those savages. You and Big Sis, playing dead, drifting in all that bloody water. Completely ruined that sugar. <laughs> That sounds horrible. That sounds so bad. It wasn't ruined. I've always kept it. Oh, come on. It's a rag. Not like you can ever wear it. <laughs> now you don't have to hide. You probably won't even deign to get your pretty outfit wet in the rain. <laughs> well, your social capital has changed after all. I've never changed. Hmm. On the contrary, now you're the one who does the hunting. So the last round is hide and seek, and you get to be in. You should enjoy it. That child. Could he be in here? You're about you're unable to uncover your past. You're unable to uncover your past. You are unable to uncover your you're unable to uncover you're unable to <coughs> He Who was once living is now dead. He we who were once lived are now dying. Is this a topaz? What is this doing here? There's not just any topaz. <sighs> the corner's down. What? Does your cornerstone wrench out of your heart? <sighs> I was merely curious at why it was here. Just bait. Of course. That's why Ratio's betrayal was one of the keys to your plan. I have to say that Doctor's acting was superb. Or maybe he wasn't acting at all. All the better for you. Mm. Sunday didn't become head of the Oak family by acting sloppy. He's obsessed with control. You have to give him enough detail to satisfy his meticulous nature, but not so much that he gets to. Which is why you had Ratio seek him out and leak the plan on purpose. To prevent the other party from suspecting anything. The intel you gave to Ratio was all true, and you spoke of the same to Sunday. Finally, Sunday took the bait, found me another cornerstone, and before you know it, everyone's distracted and asked for you to steal the third stone right out from under them. Why don't you stop rummaging through my mind? <laughs> your mind. It's our mind. You're me. And I'm you. We're the same. The best way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is to first be able to fool yourself. <laughs> really? You can't even fool yourself. You just got lucky this time. This is the other cornerstone in Sunday's hands. Rather beautiful green. Just like you. Smooth. Cunning. Tell me. What's its name? <laughs> Why are you even asking me? Uh, must I do all the work? Aventurine is the stone of luck and trickery. That's what you said when you received the stone, wasn't it? 
type of stone isn't rare, but its hue is very similar to a certain gem. In fact, it's often used as a substitute. And that more precious gem is... Jade. Jade. Even Sunday can't tell the difference. Well, looks like Jade can be substituted for a Venturine, too. <laughs> Sauce for the goose. <laughs> a Venturine, topaz, Jade, three elites, three cornerstones who, three chips. for a measly panicone, offered their everything. Oh, you're even more united than the family. This is a thing that's really, like, interesting, because when he was doing the thing with... Sunday in Dr. A's show, he's answering the questions. He was not lying. Like, the whole time. It was only the last question he had to lie on, which was about, oh, is the Aventurine in this box? All the other questions, he was not lying about. It was like, oh yeah, do I have your stone? Yeah, I do. As I've said before, three chips are sufficient. But will it be the former or the latter? <laughs> we'll find out soon. Enough. And it's just so interesting how it all played out. Real adventuring stone. Pick it out. Have a look. <laughs> Suddenly you don't know where it is? I just want to hear you say it. After all, it really does resemble its owner. As you wish, then. They never went anywhere. They're right where they belong. It looks like the pretties one as well. All up with these cheap baubles. <laughs> you smashed the Aventurine stone before you left. Oh, just look at it. Shattered. Just like your life. Oh, don't say that. Well, Diamond has always been all about results. As long as I can create value far beyond the cost, the ends justify the means. How else would the family be fooled if there was no price to pay? It doesn't matter. Even smashed to smithereens, the preservation's cornerstone can still be used. Its effect may be greatly diminished, but it's enough for me. Which is also why you'll never see how I'll win it all. That is, if you can do what it takes. We'll just have to wait and see then. Mm -hmm. The cornerstone is gone. Another illusion of the harmony. Huh? It seems kind of scary to like admit everything like that. When it's just an illusion, you know? <laughs> Ooh. Did you find your mother and father? Of course! Big Sis is there too. The four of us were just playing hide and seek. I'm so happy. On our way here, Papa even brought me to see a blimp. A blimp? <laughs> I think you mean film. <laughs> yes, that's it. Putting many drawings together. So cute. Turning them into a moving wall painting. They put me... Papa, Mama, and Big Sis together, turning us into one big family. You should give it a try too, mister. You look sad. 
The amusement park will cheer you up. <laughs> sure. Oh. You win your wounds will never heal. Okay. Time to play a game. Have you been playing more Star Wheel? How's it going? I think I did really good then. <laughs> How's that? Not a bad score, eh? Yeah. <sighs> Boring. Wait, seriously? You got Akron already? No way! <laughs> Sincere this time, at least. Well, sincerity is one of my traits that everybody likes, and I have precious few of those. Moving on. See that maze over there? <laughs> I'll know everything about you before you reach the exit. Awesome! I'll accept it when I go on my main because I sent you my main UID earlier. Our quaint journey through this amusement. I'll accept it later. And I wouldn't mind stretching this out. I saw a weapon artifact thing you can't wait what wait you got a five star light code already how how <laughs> what is your luck it's so tall even taller than the tallest rocks in the desert <laughs> that's crazy what the hell There's no water, only the rock. There's so many flowers here. Fix this. This one's for you. Rock and no water, only the sandy road. Dead end? Oh, is this the wrong way? And it hasn't crashed! Yay! That is awesome! That is so good. I'm glad it's running better. <laughs> it, it is this? Oh, what's on your mind? It's got nothing to do with you. I remember it all too well. You wrapped that iron chain around your fist, for that is the only tool you could find. Then, in that maze, you... Shut up. Oh, you 
don't wish to face your past. Unwilling to admit that your life is worth at least 60 tonsa. Well, from what I see, you refuse to confront it, because it only proves your weakness. How could a weak person take such daring risks? Oh, that's right. You love the thrill of danger. But you refuse to let go of meaningless sentiments. Even in this beautiful dream, the only thing you dare allow yourself is death. <laughs> in your hands, those who follow you could have become Joker cards. <laughs> They're far more useful that way. It's not like this is the only place the family ever cut corners. You could have had tons of action if you weren't so all or nothing. All it takes is a meager sacrifice. I bet Opal would have resolved this without a fuss. Don't, don't hate Sampo. I love Sampo. He's one of my favorites. He's so quirky. He's so quirky. He's great. Pity you're not him. Well, you wouldn't be in this state if you could just get with the program. And why couldn't you? Out of professional integrity. <laughs> I don't know, I didn't think they were that stiff. <laughs> Those techniques you mentioned are highly efficient, but it's not that I don't know about them. It's more like I couldn't care less. Get it? What fun is it if the fight isn't fair? Fair? <laughs> you assume your opponents would fight fair in the first place. The odds are obviously not in your favor, so how are you just breezing by? But did that vast fool's words awaken something in you? Well, she gave me an answer that could turn everything upside down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> everything? You mean it could make all the cards on the table just disappear? Mm. <laughs> what does cheap. he mean by that? If these leaves could be brought back, would they bloom into new flowers? Your future never existed. Your future never existed. Oh my god, it's so dark. Uh, were there water? We should stop and drink. Amongst the rocks, rock, we, one cannot stop or think. with two pieces of jewelry a necklace and a lucky charm there won't ever be a third piece oh, that's what you always say but you actually regret it don't you that you didn't sell them don't say that you can zip it if there's nothing to talk about i had trouble sending stuff i know i guess you i attached to things you're a child blessed by Gyathra Triclops and can lead the clan to happiness. So always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. Uh, Beck, hey, welcome. Really, you're so cool, Rem did that. Thank you so much to Rem for doing that. That's amazing. But hi, welcome. Thank you so much for the like and sub. I really appreciate that. The word's still ringing. Surely won't forget how tragic her last moments of life were. How the piercing laughter behind you felt like it was drilling into your heart. You ran away without looking back, just as she told you to. Tisk, tisk. 
A lifelong regret, indeed. <laughs> Japan, he surveils brother. Enough. It's great. I like Japan. Do you not have anything better to talk about? Oh, shut me down like a champ. Well, I guess when it comes to mind games, this isn't exactly your first rodeo. I think I finally get you. <laughs> Woo! You are <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I love that. <laughs> In the end, I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the grandest death. <laughs> well, you stuck to that from start to finish. Now think about it. There's a Stellaron in play. The fabulous Robin loses her voice. Two unsolved murders. Cryptic messages from a masked fool and a chance to go head to head with Sunday himself. Your interest is one word. The last word. A word that's right there at your fingertips. Death. Death. But whose exactly? <sighs> we'll know when the dice falls. <laughs> All right then. Reserve a seat for me in the audience. I'm curious to see just how capable you are. Still, you never answered my question. If you could start over, would you still want to be the child who received Gaiatha's blessing? <sighs> it's so quiet this time. Is he finally gone? Or am I the one about to disappear? Failure, discarded, selfish, useless, pointless, coward, murderer, gambler, blessed, discarded, discarded, loser, chosen one, mother, goddess, beloved, crazy, murderer, blessed, failure, discarded, lo loser, pointless, coward, murderer, chosen one, selfish, blessed, discarded, loser, chosen one, loser, discarded, pointless, coward, murderer, gambler, blessed, uh... Useless loser, chosen one, mother, goddess, loser, 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 loser. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's so um. Oh God, I feel bad for him. Feet deep in the sand. Dead mountain's mouth of curious teeth. <laughs> Made it out of this place. Graham, hey! But I don't go back yet. Thank you so much for sharing my link in his Discord. Thank you. <laughs> How are you doing? It's weird how like often the description for this quest changes. It changes so frequently. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of information to like take in with if stuff. <laughs> He can be gone. 
whether it's in the past, present, or future. <laughs> Yeah, it he's a weird guy, that little gremlin dude. He's he's cute though. <laughs> Mister, is that you? I hear the sound of leather shoes. It sounds so creepy when you say that. Oh a demon. <laughs> Hi. I don't know why, mister, but you always give me a special feeling that makes me more curious about you. It's sad that I can't get to know you more. We have to say goodbye. Did you have fun? Good luck, you tell. Good luck. Mm. You're going back? Yes. I should go home. The day's getting dark, and it's going to rain. I don't want to worry the others. You're home. Where is it? What a strange question. It's where Papa, Mama, and Big Sis are. In this dream. Aww. Oh, he looks so sad. This amusement park. This beautiful dream. We really are peaceful. Everyone loves it. But, mister, why don't you like it? <laughs> because they're not here. Where are they? Chose to stay here. Me and him. Your past and future. Don't say that. Don't say that, future. How long will you stay? Forever. We'll be with you forever in this dream. This is the greatest honor that we can offer to those who. Stellaron and 
There's actually no co-op, which is really weird because you can like add people, but there's no co-op. Um, there's uh, you can like use other people's characters though, so you can use like my characters that I have once I accept your friend request. But yeah, you can't actually co-op with other people, and sadly. Just after Panacone, no matter the means, no matter the price, it's not personal. <laughs> it's hard, isn't it? Well, don't get soft on me now. <laughs> what, did you suddenly grow a conscience? Yeah, um, that's the thing with Starwheel, especially in the beginning. The quests are kind of boring, I've got met. They do get a lot more interesting later on. I, I reckon anyway, especially Panacone. They do get much better later on, but for the beginning, yeah, they can be a little bit boring. Like, I think it was when we went to the Xinxiao um, with Jing Yuan and everything, I started getting more into it. I was like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> What's done can't be undone. All we can do is play the cards we're dealt and rake in as much time as possible. Yes. Alas, people won't make all the right choices in their lifetime. The luck always seems like it's on your side. Ah. Uh, okay, yeah, that's understandable as well. I turn bases for everyone. Adventuring to die, you know? Yeah. I love adventuring, he's great. And now only we are left. <laughs> Can you take a photo for me? I want a memento. Sure. Come on. Take a photo for me. I want a memento. Oh. Little Babe. <laughs> Saving. How nice. Now I can see. I look like two. 
Look at the lens when you're taking a photo the next time. Your expression will look more natural. Sure, I will. Then, mister, are you going back too? I can't leave yet. I still have a show to do. Mm, a show? Oh, you're about to go on stage, aren't you? Let's go then. I'll take you to the stage. <laughs> sure. So you're an actor. No wonder your clothes are so stylish. <laughs> I'm actually a merchant. But I do have a show to do. Are you the same as those men in black in the sky? But you're not wearing black. I was never when I was beside you. Only ordinary employees have to wear that. But My who's position is that on the other side of you. Much higher than theirs. <laughs> awesome. I hope I can become as good looking as you when I grow up. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> of course you can. <laughs> You'll be better and stronger than me. Aww. Oh my god! So precious. Over planes, endless. Into cracked earths. Stumbling. Open sesame door. <laughs> it was nice playing as you adventure, and I'll see you tomorrow. See you in um seventeen hours and forty nine minutes. <laughs> this curtain is the grand stage. Oh, you, you had a discount as well. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> to go on stage. Are you ready? I don't mind. Good luck. With oh, oops, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> you still seem pretty nervous. Let's put our palms together. If you receive Gayathra's blessing, you'll feel more relaxed. Putting our palms together is a simple ritual. By putting our palms together and reciting the prayer to Mama Funga, she will bless us. If you're not familiar, I can guide you. It's all right. I know how to do it. Aww. Of course I know. This is where we go our own way, Akavasha. The catechins are coming. Why? The catechins have already taken all our money, food, and they killed our parents. What more do they want? Catechins are bloodthirsty, cruel, and insatiably greedy. They want everything only to end up with nothing. This is a trick, an act of revenge, remember? Today is the day of the Kakava, and also your birthday. They know the Afjin will surely hold a festival today. With the aid of this rain, they will come to destroy our wagons and take everything they want. Little do the Catechins know, this time we will fight back. The men in black that descend from the skies are on our side. The Catechins stand no chance against them. And will surely pay for their arrogance. Without this rain, the Catechins would never take action, and we would not have the chance to turn the tide. This is a gift from Gayathra, and you are Kakavasha, whose good fortune will bless your sister with success. But. but people will die, and you will be in danger. How is that good fortune? Why are you all doing this? The Avjin always return their blood debts. Gayathra calls for me, while Papa and Mama are waiting for me. 
I must answer the call. But she will bless you with good fortune and help you survive. As long as you are alive, the blood of the Avgen will never run dry. So run, Kakavasha. Do not be afraid. And do not look back. Go to the other side of the mountain. The rain will accompany you. And the rain will bless you. As for us, we will reunite in Kakava's next aurora. May the goddess Gayathra close her eyes three times. Keep your blood eternally pulsing. <laughs> yeah, bunch of cute dolls. <laughs> Let your journey be forever peaceful and your schemes forever concealed. Farewell, Kakavasha. News flash from the Inter Astral Peace broadcast. The IPC Marketing Development Department spokesperson confirms that a small-scale rebellion has broken out in the unclaimed region of Sigonia. The situation is now under control. The insurgents are from a local clan known as Kataka, which has a long history of disdain towards the IPC. This has caused a serious negative impact to the work of the IPC's Marketing Development Department. Okay. The clan launched a massive attack on the Avgen, who were under the protection of the IPC, resulting in 6,728 deaths and 3,452 So deaths. many. The casualties are currently under the care of the frontline trauma team. The spokesperson expresses his deepest condolences for this devastating humanitarian disaster. At the same time, delivering an important message on this matter to all interplanetary citizens. Finally, he proclaims, the hammer of preservation will fall on all beings, regardless of life or death, regardless of race, regardless of ideology, to uphold the basic rights we inherently possess. I love the music. Kakavasha? And he's gone. <laughs> Bye. Go on stage. No, adventuring. Okay. All the actors are in place. It's time for the show to begin. Looks sad. This act is dedicated to you. I hope it'll be an unforgettable memory for you. Kakavisha. <sighs> By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. You. Do you truly want to destroy the world with your own hands? Why are you reminding me of these words? <sighs> Let's assume, just assuming now, that every time I roll the dice, there's a possibility of achieving this particular outcome. Then I would be quite happy to make that wager. Mm. Oh dear, oh dear. Dear. Is I... this Miss Acheron? Hello, I'm Imigo. The Astral Express is. Hi, Miss Acheron. I'm gonna go get a drink quickly. One moment. That'd be quick. Actually, I'm gonna. I said I'm gonna get a drink. I'm gonna also like chuck away some things because I've made a mess up here. So give me about two minutes. A couple of minutes.
I'm back. Sorry about that. <laughs> Woo. Hello, I'm Mark Seven. I'm sure she needs no introduction, as you definitely know her. Hey, I still need a proper introduction. You can call me Clocky. Uh... <laughs> Hello. I love being Clocky. You seem surprised by my arrival. Since Weld has decided to travel with you, it means that he trusts you. And we trust his judgment. Sounds fair. <laughs> I envy your close friendships. Miss Acheron here doesn't present a danger, and she's of no threat to the Astral Express. Aventurine's prior accusation was based on nothing more than his own subjectivity. Yeah, there is a lot of dialogue. There is so much dialogue. I don't mind too much because like, I can see with dialogue is gameplay still. But yeah. It depends. Because I know some people don't like too much dialogue. Why. But I'm really into the law. So I really together. don't mind it. He has a duty to explain himself. You want to create a situation where all three parties are present? There must be some deeper meaning behind Aventurine's actions. I suspect he's been aware of Panacone's secret from the beginning and has been continuously strategizing to unveil it. Oh, uh, I don't mind dialogue. I think it's a fair. In that sense, it depends how it's done. Sometimes it can be a bit boring, a bit too much. Worst case scenario, he may use us to do something unexpected. Assuming things do escalate to that stage, having an extra ally is a good insurance policy. Penacone has numerous factions, and the state of affairs is significantly more intricate than that of Bellabog and the Sienjo. Mm. Um, yeah, maybe we should just get out of here. Yeah, let's go. I am the bone of my bat, Stella is my body, and Trailblaze is my blood. Yeah, woo. <laughs> You're talking weird again. That's always. Nice. But it's a good vibe. No matter what, we can't ignore the safety of Penacone. I love how we could just talk weird all the time, but we just say such random stuff. To solve the mystery of the Watchmaker, it is crucial to get the IPC's intel. The path ahead is fraught with danger. But... What's trailblazing without a little danger? Sounds like we've reached a consensus. Now, uh, Miss Acheron? I will accompany you, of course. Let's Thank you. Move out, then. But where do we start looking for him? No need to rush. If he truly has laid a trap, he will definitely use every means to lure us in. Sure. And there's the law. The most wondrous, most magnificent show in Penacone's history is about to begin. Well, that shouldn't, you should, we shouldn't, like, be announcing this to everyone, you know? The IPC cordially invites them in. The Clock Studios theme park. <laughs> Look, should both the performers and spectators fail to arrive, won't all of Aventurine's plans be for nothing? Let's get going, everyone. The hour of trailblazing is upon us. To solve the mystery of the Watchmaker, it is crucial to get the IPC's intel. The path ahead is fraught with danger. But what's trailblazing without a little danger? I envy your close friendships. Aww. Let's get going, everyone. The hour of trailblazing is upon us. Oh! Oh! Oh, that explains! Oh, that actually explains a lot. Yeah, I think I turned I don't know how you turn it off or on. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I did that on this account. 
There you go. <laughs> that explains. Yeah, feel free to add again. <laughs> oh, I have a bad feeling that something big's gonna go down. Uh, are you ready? Wait. Your trauma isn't getting to you, is it? My trauma? Take it easy. It'll oh, be fine. I see. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fine. There you go. Add it. Yeah, you can see I've already got myself added on this account. <laughs> These are both my accounts. <laughs> Mr. Yang. Hmm? Why did you not tell your companions about my true identity? Hmm. It's just like you said. Uh, an inability rather than an unwillingness. Plus, it's a long story. Not something that can be summed up in a few words. But I chose to believe you. And my trust in you stems more from my own personal judgment. I also believe that if it were their choice to make, they would make the same one. Thank you. I'm grateful. To reciprocate. Okay. In the upcoming confrontation, if the odds aren't in the Astral Express's favor, I will stand with you. Ah. If my meager strength is required. Mega strength. Are you sure it's mega? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I'm not looking forward to this. This is not gonna go work. go good. Um, I'm blocking it a little bit over here. Adventuring seems to have waited for quite some time on the stage in the center of Clock Studios theme park. Join this crazed gambler for a perfect collaborative performance that will blow. Everyone in Penacony away. Oh, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> You're so lucky you got Akon. You're so lucky. This team is not the best, but whatever. Uh, back here again. Adventuring actually chose a really conspicuous location. Oh, that guy's really taking it to a whole new level. Does he really think he's a superstar or something? Oh, he is in my eyes. <laughs> so in sight. The hounds drove out the visitors, and now their whereabouts are unknown too. Yeah, it's kind of weird that all, all that happened. Everyone, pay attention. The other party has obviously come prepared. <laughs> okay, I, I can play it for a little bit longer. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, dream seeker, tycoon, esteemed guests of the watchmaker and the family. That me? Also, not forgetting the nameless. Yeah! Live show. Okay. I was gonna walk for dramatic effects, but I got bored. Uh oh. This is not look good. I'm not looking forward to this. It's, I might fail badly at this. We've kept your appointment, Mr. Aventurine. It is customary to show yourself as well. It's just kind of weird because he asked us to like, um, team up with him and whatnot. And we was like, yeah, sure. And then he didn't ask anything from us. I will he just gave us money. <laughs> but before that, I've got to introduce our guest of honor. Everyone give it up for Miss Devereux. 
Stage and her identity have nothing to do with the wanted murderer. Oh, no, they do. <laughs> of course they do. Otherwise, why would I work so hard to gain your trust and then invite you all here? Because she's the only one who saw all three homicides. Wait. She is the key to proving that the family is death does not exist in dreams promise is nothing but a sham three homicides that's right madam the third one is about to happen right now right here in clock studios theme park a truly grand death you you Yeah, but there's three, four, five, six. There's six deaths. That's not. That's not three. You can't count. <laughs> you will become the personification of death. You sure you're gonna survive this? <laughs> oh, don't underestimate the preservation. The cornerstone of the Amber Lord will surely guide me. Let me be a little clearer. I will detonate the Stellaron in you and cause a teeny tiny accident on Panicoe. Uh. Bam! The entire theme park will be reduced to a shattered dream. Then before the family can even react, I'll become the IPC Elite's navigator. Your bluff isn't fooling anyone. If you could really do that, you would have done so earlier. You want to bet? <laughs> sure. I'll bet with you. I'm betting that it'll be a sweeping victory for me. Hmm. By detonating an unprecedented explosion to prove that the vow of harmony is a complete and utter joke. <gasps> oh, really? Huh. Oh, you could have say hi. Oh my god. Well, at least you know now. Hopefully, it's still running okay. You won't do it. Of course, I can. It's just another gamble. I came from the wastelands of Sagonia for just 60 red. <laughs> coins. People paid to brand me. Put me in chains. Place me in the gallows and bury me in the golden sands. But the sun could not kill me, and the quicksand sent me back to the embrace of the guild and the IPC. Bear in mind, my victory wasn't just a stroke of luck. <laughs> I've never been defeated. Have you ever heard the saying, sleep is the rehearsal of death? Why do the living sleep? Oh, because we are not ready for the final rest. Oh. Every night is practice for the end. You and I are escaping into our dreams for fear of death at this very moment. And death will surface in our dreams. That's scary stuff. Friends, the game has commenced, and you cannot choose to decline. <laughs> the dice are cast. Ladies and gentlemen, ready to unveil your cards. It's him. Flawed stone. <laughs> oh, no value at all. I'm putting oh. down the bet. Oh. I'm taking the oh. gamble. Oh no. I'm claiming the win. Oh, and 
fates and the wheel of a daring gamble. Walking the brink of death for rebirth. Oh. For the Amber Lord. No! I don't want to do this! Okay, let's go. Shadow <laughs> 2.0, yeah. Hi, Dev. I see what you mean. Okay. Uh. I weep for the departed. Oh god, I'm not used to using <laughs> I'm used to doing auto all the time. I know the music is funky. I love it. Oh no. Are you serious? Don't worry. Leave it to This isn't going well. In the mood for another beating? Still waters of a flip. I weep for the Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. Ah, I got a high point at least. <laughs> Oh wait, I got my thing back. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. I can do this. Let's begin. Do no nothing survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. <laughs> Free will, or was it still waters of a flip? That's all you got. <laughs> Hmm. Down from above. Uh, another journey begins. Just for a little. Memories are ever changing. Beneath the water lies an endless abyss. Step up, let's see ya. How's this take? Destiny's hand has truly blessed me. Yeah, I, I, I weep for the departed. <laughs> We got an equal point? Are you serious? I did my best for that. <sighs> I swear, I'm so unlucky when it comes to these points up. Leave it and stand down. for oblivion. In the mood for another beating? No. Let's begin. This is just the first phase as well. I still gotta do the second phase after this. I just did my burst. I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. Step up, let's see it. Same point. At least it's the same and not Free will or was less. It Still water cup living. What do you want to know? Uh. <laughs> you know not to survive or be destroyed. Let's go. First phase done. Now it's still have second phase. Right? No, not yet. Another Come on. Now. <laughs> Oh god, well it's nearly dead. Come on, gotta go do something. No, this isn't good. Help! <laughs> Team's not good enough for this. Okay, well it's dead. 
I didn't hear her. Or was it fate? I weep for the target. He's okay. Still waters of affliction. Destiny isn't chosen. Ill tidings manifest. Memories are ever changed. Oh. Beneath the water lies an I'm achievement. Abyss. Galica is gonna get wrecked every time. Wait, so they get the, the ultimate back. It's great. Uh. Turn and mix things up. Destiny's hand has truly blessed me. But he keeps rolling every time and I can't break him either. So it's pretty bad. <laughs> Memories of beneath the water lies an endless abyss. Yeah. Okay. In the mood for another beating? How's this take? Destiny's hand is truly blessed. It's sad because I'm gonna have to do this like 50 times at this way. Ah! It's okay. It's alright. I got it. I got it. Memories are beneath the water. Lies an endless abyss. Nice, like a good friend. Indulge yourselves. It ain't over. Yeah, 
So you lose about 4% health each time. Like, I'm doing it, but it's just taking ages. Ever, in the mood. Nice, like my friends. Indulge yourselves. Let me go. And that time, I was focused again, wasn't it? Memories are ever beneath the water, lies an endless abyss. Nice, like it, my friends. Indulge yourselves. beginner survey thing, now you should do that. I think they have the same thing on Genshin. Not use. Nice, like a good, my friend. I should use that ultimate when I, I actually fight him. I'm gonna risk it that time. Destiny's hand has truly blessed me. <laughs> Memories of beneath the water lies an endless abyss. <laughs> In the mood for another beating? Oh. Yeah, I got high enough. That's good. Um, Destiny's hand has Oh no, I didn't get enough that time. Oh god. It's fine. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. Oh shoot. I messed up. I panicked and I messed up. Destiny's hand has truly Memories up beneath the water lies an endless abyss. Up, let's see it. And it you got one. <laughs> oh, gotta go. I'm so sorry. What do you want to know? In the mood for another beating? How's this take? Destiny isn't chosen. Ill tidings manifest. Memories are beneath the water, lies an endless abyss. Time to mix things up. Destiny's hand has like truly blessed me. Indulge yourselves! Again. We're happy. <laughs> 
I can't believe I'm supposed to take it. What do you want to know? <sighs> Okie dokie. Come on, like ten more times, and then we've done this. <laughs> So I, I decided I'm going to change it up a little bit with my methods and I messed up it there. But I keep using like uh, Black Swan's E when he does this and this is like kind of pointless because if I do this I still get enough energy for it. So I'm going to mess up this And then I'll uh, heal you with that. I'm going to use her burst when we get her back. Because I've got those skill points. So I will be using the skill point next time. I hope I get high. In the mood for another beating? How's this taste? Destiny's hand has truly blessed me. Ah, come on! You kidding? Ah! Welcome back. This this is an annoying boss, though. Honestly, <laughs> I struggle a little bit with it. Oh no! Hey, Black Swan. Blessed me. <laughs> it's okay. It's alright. Everything's fine. I should just not risk it. Honestly, I just, I just go the comfort, comfortable route. I think. Honestly. <laughs> Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> no, I think it's I love Adventure. He's my favorite character in the game. I think he's great, but his boss is is oh, it's tough. <laughs> it's not even really tough. I mean, it doesn't really help that I've lost two of my characters and my main DPS as well. Like, <laughs> that really does not help my situation right now. <laughs> I literally got a sub DPS kind of and and a healer, so <laughs> it's not going well. But I still have like a method to keep myself alive, which is dumb. This just takes ages. <laughs> Um, DPS damage per second, which sounds weird, but it basically means, um... Main damage dealer, basically. Main going? attacker. It's not okay. it ain't okay. <laughs> oh god! Stop nearly dying! You're gonna get hurt and die one time. Destiny's hand has truly blessed me. Memories of beneath the water lies an endless abyss. Step Life's like my friend. Indulge yourself! Indulge yourself! Mix things up. 
prepared for some. Memories are so close. The water lies an endless abyss. Nice, like it, my friend. Indulge yourself. Oh, so close. Now I'm doing the main uh, story quest right now. This is the main story quest. I haven't actually started the event, but the newest one, the um, there's like an eight-bit event, and I can't remember what it's called. I haven't even started that. Yet. I really need to. Probably will later today or tomorrow or something. I was trying to finish the uh, simulated universe event first, because that ends today. I love him fighting him. <laughs> it's been so long. <laughs> I can do it, Val. I can do it. So close now. <laughs> 17% Why do I have the other accounts? So I have other accounts so I can get every character basically. It's a method of not paying much money for the game and I get to play as every character or to tie out different teams and everything. I do the same with Genshin. Like, I have five Genshin accounts, which is really sad, but it means I have every Genshin character. It's so cool. But yeah, it's very sad. I feel like it's a cheap method of whaling in a way, in a, in a way. yeah. As dumb as that sounds. <laughs> It's like wailing but not. It's wailing with time. It's not wailing with money. <laughs> Indulge yourself! I really like Gallagher, honestly. I think he's such a good healer. I went with Gallagher like unexpectedly. Like, I was like, huh? I'll try him out. I don't have high hopes, but I'll try you out. And he is so cool. Well, but I'm going to be replacing him tomorrow with Aventurine. <laughs> I just talk big about Gallagher, but I'm like, nah, I want Aventurine instead. I'll be using Aventurine. I don't even care if Aventurine's bad. I just, I just want to use him. <laughs> I like, I like Aventurine. I was saying that I like Gallagher too. They're both cool. Okay, nearly there. Like two more times. <laughs> it would be, but then uh, I would have to pay more money. And like, I also, especially with like Genshin. I run out of things to do really easily, so having multiple accounts, it means I don't run out of things to do and I still can keep playing the game. Because I got my main account on Genshin. I've done absolutely everything. I even got every single achievement. It's so sad. <laughs> it's so sad. Um, but yeah, I want to play the game more. <laughs> And it's kind of cool in a way, though, because it means I don't need to worry so much about resin and like what to spend it on. Because I can just um, try out different teams. And I like that. 
I know it's sad. <laughs> oh, wait, I say I try out different teams. Three of my main teams I use <laughs> include all Hapem, so it's not that much different. Kind of, well, kind of four in a way, but I mean, I kind of, the fourth one I kind of replace with Lysley now. I really like Lysley. Gonna keep going? <laughs> nice, like a good, my friend. <laughs> so my main has all Hapem. Yelan, Nahida, and Shinobu, and my other account has that as well. <laughs> yeah, wisely. <laughs> no, I really. He's fun to play. I say. He's fun to play. He's actually like one of my best DPS characters. My damage dealers. Like he's really good. If I haven't seen one with his weapon. But I've been using him with Chiori. And actually Chiori is really good. Unexpectedly. I wasn't expecting Chiori to be that good. Okay. 3%. He's going to die after this. Yeah. He has a good ice bridge as well. Yeah. <laughs> Going down now. He's going down. Yeah. You just keep spamming attack with with Wisely. Just keep spamming attack. <laughs> he didn't die. Not yet. Oh god. Memories are ever beneath the uh -oh, I nearly messed up then. <laughs> I should have used my ultimate before, but it's just like, nah. If it'll go down, he'll go down. He didn't go down. But he will decide. He's at 1%. He's going down now, for reals. Just you wait and see. I'm so sorry, Venturine! I'm so sorry! Not wisely! Eventually! Wait, stop talking about wisely! Eventually, I'm so sorry! Oh my god, I can't believe I screwed that up! <laughs> no! I love Aventurine though, he's so great. Aventurine is the best. Eminator. I know you'll match my wager, right? <laughs> he's taunting her. You're leaving? <laughs> Perhaps. I might pass through the place you mentioned. Pinnacle. What do you hope to find within a dream? I'm not looking for anything. They aren't in a dream. Mm. I'm afraid the family will not open the doors for you. Why? Because the path you walk is not accepted by the harmony. Even if that's not what I want. Oh my god, the rain sounds so cool on my headphones. Like it actually feels like it's hitting my headphones as well. My ears. Precisely because it's not what you want. Because they are not like other eons. They have never glanced at anyone. And they never need to. They leave woven strands of fate for humans to walk, and together, they weave a great shadow. <sighs> and this shadow silently envelops them. Yeah, my headphones are wireless. Oh, I say they're wireless, they're plugged in at the moment, but they're just charging, plugging in. They're still connected wirelessly. 
But I also use like I got clear earbuds. I love them so much. But I use them whenever I'm using like my phone or iPad or something. There are always those who rise from the shadows. They mostly become a part of the shadow. Who's she talking to right now? Rise. Am I the same? You still have a strand of color, but not much. <sighs> that is enough. Before they vanish completely, I will reach the nihility's end. <laughs> Aww. It's a shame. <gasps> oh no. It's cutscene. I wish to mourn the departed. Weeping like rain. To swell the crossing stream. Music. As the tide arrives. Leading you back home. Holy crap! My God. <laughs> Why is she like on a sheet? A good question. Sorry, I just gotta do this. <laughs> so sorry. It sounds like he's beatboxing very right away. Like. Beatboxer, honestly. Have I? Have I succeeded? I want to wait. <laughs> I can stop it. Oh my god, that's great. She replied, "I want to die." Oh my god. <laughs> no, my this isn't good. Maybe I'll pay him again. <laughs> it's kind of weird as well because we couldn't really have anything in the menu. Oh, you even won't let me do my phone stuff. Having fun with his big boxing. Precious wealth we all Abjin have. It is too fun. It's meant to be like a really serious and sad moment. It's like, oh no. And I'm just there beatboxing as I am. Oh, it's great. You came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. Hmm. Wealth, status, power. 
The IPC will give you whatever you want, even what you don't want. Don't cry. As for us, we will reunite in Kakava's next Aurora. It's a pity this is not the place you were expecting. No, it's Akon! No! No! Melody, <gasps> is it? <clears throat> Perhaps to you, I am just an emanator who's hiding her identity. But oh. The sleeping and shapeless never glance at anyone. They have no face. No form, and even less of a will to speak. The nihility envelops everyone equally. Only some who have gone under their shadow can go farther, tainting themselves with more nihility. That's all. <laughs> That's all. My friend, you really leave me at a loss for words. So... Is this my final destination? The land of the dead? <sighs> this is all but a fleeting dream. One of the thousands of manifestations of IX. Under the watchful eye of Nihility, we momentarily linger here before moving on to our own paths. <laughs> it seems that my death has already been determined. Even if you wish for it. I can't promise you anything. Now that you've accomplished your goal, I think you can be a little more forthcoming. She's so cool. <laughs> she looks what so you cool. Mean? Your performance at the theme park was wonderful and grandiose. A simple yet practical technique that fooled almost everyone. Don't tell me she and Akon like seven is way. <laughs> Really? No, I don't think they do. Kind of. I, I can, no, actually, you know, you saying that, I do kind of see what you mean. But no. <laughs> no one would have ever thought that you would have gone to such lengths. Even staking your life just to prove a fact that had seemingly been disproved long ago. Real death does not exist in Pentaconi's dreamscape. <laughs> Why would I do this? Because this is the only way you can uncover a secret that is even more <laughs> unspeakable than the serial murders. To use this dream death to get there. I will. I promise land people I'll switch between them both. seek in this grand gathering. Penacony. The legacy of the Watchmaker. The true land of exile. How did you find out? I never imagined that something I learned about unexpectedly would become the key to connecting everything. It's our Stellaron friend's identity, isn't it? Ew, what do you mean my identity? What do you mean? What's the one with my identity? I see you're in the know. Hey? Let's just say <laughs> I put money on the possibility. What is my identity? Come on, I don't even know myself. I just not got the stellar one in me. The murder isn't nearly enough to disrupt business as usual. Even if there were one or two murders on Pentaconi, most people wouldn't be personally affected. And that won't create any waves. This dream of theirs isn't a boundless sea. It's a lonely island. The family used the harmony to build a high wall and isolate them from the vast and treacherous ocean of the outside world. That barrier they build keeps death out, but it also keeps the secrets that are lost in that watery abyss from floating to the surface. In a beautiful dream, free of suffering, who would want to go fishing for those secrets? No one. Unless... This place looks so cool. Unless someone goes to the other side of the barrier. 
and lives to tell the tale. Someone already has. <laughs> I got the idea early on, chewing on that masked fool's little hint. If a mute isn't someone who cannot make a sound, then it has to be someone who cannot speak. Someone who survived the treacherous depths, but is unable to take the stage and speak the truth. <laughs> well, I'm happy to know she's safe and sound, and still on Panacone. Wait, I'm confused because you're saying before that the mute was a he, and now you're saying it's a she. Hint. Is that not proof? Well, proof is the one thing I don't have. The only thing Does that you mean whoop in this? Conjectures. Is for the family to come clean. And with the way they buttered up these outsiders, it seems pretty clear they're intent on covering their tracks. I guess in a way as well. Oh no! Your iPad's at 5%! No! Ah! I still know. I think, like, another thing is, is, um... The stead of... Stead on? The... The... Trailblazer? Um... They are kind of a mute, in a way, because they can't really talk. But also, another thing is, is that when they try and talk about, um... Akron and stuff, they can't. They, they literally just can't. It's just get muted themselves. It's really weird. But you don't need proof to have a suspicion. And for me, suspicion is enough. I didn't need to find the memory zone meme. I just needed for someone to kill me like it killed that silver-haired girl. You don't sound very confident to me. Going out of your way to make citywide broadcasts in an attempt to involve more people. <laughs> you are simply betting on the possibility of someone being able to break down the barrier. You're very lucky that fate has decided to let us cross paths. I happen to be equipped with a very sharp blade. Sharp enough to slice through the veil of dreams. I can also carve the Harmony's brand off of you. You possess great cunning. Deliberately setting us up to be on opposing sides. Constantly repeating the words of the Emanator in front of others. Leaving me no choice but to draw my blade against you. <laughs> and that's how you win. Opportunity and strategy, both are essential. And in your plans, the IPC always wins. Even if you lose the bet. To the family, the life of an ambassador is still invaluable. Well, it's a huge gamble, isn't it? On your bus? Oh, no! Well, I need to point out a mistake. The IPC's success is not guaranteed. I, unfortunately, have no contingencies for such an important matter. His only success he's sure of is his own. Detonating a Stellaron. I can't do it. The Aventurine Stone is too broken to even safeguard my escape from the stage. If, at the end of the day, you did not unsheath your blade, I would have lost the bet. It is pointless to discuss what ifs. You have won. Your prize is an entry ticket into that deep sea. And after this, whether you can return from the abyss is another gamble of yours. Mm-hmm. Have you never wavered? Wavered? <laughs> of course I have. But I can only bank on my own good fortune. Because other than that, I have nothing. Wake up from this dream and go to where you should be. Your gamble is not over yet. <laughs> Benjamin. Before we part, can you answer one more question? As someone who has traveled on that road, can you tell me, why are we born into this world, if it's just to die? Aww. 
I don't think this, and never have. Nor do you. But the nihility envelops you and I. And everyone. And because of that, it's pointless. I really want to, like, look up more about the nihility. But it is still there. If the dice of fate are always weighted, then that is our destiny. Why <gasps> then do we struggle against it? Tyler, hey, welcome, how are you? My answer might not be able to resolve your confusion, because it has been with you throughout your journey and is already a part of your life. That's you good, said, that's really good. It's the rehearsal of death. So why does life sleep? Because we are not ready. So why to do we slumber? Well, why does life slumber? So you can definitely understand why we want to be prepared. Even if the ending has been predetermined, that's fine. There are countless things that humans cannot change. But before the end, there are many things that humans can do while on their journey. And because of this, the end will thus reveal a completely different meaning. Take a good look at your pocket. Your friend has already given you the answer. Friend? <laughs> good luck. Claim awards for your level. Oh, you. Oh, um, pom pom on the on the Astral Express. Doctor's advice: the impossible in a dreamscape is not death, but rather dormancy. Do not. Oh, do stay alive. I wish you the best of luck. Really, Dr. Horatio wishing him luck? Really? No. Pompon -pom is a demon! No! Pompon's -pom adorable! Come on! <laughs> but that's saying that death is possible in 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 the dreamscape but dormancy is impossible interesting <laughs> then i shall get going on the astral express it should just be like anywhere on the astral express Mister. Hello. You're leaving? <clears throat> you ultimately chose to leave this dreamscape? Yes. Because they are not here. My papa, mama, and big sis. Then where are they? They are in a place where everyone will go. A very, very distant place. Then are you going to? I'll get there one day. But not now. He's not gonna die! Yay! <laughs> there will come a day when the sky will drizzle, and I will hear the call of Gaiath or Triclops. Know that it is time for me to go, and be reunited with my family. So, until that time comes, I should be preparing. I really like how the lip syncs on this game. It's really good lip syncing. Preparing? For what? Well, preparing to face them, Kakamasha. And to make them proud. Hmm. I know you'll be able to do it. Good luck. 
Of course. For I am a child who received the blessing of Gyathra Triclops. <laughs> but you still seem nervous. <laughs> well, I seem that way because I am nervous. It's nice as well because he's like. Maybe you can help. <clears throat> He's actually like opening up about being nervous. Like he's not hiding it anymore. He's just like, yeah, you know, I am. I am actually nervous. He's not putting on an act anymore. He's just being him. What do you say? One last time. Put our palms together. <laughs> no. Are you going now? Yes. Oh, this is so precious. May the mother goddess thrice close her eyes for you. Keeping your blood, blood eternally pulsing. pulsing. May, May your journey, journey be forever, forever peaceful. peaceful. And your, your schemes, schemes forever concealed. concealed. Our paths will cross again beneath Kakava's shimmering auroras. Farewell, Kakava Chef. Adventuring! <laughs> no! <sighs> How often do I go live? Not often right now. Like, I'm only going live right now because I'm home alone. And I'm not going to be home alone much now. Uh, it's only like for a couple of days. Um. I might, I don't know when I'll next be on, basically. I really don't know, so I, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping I can whenever I'm next home alone, but it might, I don't know when that'll be. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> With hope of a nap, the more nestled in my heart, I descend to slumber the off tonight. Until the denouement of all coming morrows kisses me, I have then embraced the quiet death. But this man is different. He lives and breathes in the present, and every sinking night, sinking night, by every daring gamble, no vision of more ever graced his dreams. His life knows no quietude. His fate yet demands him to win them all, to weather tempests one after another, to my shrouds his very breath. And now in the unfathomable depths of dream, the once fallen die has at last landed on its earthly rest. Quietly, peacefully, it at last landed. <laughs> no! Alright, bye Hotel, thank you so much for joining us today. I've had a lot of fun with you being here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, so why? I hope you have fun with it. Death only represents one outcome. He kept his promise and got what he wanted. Bye. Planned. Your corner so cute. Has been successfully sent to the family's territory. Then. Let's fulfill our duty and start harvesting. Oh my god! Thereafter, in the cradle of slumberers, deep within the sweet dream of the planet of festivities, another stone begins to radiate light. Another stone? I come for an audience. I come to fill wine. And I come to claim. I bestow poison in the guise of sweet dew. Come the toil of spring and yield a fall. I patiently wait for the branches to be heavy with withered fruits. All for the Amber Lord. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Meanwhile, memory sown depths. You try to open your eyes but find only blackness before you. Where is this? What happened? And whose point of view is this? <laughs> 
Memory strategy resurfaced as time arrived for a few, to him a few minutes ago. Eventually, he unleashed his for final assault, pulling down a dazzling shower of chips, followed, clo followed closely by Akaron drawing her blade and then crash. The indescribable force severs the power of preservation, while time and space froze instantly. Your force twists into a knot as your senses fail, with only gravity tearing at your mind as you plummet, it, plummet into boundless darkness, until fire engulfs you in its embrace. I think someone saved me. You're awake. Sam! I've been waiting on you for quite a while. I'm Sammy. Sam? Sammy? Sam? <laughs> it's you. What have you done? I didn't do anything but wait for you to wake up. You've met me before. I'm Sam. A Stellaron hunter. I just find it funny how he's called Sam because Sam is such a non-threatening name. <laughs> it's like, oh, he's a big robot. He's like, yeah, I'm Sam. <laughs> I originally planned on showing up earlier to reveal some truths to you. Okay. But I encountered more roadblocks than expected. Eleven times. I've tried, but ended in failure. Before I knew it, this world and I became too intertwined, and it became too difficult to escape the constraints of the script. Interesting. Elio is right. In this land of the dreams, you and I will reap unforgettable gains. Both of us. I don't know people's hearts as well as he and Kafka do. Nor do I have a specialty like Silver Wolf and Blade. Mm -hmm. Most of the things that I'm good at only apply to villains who need no mercy. Isn't that the same with Blade, though? <laughs> so, there is only one method that I use. This is to show you. To be continued! <laughs> Labyrinth like corridors and oh halls, God. traps everywhere. The owner of this mansion must be a bit paranoid. Hi, Sunday. <laughs> you are so funny, Mr. Security Officer. I hope that sense of humor of yours has helped you find the serial killer. Just expressing a personal opinion. Why? Did I hit a nerve? Mr. Gallagher, my patience is wearing thin. Neglecting duties will only make me more suspicious that you and the real serial killer are connected. <sighs> Scoundrel, punk, drunk, hooligan. I have heard this trash talk all too often. But I have never once thought that I'd be treated as an accomplice to a murderer. Oh, he's mad. I, I take back what I said. Your problem is paranoia. You're just crazy, you know? Lunatic. <gasps> just called him a lunatic. You... The family, you broke my spine and pulled out my fangs, and now you want to accuse me of murder? Ridiculous. Only idiots who've drunk too much soul glad will berate a stray dog in the streets. <laughs> oh, he's not happy. What exactly is making you say all this nonsense? You should be more concerned about the outworld visitors who are making a scene in the theme park than me. Yeah, I mean, like, look at Benjamin and everyone. <laughs> I don't need you to remind me. Once that ambassador walks through the doors of the mansion, I will know what he wants. My servants see everything. His little magic tricks may have fooled me, but no matter. I'm happy to see how it's turned out. Hmm. Why do you think that I just let him go? 
And why do you think I emptied the theme park stage? Because my target from the beginning has always been you, Hound. The more noise he makes, the more opportunities I have to make you and your true master pay in blood. Oh. If I were really the murderer, why would you need to be so secretive? Ha, huh, I forgot. You also have a difficult master to serve. Telling you to ignore the murder case and focus solely on that Charmony festival. Seems like the Dream Aston is working alongside Gallagher. Don't know if that is the case, but that's why I kind of get the vibe from him. Isn't that right, my brother? Hmm. <sighs> Looks like your disguise has helped you successfully understand every facet of the family. Oh, wait, no, that's interesting. If you think about it like this, maybe, um, Gallagher, like, kills people, right? And then when he kills people, he can become that person, or that person becomes a part of him, if that makes sense. So when he says, my brother, could that actually be like Robin speaking then? I this is like a hypothesis, it's probably completely wrong. But hell is interesting actually when you say that. Disguise? You must be blind to be accusing me of being a fake. Open your eyes, take a good look. <sighs> Indeed. Every part of you is real. The brown hair, soft and curly like Benny's. The orange eyes, which make me miss the gaze of Sir Whitaker. That odd scar, the mark of Wolsey. And the gray vest, tie, hound emblem, bottle, the bartending, and your role as a security officer. These are all true traits from all 52 loyal family members. When they are gathered, Countless tiny truths are woven together into a lie. You collected a small piece of each of them and claimed them for yourself. Then you invented this facade. A complete Gallagher. Tell me I'm wrong. Minion of fear, Nicometa. Yeah, they've missed this out and people were so mad about this. And it's not a voice as well, because it's an important line. <laughs> you have got so confusing. Back. Not bad. I severely underestimated you. Admirable. But so what? Can this prove that I murdered your sister and that stowaway? This proves that you and the memory zone mean death are linked. And that's enough. Why does it prove that? Listen up. I don't care how you did it. I only care about one thing. The answer to a question. You devil. You wretched, despicable dog. Why did you kill her? <laughs> you know, in the thick of things, people are blind to the grit in their eyes. Yet they can always feel it scratch. Want the answer? I'll give it to you. <laughs> the whole thing is just fate playing a cruel joke on us. Very cool. So we have caught up with the main 
quest. I was going to say Arkham quest, but this isn't Genshin. This is Trailblaze Crush, Trailblaze Mission. For Panacomi 2.1, the Honkai Star Wheel. Pew! Every touch. If I was interested in well, like I really do not know how they're going to continue on from this, honestly, because there's so many questions, there's so many like possibilities, and I'm so excited to see what's going to happen in the future. Honestly, like it it can go anywhere. Um, there's so much like lore to it. There's so much to take in, and I'm so excited to see what's going to happen. I really cannot wait. Uh, we've got three weeks to go until the next update after Adventurine's banner, which is happening in 16 hours. I cannot wait for him. I'm going to get him so quick. Um, oh, I'm so hyped. And yeah, I am. That quest was really good, honestly. I love Adventurine. Adventurine is such a great character. I hope he does make a return. I don't know what's going to happen to him. I have no idea how they're going to move on from this. And I'm looking forward to see what they're going to do and how the story is going to continue. I really am because I love the story for Honkai Star Wars. It is so good. It's so interesting. And there's so much depth and interest to it. And ah, I just want to see what happens. I really do. But yeah, I'm going to end the stream here now because obviously we caught up. I've been streaming for seven hours. Seven and a half hours, I really should go. <laughs> I really need to have my dinner. So I'm going to go now. So thank you all so much for joining me today on this lovely stream of Honkai Star Wars. I've really enjoyed it. Um, I won't be streaming until our next available, which I have no idea when that will be. I know my dad is going on holiday at some point in May. I don't know when exactly. And I'm going to be at my mum's house during that time. And my mum goes to work, so what I probably maybe might do is stream when she's working. Um, we'll see. We will see. But for now, I'm off. Um, yeah. Yeah, I can't wait. I really can't wait. Uh, thank you all so much for joining. And I'll see you all at some point. Yeah! <laughs> Cool. Um, yeah, thank you. And goodbye. Woo, have a great day. <laughs> I'm so awkward with my goodbyes. <laughs> bye bye.